congratulations to every single one of you teachers as well for making it here uh, to the national final here in Leeds. But can I get you to do me a quick favor after watching that video? I want you to get energized again. Could you all just possibly stand up for me and look just to the projector? That's, you could do that now if you want. If you stand up for me and just look, there's a little camera there. We are live. So could you please just do a little wave to everybody that is watching us live on the F1 in Schools YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Uh, you might have family, loved ones watching and then take a seat again. There you go. I hope you've got that blood circulating through the body. But this is incredible. Well done, guys. You got through the regionals. You're here. You deserve to be here. We are showcasing the best talent, and it's all in front of me so far. Good to see some familiar faces as well. Uh, if for those that don't know me, I'm Tom Deacon. I'm the host of F1 in Schools, have done so for the last five years. And today, very shortly at 10 a.m., we'll be going trackside. We'll be going racing. So I expect to see the same sort of action uh, that you saw in the actual real life F1. So get ready for that. And I'm looking forward to getting to know you a little bit better when you'll come with your team and I'll be asking you questions. I'll be joined by Amy Martin and Sam Chapman, former alumni of F1 in school. So that's on the way, but we want to get cracking. I can see it in your faces. We want to get competing and get the competition underway. But there's a couple of people who need to say a few things. So I'd like you to put your hands together and welcome to the stage, the founder and chairman of F1 in schools is Andrew Denford. Wow, thank you, Tom. Good morning, everybody. Wow, this is incredible. Uh, World Finals in Leeds. Sorry, National Final here in Leeds. Back where it all began 23 years ago. Um, we're from Brighouse, just down the road, 10 miles down the road, where we've started the program with eight schools in Wakefield. And now look at it back where we belong in God's country, but all around the world, we've got 60 countries and 28,000 schools now doing the program. So your life just got a lot more difficult. Uh, and it's just great to see you all. The outfits, the pit displays, I mean, you've uh, given yourself a round of applause. You really deserve it. And I think you might, yeah, go on, give yourself another one. Of course, we're the home of the mighty Leeds United. Tanwen, one of our social media experts down here, have been singing We All Love Leeds, but unfortunately we're, we've headed down a division, but we're coming back up. And I think that means the same for all of you guys. You know, you're on the way back up, you've got trajectory, getting to the national final is a brilliant thing for you all. Don't forget to put it on your CV. You know, we've talked, we have webcasts, podcasts that go out with F1 in schools, and the number of uh, alumni that talk about the importance of F1 in schools and putting it on your CV, it will help you get jobs. There's so many F1 in schools alumni now that are working in Formula One, uh, and it's great to see it. You know, we didn't expect that when we started all those years ago. So, you've all done a lot of social media work. You've got to keep that going. You've got to drive your image. You've got to pay back to your sponsors. That's an important thing. You've got some phenomenal sponsors looking at you, and, uh, you know, they want to see what you're doing for them. We've had a really busy month, Tom. Tom's feet haven't touched the ground, he's back from Saudi Arabia, but we've had national finals in Italy, in France, and, and four of us went out to Saudi Arabia to their very, very first national final of F1 in schools in Saudi. And unbelievably, we had 68% of the entries were girls. So girl power, come on, give it to you. <laughs> okay, we've got an action pack two days, but I just want to mention our supporters, Lenovo, obviously, Delighted to have them on board as our title partner. But as you can see, we've got the IET, Autodesk, Ginetta with their fabulous cars outside there, of course, and City University and UCL giving us the, uh, the scholarships. And of course, we feed into Formula Student, which is really something that you ought to think about when you're heading off to university. So, enough said. Let Tom, the main man who's just had a baby, big round of applause for Tom, baby, baby boy Gene. Good luck to you all, and I can't wait to be back on stage tomorrow to uh, crown the national champions. Tom, over to you. Thanks, Andrew. Thanks, Tom. Uh, right, yeah, thanks. Um, enough about me and having a three-week-old baby, but thanks for that. I do appreciate it. 
We have got uh, 10 minutes until judging starts. So this is going to be the fastest briefing um, I think we've done. There were some pretty quick briefings uh, at regionals across the country, and it was epic to see you all there. Um, and it's such an achievement to be here. So congratulations to you all. Hope you have an absolutely amazing uh, two days competing. Um, and we can't wait to get around and chat to you. Um, but just enjoy the event. Get as much as you can from it. Uh, and then we'll see what happens on Friday afternoon in the awards. Um, so you've got your schedules. Make sure you stick to them. I suppose that's the most important part of today. Um, if you miss your schedule slot or you're late, then you won't get time back. We've got 52 teams here. The last national final in January um, had under 40. So we've got a lot more teams here today. So you need to make sure that you do get to your um, scheduled meetings on time. We don't have time to reschedule today or tomorrow because um, everything's a bit jam-packed. So make sure you stick to that. Everyone's lunches um, is at different times on your schedule, so just stick to, stick to where your lunch is, but you can have it whenever you want. If you are eating stuff, please use the bins provided, or if you leave the site with your teachers to go and grab some food or whatever you're doing, please make sure you keep it nice and tidy. It is a university campus, and um, it is um, obviously still got students here, still got staff working, so just bear that in mind. Be respectful, please. Uh, you can get trending, as Andrew mentioned. Um, tag um, all of our partners. Um, especially Lenovo, lots of the team for Lenovo are here today, um, so they'll be able to um, respond to uh, what you're doing from a social media point of view, but and also your own sponsors and the rest of our partners. So get using social media as much as possible uh, throughout the two days and beyond. Um, so when you're free, as I mentioned, Lenovo guys are over there. Um, they've got a give us a wave, James. There he is, Lenovo over there. Go and have a look, see what they've got. Some amazing kit and some great stuff to have a look through and I believe some things they might be giving away. We've got Denford, um, as always, um, over there. Uh, so go and have a look. The reaction time gate is there as well. So if you want to practice reaction times, uh, then go and do that on the gate over there. The Janetta Showcars um, in Hall 2, where the professional class pits are, go through there. And also, um, which we didn't have this last time, we've got Oliver, um, an Autodesk learning partner from Educard. He is also here. And he has also um, brought back the Autodesk Pressure Challenge to the national final. So um, in 20 minutes, once this is finished and you've got on, lead teachers, check your emails. We'll be sending the brief out and there'll be an award uh, for the team um, who does the best um, Autodesk Pressure Challenge. If you want any hints and tips on Fusion or you want to know how to use Fusion, get over to Oliver and he's got all the tips and uh, the hints um, over the course of the next two days. So go and have a chat with him over there and see what Autodesk is all about. Keep an eye on your time tables. That's the key part. I mentioned that before. Right, some of the boring bits, but the important bits. If you do hear an alarm, it is not a drill. You need to exit out of any of the fire exits that you can see and head round to the car park that you've probably parked in this morning and university staff will take it from there. But exit and get to there. Embrace the spirit of the competition. 52 teams. There's only space on the podium for three teams, dev and pro. So you've got to embrace it. Support each other. Cheer each other on. Have an absolutely amazing time. Network and each other because you never know when you're going to meet with somebody again in a future career or a future job or a future competition. So make sure that you network uh, and have a great time getting to know each other as well. Uh, don't leave valuables out. Um, we didn't lose anything. Uh, well, we lost a phone in Scotland, um, but it did get found. But we don't want to lose anything. There's a lot more people here today. It is a public space. Keep your valuables on you at all times. Um, yeah, open mics at the track start and finish. All right, I'll just leave that there. Um, for YouTube. Um, the, right, caution, the toilet water we found out yesterday, didn't we, Tom? Woo, it's boiling hot. Okay, so just be careful. Uh, you know, maybe a bit of cold first and then a bit of hot, but just don't burn your hands, especially if you're the driver and you need to be on the trigger. That's vitally important. If you've got any issues, you need a comments card, you can get that from main reception, but F1 in schools is standard. We're in our white T-shirts, and we've also got volunteers in the black T-shirts. So ask anybody, anyone will be happy to help you. Right, uh, right. I'm going to get through this really quickly. Specification review um, is going to be where scrutineering is, what you saw on the front. Verbal presentation is the key one. You're in a different building, um, a three or four minute walk away. So you need to meet at the main reception where some Leeds University students are going to take you across to where your verbal presentation room is. So you need to meet at the 
presentation at the main reception five minutes before your allocated time. Make sure you are there in good time. You do not want to be late for that. Design engineering judging is all in hall two, so make sure you head through there. Enterprise and brand identity, the judges are coming to your pits. So make sure you're at your pit display. Make sure you know exactly, um, exactly when you need to be and where you need to be. If you don't know where you need to be, do a recce before and find out so that you know where you're going. And racing is on the front uh, up there, as normal. Uh, it is a public space. Try not to run around as much as possible. Take care when you do head off the edge facility. Make sure your teachers know exactly where you are and what you're doing. Um, and remember, if you need to ask somebody, you're looking for the edge hall 1A, 1B and 2. And we've got Rabbit Hole Coffee here as well, a local independent uh, barista, Stee. Um, he is also providing you with coffees and sweet treats throughout the day, and he takes cash and cards. So if you need your sweet treats and a sugar rush and your coffee, head over to Rabbit Hole Coffee over there. All right, pretty much there, aren't we? So the last thing to do is to say really um, good luck to you all. And uh, I think Tom's going to quickly come up and uh, just uh, finish this off. So good luck, everybody. We'll see you at your judging stations in four minutes. Wow, uh, that was the fastest briefing from Tom Milner, the F1 in Schools UK National Project Manager. There he goes. Right, so there we have it, guys. This is the big moment, uh, but I would like to officially announce it with your help as well. So if we can get it, ooh, as it just builds up, as we can now officially announce the Lenovo F1 in Schools UK National Final is officially open. Best of luck, see you shoot. Team Vortex and Tachyon, come to the racetrack.
All right, welcome along to the Lenovo F1 in Schools UK National Final. My name is Tom Deacon, and by my side, always for the last couple of years, is Amy Martin. Good morning, Amy. Are you well? Good morning. Very well, Tom. Very excited to see what the day brings. Yes, uh, so we are race side here in Leeds. U Leeds University uh, about to get our first race underway. We have Team Vortex uh, on my side here, and we have Team Tachyon, who, Amy, this is an amazing opportunity. People are giving a round of applause. I've put Amy here because the team when you competed in was Team Tachyon. But I'm going to leave that with you for a second. Uh, as I meet Team Vortex, morning, uh, please introduce your team. Uh, I'm Aidan, I'm the project manager. This is Evan, graphic designer. Amy, engineer. Freddie, scrutineer. Fogo Engineer and Liam down there is our sponsorship and finance manager. It felt like we'd practiced that and we hadn't. That's how good these teams are. Uh, and that's Are you looking forward to today's action? Are you confident? Is it quite good to get the race out of the way first of all? Yeah, we're saying it. it's good to have it first because we can focus on everything else. But we're very, we're excited for the day. All right. Well, they seem very confident, and you've got Team Tachyon with you. Are you going to be right talking to them? Yes, I have been reliably informed that we may have been a sort of inspiration, or was it two ideas that came separately? So do you want to just introduce your team? Do you want to? Yep. Uh, I'm Aria. I'm the team manager. He's uh, Ashman. Yeah, sure. Uh, I'm Ashman. I'm a design manager. Uh, I'm Sandy. And I'm the marketing manager. Uh, I'm Jawad. I'm our manufacturing manager. And we've got our workflow manager, Arav, down at that end. And we've got Vidan, our financial manager, at that end. Well, there you go. Uh, brilliant to meet you guys. Um, let's get racing. That's what we will come for. Uh, thank you very much for joining us live. Uh, we can go trackside now. Uh, we have got some brilliant uh, team with us. We've got uh, Reese, who is the race director. He's just behind. We've also got uh, from Robert May School, uh, from Nightingale Time. We've got Amber and Charlotte, and there it happened already, Amy. That is how quick they were ready to get started. I like it. So we've got in lane one, we've got Team Vortex. In lane two, we've got Tachyon. And if you're unfamiliar, uh, we will have a race in each lane and then swap over. So we've had the first race underway. Pretty quick. That familiar sound is back, uh, Amy. Um, and what do you make of the two car designs, Amy? I mean, they look lovely. I think later on we may have Sam giving us some technical analysis of what he thinks of the cars and giving us some predictions on who he thinks might win. Um, I'm actually not sure who won that race, but looked quick either way. Yeah, it looked very quick indeed. Uh, I saw on the uh, finish gate uh, that it was lane one that took it, but there could have been breakages, there could have been anything uh, going on. So got Amber and Charlotte at the start gate. And then all the way down at the other end from their team, we have Harriet. But we're also joined by two team members from Honeycomb. They're going to be competing at the Worlds, and that is Lily and Sam. So that is what will happen, guys. If you do get through the UK national finals and go to Worlds, you will be trackside, I'm sure, at some point, uh, which is very exciting. So look, they look ready. The two drivers are ready with their fast reaction times. Um, Reese, the race director giving me the nod, waiting for everything to get underway. And after this race, Team Vortex taking on Team Tachyon, we will have Pocket Rocket, and they will be taking on Inferno. So, Team Vortex, how were regionals, how quick was your car, and how do you think it's gonna do today in the competition? Do I speak to Amy as our engineer? Is she on All right, I can't. I've been sent to go and talk to Amy. I'm gonna move across to Amy. Hi, um, I think our car was 1.3, five something at regionals and um, definitely done a lot of work since then so hoping it's faster this time okay hoping it's faster and how does it work then so from regionals you looked and analyzed all the data how difficult was it to get ready for uk national finals i mean it's it's quite hard to kind of um reset yourself and then recreate the car again you know we do have similar aspects but there is there's a lot of change that's happened so it's just kind of keeping on putting in the hard work to find what's fastest and what would you say has been the most challenging part of that process? Um, just making sure everything works and is in regulations, you know. It's sometimes really hard to, to make sure that everything fits the way it should. So, so that's definitely been the hardest part. I watched the judges uh, yesterday, chair of judges. Uh, you have uh, Willie McKeown, who was up there uh, pretty much all night, making sure the regulations, scrutineering, uh, went to plan. Uh, just waiting for the racing to get on. How has your driver been chosen, Team Vortex? Uh, we were testing a lot of reaction time through online tests and uh, testing over there, and we decided Fogo's the best and most consistent, so Fogo's chosen. 
All right, and just to let everybody know, Team Vortex, if you are a little bit peckish today, they've got some incredible snacks on their pit display. What snacks have we got up for grabs, Team Vortex? Caramel wafers and iron brew, if you want to come over. So if you didn't know they were from Scotland, you do now. Uh, Amy, at Team Tachyon, what have they been up to? So um, I had a little nosy around the pit displays earlier this morning, and I noticed I think you have a fastest car award on your pit display. So do you think you could... Do you think Team Vortex should be a bit scared? Do you think you're confident in your car? Uh, yeah, I think we're confident in our car. We've improved quite a bit since regionals. And, uh, you know, may the best one win. I love Very that. diplomatic over here. Let the best one win. Well, let's put them in their place right now. Let's see what happens as we go trackside. Best of luck to both of the teams. So there you go. I'm unsure what's happening here in track two with Team Tachyon, waiting for some data to be popping up. It will populate throughout the day. So um, another fastest car situation there for Team Vortex crossing the line first. We'll give you an update of the data. Don't forget, if you do want to get in touch with us, we are, of course, on F1 in Schools HQ. We're also on the UK part, and the hashtag is F1 in Schools uh, UKNF, so you can make sure you get involved. So what happens now, Amy? Let's break it down for anyone who hasn't seen F1 in Schools before for the race. What's happening? The cars have been brought back. Are we racing again? Yeah, so what happens now is that both... Many teams have actually submitted two cars, so a car A and a car B, and both cars get the chance to race in both lanes because there are some debate that one lane is a little bit quicker than the others. It's a frequent theme that runs through these, these national and world finals is if lane A or lane B is quicker. Well, so far, we would, from my limited data, I would say lane one is a little faster, but let's see uh, what happens. Uh, and uh, Team Vortex, the drive down from Scotland, representing Scotland, uh, how challenging was that journey? Well, we got the train, so it was three hours. It was nice and smooth. It was great. Oh, well, there you go. So you feel refreshed. Are you ready for it? Uh, in terms of the judging today, what are you most looking forward to? I think we're most looking forward to our verbal presentation. I think we've practiced it a lot, and it's looking good. So we're excited for that. Yeah, so you feel confident, because a lot of teams don't feel so confident with the verbal presentation. But you seem like a chatty bunch. You, you can communicate your ideas. Yeah, we're excited. OK, and is there any teachers out there that need a shout out for their help for getting you here? Of course, Miss Lega and Mr. Starost done lots of work for us. A big shout out to them. Yes, uh, and if you're unsure who your teacher, you've got an incredible tie tucked up very tightly. Black and yellow, there you go. All right, well, perfect. Uh, let's see if Tachyon uh, can offer their teachers around. Will they give a shout out to the teacher, I wonder? Uh, I would like to shout out Mr. Twose and Mr. Robertson for their continual support. They've been instrumental in our manufacturing and design process, and we can't thank them enough. We're indebted to them. So thank you, Mr. Twose and Mr. Robertson. Amazing stuff there for Team Tachyon. I didn't ask, do you know, are they from Wales as well, Team Tachyon? No, they are not. But although I have got my old high school coming on later in the day in the professional class, so we'll have to make sure they're on my side. OK, <laughs> all right, well, we'll make sure that is sorted out. Uh, we're just getting the cars swapped round. Uh, Reese is our race director. Back in race admin is Luke. Uh, he's never done this job before. It's an exciting moment for him. Uh, he is backstage at the moment. And uh, as I said, Team Vortex in the yellows here, Team Tachyon from St. Olav, um, St. Olav's uh, Grammar School. And there are two more teams coming up from St. Olav's School. So th does this happen a lot in F1 in schools, Amy? Like a particular school gets into F1 in schools and then that's it the next crop comes up year yeah, after year. I think we've seen it quite a lot, especially with um, Robert May School is a very big one that gets quite a lot of awards and does continuously well. But I think you'll see today that we have a lot of schools that send multiple teams, kind of give the best, um, the best shot at winning, I think. But I think these teachers must be spread pretty thin with four or five teams coming. Yeah, so an Olaf School will have Inferno and uh, Tori Veloce, I'm going to pronounce it. I'll probably get that wrong, but uh, that's what I'm going to go with. Uh, so they're stepping up next as we just get the cars so now Team Vortex are in lane two. Everything's being lined up. Would you say, trackside, the most pressure goes to those at the start or at the end with possible breakages? 
Which one's more stressful, Amy? I think the ones at the end have the worst job because they have to break the news that it's broken. But I, I was always one that pressed the button and um, it was so nerve wracking. All right, well, nerves aside, best of luck to both teams as we go racing. Let's go track side. And uh, what we can see there is a slight abort of the race. I can see a uh, team Inferno uh, leaning over that barrier. I like, no, I don't mind it, but there was leaning. They are getting as close as possible, Team Inferno. That's the enthusiasm I like to see. They're going racing next. They want to make sure they're watching everything. I'm sure some uh, fastest reaction times have been set and they're ready to go. That's always good to see. So we're all good again as we go racing. And I always like to see that there is no full starts there uh, from either driver. And it is again, lane one. That's three wins out of three so far. I'm making a mental note of this, Amy. No one will ask me for this data, but I'm going to do it anyway. Uh, so that's three in a row. But uh, we have got a good start there. What happened there? I've got a team to talk to Team Vortex. Faster lane. Was that car A, car B? You're not quite sure. <laughs> That was a slow-mo voice uh, that came out of my mouth there. Uh, I've been working on that skill, and it went very well. Uh, no, I was just asking, what have you noticed differently there from moving to lane two? Maybe lane one is a slight quicker. We'll have to see as the races go on. But... So hopefully, if that is the case, you're still setting that fastest time, regardless of whatever lane. Um, and uh, Vogel, he, he seems in the zone for this. Uh, has he done any training uh, ready for today? He's been reaction time in every night, haven't you, Fogo? <laughs> reaction time in every night. And I think that's where I'll stop the uh, questions on that. Uh, but Fogo has done a brilliant job to be here. We can go racing. Best of luck to both of the teams. So lane one is that little bit quicker. Four out of four. I don't want to start spreading rumors, but four out of four for lane one. Uh, hopefully uh, set a faster time, Team Vortex. So there we go, four races done and dusted. Team Vortex, when we get that data for you, but happy with how everything's gone so far? It looks good, it looks good, yeah. Yeah, oh, well done too. So the teammate just down here, remind everybody of his name. That's Liam there, our finance and sponsorship manager. So there's a lot of pressure on him. Is he going to be on the socials all day, letting his sponsors know what you're up to? Yeah, we'll be tagging them in every post, letting oh. them know. Well, perfect. Well, listen, Team Vortex, great to meet you guys. Uh, enjoy the rest of the day. Well done on the racing uh, for those four races. We'll try and get that data for you. But best of luck with the Team Verbals, which you're looking forward to. So there you go, Team Vortex heading off. We'll say goodbye to Team Tachyon, find out how they're doing. Uh, and now, there we go, Amy. You can see some data has been put forward. Uh, so, yeah, that was that last race there, a point one six four to Team Vortex. That's the reaction time quicker, but overall, a faster uh, track time for Team Tachyon. Team Tachyon, let's get your final thoughts before you head off for the day. Uh, what are your final thoughts from what you've just seen there, guys? Yeah, it went as well as it could, I'd say. <laughs> well, we'll take that, won't we? Yeah. yeah. All right, well, listen, enjoy the rest of your day. Uh, take care. There they go. They're heading off. Uh, they were more interested in those stats that are main, on the main screen up there. So, Amy, uh, we can now do it. Uh, you're going to have, on your side, you're going to have Team Inferno, another St. Olav's, uh, Olav's grammar school. Uh, so I will welcome up here, uh, we've got Pocket Rocket. So come and join me, Pocket Rocket. You're going to be coming in to join me on this side who aren't yet here, so you can invite Inferno. There you go, job done. Yeah, so if Team Inferno could come and join me on my side, we're winning already, Tom. <laughs> Just based on being here, ever present. So well done to the guys. Turning up here from St. Olav's Grammar School. And I am joined by Pocket Rocket, yes! I didn't think you were gonna turn up, but you have. Congratulations on that. I'll have a quick chat. Do you want to chat to the people that were here first, Amy? Yeah, so do you want to introduce yourself and the rest of your team? Yeah, sure. So I'm Abdul, the digital and manufacturing engineer. And then this is Maxim, our project manager. Uh, this is Kyle, he did our CFD. 
And this is Monty, our sponsorship and finance manager. And who have we got down the this end of the track, pressing the button and collecting the car? We have Ishan here, he designed our car on CAD. And we have Arit there, who is our technical manager. Very technical team over here, I think. Very technical, and they were on time. What happened, Pocket Rocket? I called you, you didn't come over. Were you debating whether you wanted to race today? Yeah, um, we were a bit nervous, but I think we're all right now. Uh, what, what is making you nervous? Is it just about how the car will perform or just that kind of like first day nerves? First day nervous, I think, yeah. Also being on camera is a bit nervous as well. Just pretend it's not even there. We're seeing uh, your car uh, is on the track. Uh, what was your roles and could you introduce uh, yourself uh, and the team? I'm Theo, I'm the project manager and design engineer. This is Harrison. I'm the finance and sponsoring manager. And then we have George over there, who's our Graphic designer. graphic designer and our thumbs for today. Okay, and there's no other tips, there's just the three of you. That's why you're nervous. There's only three teammates. Uh, so talk me through the car design that we're seeing uh, and comparing it to the, the, the car on the other track. What, what do you reckon is going to happen here? Going to be the fastest car? I think, I think we're going to do pretty good. It's fairly light. From the last one, we were, we were bob on with the um, minimum weight. So we did pretty good this time as well, which is good. Okay, well, there you go. So that's the one thing you did from regionals, affect that weight of the car. Yeah, it was, and we modified the front so it's less like clumpy, so it's more aerodynamic now. Okay, so going to be bursting through that air. That was what they did, Amy, there. And there's only three in the team, but we can go racing. So let's see how both cars fare with the first race on the track. So there you go, lane two, the faster of the car for Inferno. Very quick time there, we'll get the details there. So uh, Pocket Rocket uh, next to me. Okay with that, we're watching a replay. Thoughts as you saw, got that quicker reaction time. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I think we did pretty good there. So reaction time uh, is what they can affect, but Inferno, well engineered, well designed. That's what I'm going to say, Amy, on that one. Yeah, I was going to say, it looks like there's no breakages. So did you guys take into account how sturdy the car would be or did you go purely for speed? We did some stress tests as well. And yeah, we took in all aspects when we were designing our car. So That's what we like to hear because we know a lot of the cars like to break when they hit the deceleration system. So great job for making sure that you thought about that. Yeah, point uh, two five four. So there you go. But the reaction time, a sub point two. So well done uh, to Pocket Rocket. Let's see if they can make an improvement in lane one and breaking the curve. Uh, finally, a win for lane two. So here we go. Let's go track side when we can get things underway. Neck and neck, very close indeed. But I think uh, lane two takes that win again for Inferno. And Pocket Rocket getting even quicker. You said it was George, right? Uh, yeah. George, George down the other end at 0.178. Very fast reaction time. So that's it. The two races are done and dusted there. They'll swap the cars down. Um, but thoughts on that Pocket Rocket from what you're seeing on the track? Uh, I think we're improving so far. It's, it's going good. Going good. And is this the sort of time you saw in regionals or? Uh, yeah, close enough, I'd say, yeah. Okay, so hopefully you can better it a little bit. But um, that's the problem, uh, Amy, when you, you come, you've got regionals, there's a minimal amount of things you can do. They've changed something. It's affecting the time a little bit, but uh, it's those incremental changes that make an improvement. Yeah, and that's what we call iterative design. So a lot of the times teams will go from competition to competition and they'll make small changes each time. It's very difficult to see what affects the track because it's such a, such a quick race. A lot of the time you don't know if it's the wheels that are affecting it, the wings. So mm. it takes a lot, a lot of design. And there wasn't much cheering. Uh, in, not that there should be cheering necessarily, but from Inferno it looked very cool, calm and collected, didn't they? Yeah, I was just going to ask, so um, the teams from your school, there's a lot of them. Are you all friendly or is there some, <laughs> some rivalry there? I mean, do you want to? I guess it's a mix between friendly and competition. Yeah. But the competition brings out the best in you and then you're able to share ideas. Has there been much of sharing ideas of knowledge? 
resources, maybe, but... So, yeah, we shared resources, and I think one of the main things that helped us is that there's a lot of competitive teams in our school, so we all work to, like, sort of be better than each other, but then that helped us progressively work on all of our elements. Yeah, I like that indeed. Pocket Rocket, did you have the same similar situation? Anyone else representing your school? Uh, no, it was just us in our school, but we still had that encouragement from ourselves. It was yeah. good. And uh, from regionals, did you sort of extract some knowledge yeah. that you could use? Yeah, we had lots of uh, knowledge and advice from our regionals, what we learned from, which helped us today. And if there was to be one thing that you took away from regionals, you're like, I like that idea, we might Im employ it. Maybe for the, uh, for the marketing and sponsorship, was there anything from that? Uh, yeah, we decided to get more sponsors for our um, team because we thought it would help and it has it's improved major. The classic picking up the phone, emailing, ringing, please may I have some money to improve my car for F1 in schools. Um, it's a bit of a daunting project. Did you have to do that, Amy? Yeah, so I went to two world finals and they can cost a they a can lot. cost a lot. Um, so the main thing we did was mostly um, contact companies that we was, saw that were sponsoring other teams. So uh, Prostatin High, where um, Pocket Rocket are from, is actually very close to where I'm from. So um, maybe you can get in contact with some of the businesses that I got in contact with. But um, such a small pool of businesses around where we live that um, are very helpful and they can offer a lot of support. And obviously, not always financial. Sometimes it's um, with services, with products. So. But it all helps, though. To all helps, definitely. And I'm looking at Inferno's uh, design on the top. Micro Geek, the future is yours. How easy was it to get sponsorship? So I guess with, like, after the pandemic and, like, with the rising prices and stuff, it was sort of hard. But then Micro Geeks, they are a STEM company. Uh, so basically, they encouraged them and run workshops in schools. So they were quite eager to help uh, us with our journey. So they were good. Uh, they helped us. Yeah, I imagine that moment where you're like, uh, we're from uh, St. Olaf's uh, Grammar School. Wait a minute, we've already had an email from you guys. And you're like, no, we're another team. Uh, there's three of us, you know, that sort of competition, a bit friendly to try and nab the businesses. But well done on that. And I'm liking the, the logos, the design of the teams. Have you seen many of the cars, Amy? I have. I was involved in some of the scrutineering last night, as you said, very late night. Um, but no, they all look really good, a really good standard. Um, it's going to be very difficult to tell which one's going to win, but that's where we get our tech pundit, Sam, to normally... Yes, Sa know. Sam Chapman, formerly of Team Unity, been to a world final. He knows a thing or two, but we'll wait, because we can go trackside. Best of luck to both of the teams. They've swapped lanes. So let's see if there could be any improvements with the times. Back to lane one, crossing the line first there, wait to see any breakages. I wonder if Lily and Harriet at the other end have been given the information on breakages, the sign language of breakages. If not, we might have to teach them. Yeah, that is true actually, because Lily will be competing at the world finals, uh, I believe in Singapore. So um, she will not want to see any of those signs, but another quick time, an improvement in reactions from George. He just gets quicker and quicker. A point, one, eight, one, what's his secret? Do you know what the secret of George is? Because he looks very sort of zen. He doesn't look like he's constantly moving. So how does he do it? Just gets in the moment, I think. Just practicing a lot. Okay, I'll find out the secret at the end of this race. But, uh, but still, crossing the line first is Inferno. Um, so even that reaction time does help Amy, but again, it's down to the manufacturing of the car, the mass, the weight. That's the, that's the thing about this competition is every single element adds up, whether it's a reaction time or whether it's enterprise judging. So it's really important that you get a good combination of everything. All of the world champions we've had have always been very well-rounded. Well-rounded. I like that. What a phrase. Uh, Inferno, you're closest, Amy. I want to know, uh, what are you most looking forward to today with the judging and your least favourite? My least favourite? Yeah. Oh. And your favourite as well. So we're giving it yin and yang, a bit of a balance. So I helped a lot with the enterprise, so that's probably my favourite. And for least favor, we can probably say, I guess, pit display, because uh, we, there's a lot of marks for the two portfolios, so there's probably more weightage of those. So. Okay. Oops. All right, okay, well, there you go. Pit what are you most looking forward to as we can go racing in one second? What are you most looking forward to? I think what I'm most looking forward to is probably the, uh, the speeches. I'm looking forward to that part, get out of the way anyway, yeah. Not looking forward to them because you love them. Just get them out of the way. I like that. Uh, all right, then, let's go racing for the last time between these two teams, Pocket Rocket and Inferno.
you may have seen just to the side of the screen uh, the team that are coming up uh, in two races time. Exhausted racing. They've got them incredible uh, glasses that, uh, that are unmissable, Amy. I'm looking forward to uh, maybe even trying on a pair. He's gone even faster again. No, he didn't this time. Uh, the faster time for Inferno. 0.174. It was because I maybe put George off. He was in the zone and then he wasn't after he'd spoken to me. But a 0.296, a 1.296 is the time. Brilliant stuff there from Inferno. The cars come back. I'll get final thoughts from Pocket Rocket before we say goodbye to them. Thoughts overall? Summarize it for me. Break it down, Pocket Rocket. I think we've done pretty good and we can always come back better. I like that. Pocket Rocket by name, Pocket Rocket with answers as well. Uh, why did you go for the name Pocket Rocket? I think it was just a general inspiration of uh, rockets. I think how fast they are. I think we can go as, reach as far as they can. And portable as well. Well, George, well done on your times. Uh, that's Pocket Rocket. We'll say goodbye to them. And I'm going to go to one of the quieter members of Inferno, who we haven't spoken to. Do you want to tell me how you think the racing went? Are you happy with how it went? Uh, yeah, I'd say we're happy with our racing. We're very pleased with uh, Ishan's uh, reaction time. We're very happy with that. Uh, it's good to see that our manufacturing has paid off, and so we've gotten some good times that we're pleased with. So um, are you nervous for the rest of the judging categories? What do you have next? Um, I think we have brand identity coming up, so we're pretty confident for that and looking forward to that. Very confident team over here, so yeah. I'm happy with performance. And I'm noticing the wristbands. We didn't get wristbands. Does that mean we're not allowed out? Can we, if we go out, we can't get back in. Not as important. Okay. It's team members, Tom. Yeah, team members. I might get some free merch. Well, listen, well done to Pocket Rocket. Well done to Inferno. Enjoy the rest of the day, guys. Uh, we'll say goodbye to both of the teams. They can now vacate the area because it's uh, non-stop here. Oh, a handshake as well. I'd like to see that uh, because we are going to be welcoming over here HMR heads are going to be joining me. One more race. Oh, I do apologize. Well, look at that. That's what happens. It's live. What do you expect, guys? It's not all perfect here. One more race. Is that one more race? I think it might have been a problem with the start system. Oh. I saw that one of them didn't start. Um, oh, hang on a minute. I'm not going to name and shame. I'm not going to name and shame, but a fantastic team, uh, formerly Imperium uh, from the Robert May School, is now changing to Nightingale. And this is the thing with the F1 in schools, uh, a regional or a national final, always with the racetrack. It takes a little time just to get into the zone, doesn't it? It's a little bit slower than we are going to be fast paced throughout the day. Lots of racing on the way. Uh, we're stopping for lunch at, um, we're stopping at 12.20. So up until then, we will be flowing through all of the races. Next up, we have HMR Head um, from, uh, Haberdash, Haberdash's Boys School, and then uh, Tori Veloci will be joining us. The final St. Olaf's Grammar School join us. So here we go. Best of luck to both of the teams as we redo one of the races. The start gate has been pushed. Very quick, very close there indeed. Uh, and again, Inferno takes it in lane two. Lane two, Pocket Rocket uh, have taken it, but we will find out the full details on that, a point one seven two. So when I doubted George, I shouldn't have done because he went even faster. Uh, get him another race, he'll be even quicker with his reaction times. So there you go, uh, that will be finalized. Everything will be confirmed. Pocket Rocket, enjoy the rest of the day. Get those verbals out of the way. Your words, not mine. And we'll say goodbye to Inferno as well. Thank you very much, guys. So there you go. They'll be hopeful and grateful they got to race again there, I'm sure. Um, does that put a bit of stress on the car? if you're racing again and again. Yeah, I think as we see a lot of the time in the world finals when we have the knockout competition, uh, cars get very close to breakage quite a lot of the time. And as you've seen multiple times, cars break on the first run. So like I said before, it's really important that they have a mixture of um, strength and stability and then also speed. It's a very, very tricky game to play. That is a, a balance that I am glad I do not have to get involved in, but I will get involved in welcoming our two teams. So HMR Head are gonna come and join me as I remove a sweet wrapper from there. Someone's left a sweet wrapper on the chair. Outrageous, and they didn't offer. Uh, so there you go. Uh, oh, a fist bump as well. I like that. 
I'm not chatting to Tori Velocci, but they are going to go fierce, but whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. There was one team member. No fist bump. And that was the strongest one of the bunch. Uh, there we go. Sorry, Veloce joining. And uh, HMR Head, you can come and join me here. They've brought stuff to talk about. I like this. What? That's a, and a pen. Free to, these, are our, these are incredible. Amy, would you like this? This is like origami masterclass, if ever I've seen that. Uh, they have brought amazing stuff. And a leaflet as well, so I can read. I'm not even going to ask you any questions. I'll come back to you once I've read all of this. HMR Head, welcome. Uh, good morning. Uh, how are we feeling about racing today? Uh, feeling very excited. Uh, can't wait to race. So what have you passed me here so we can explain to everybody at home? This is just incredible. Yeah, so this is an origami shark. It's made from recycled paper. Um, our fellow shark, William, made it. He's racing today, and uh, it's a token of our... Uh, brand identity. Well, I love this, and that is incredible. We're getting it up close there. Uh, don't go too close on my nails. The nerves of hosting means I've bitten them. So, but now I've told you, so I shouldn't have done that either. Anyway, HMR, where have you travelled from today? We've come from uh, Elstree. Okay. Yeah, uh, we uh, we are Habad Habadash's boys' school, and we have come uh, through our journey. So we're both tired bit tired, but now the, now the fun starts, the energy. Uh, what are you most looking forward to today? Uh, I think we're looking forward to the judging of, the, of our portfolios. Uh, we want to do our best and uh, obviously win. Well, fingers crossed, because there's a world finals up for grabs. Uh, please, I didn't do it. Could you introduce everyone on your team? Hi, so I'm Ayan. I'm our team manager and at Aerodynamicist. This is Joel. Hello, I'm Joel, and I'm the CAD engineer, and I'm also uh, do finances for the team. Oh, that's a lot of roles to play. Who are you, sir? I'm Casper, and I'm head of graphics at Hammerhead. Um, I'm Oscar. I'm uh, I do marketing and I do project management. And can I say, Oscar, I love your glasses. So we have met HMR Head. Let's uh, meet your team, Amy. So we have the final school in the Battle of St. Olav's. Um, Tori Velotti, which I might be saying wrong. We've all been told to remember your names, so if you could let me know what they are and what you did. All right, so uh, I'm Orion Sheikh. I'm the team titan. And that's Sean, our money man. Um, I'm Kostub, the design demolisher. And that's Sid, our uh, dangerous driver and testing king. Uh, hello guys, I'm Taron, I'm the manufacturing magician. I'm Arnav and I'm the brand boss. I am loving these, what a creative spin on these team names. Brand <laughs> boss, I'm a magician. Well, let's see if they are going to be magical for both teams. Let's go race side down there to get underway. Best of luck to both teams. Lane two, crossing the line first. It's gone into the deceleration zone. Bristles and a towel. Bristles and a towel, Amy, there this year. Uh, all changed for the world finals, I'm hearing, on the grapevine. Uh, so a point one seven five reaction time for Zoe Veloce. Well done to them. And I see all green sectors there for split, track, finish, and crew. So well done to your team, Zoe Veloce. Yeah, we're happy with that performance. Are you confident in your car before the race? Uh, not really. But, uh, not really, but I'm going to take the microphone uh, with yeah, confidence. We will take the microphone. Uh, honestly, we just came here to wing it. We're just winging all of it, and uh, our car's pretty fast, so not that deep. It's, it's more of a long-term thing for us. Um, yeah, if, it's, it's about participation that ca um, for us, yeah. In it for the long game. What does that mean? Says break the that manufacturing down. magician. Yeah, <laughs> break that down for me. What does that mean, Amy? No, no, I mean, I'm, I'm asking you, me. Amy. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think that means? Before we go and uh, finalize that with the magician. I mean, I would think because these are all development teams that they're planning on entering professional class, maybe. I mean, they, they seem cool as cucumbers over here. I'm not, not too sure. Okay, so they're in it for the long run. Well, let's see if the magic has happened in the engineering department as we go racing again.
was a faster start in lane two for Tori Veloce, and they did cross the line first as well. Uh, they are winging it, but winging it very well. That's the fastest reaction time, 0.153. Um, but I can't quite remember if that was a slight improvement. Casper, uh, what have you noticed so far? Glasses as well. I like your glasses. Did you just put them on? Yes. Yeah, you did, yeah, because you wanted a shout out for your glasses as well, Casper. Well, you've got one. Uh, what, what have you noticed so far at Trackside from your car? Well, um, obviously, we are a bit slower. Uh, but as a graphic designer for the team, I'm hoping that maybe we can make up in some other departments later on. Yeah, fingers crossed. And what department, what area are you looking forward uh, to most today? Uh, I think we're looking forward to our pit display judging. Uh, we worked really hard on it, and we hope it does really well. Yeah, well, fingers crossed on that. Um, and what did you make of your driver reaction times? Can William go faster? Um, I think William's doing great. He's getting 0.2 reaction times. It's pretty fast. Uh, of course, he can try a bit harder, but uh, we're, we're proud of him. Oh, well, there you go. Brilliant stuff. And who is your other team uh, mate who is down at the other end bringing the cars back? Yeah, so that's Zachary. Um, he is our uh, sponsorship and marketing manager. So. Uh, I like the idea that Zachary might race the cars. He was very quick there as he ran past. That is something maybe we'll save till the end of the competition. Zachary versus a car. I'm looking towards Zachary. Zachary, uh, yay or nay, you can sort of shake your head up or down. Uh, do you reckon you could be faster than the car? That's a, that's not even going to think about it for a little bit? No, it's definite no. Definite no on that one. Well, that is a shame. Uh, there you go. Zachary uh, is not faster than one of the cars trackside. We're just waiting for the cars to be uh, swapped over. And, um, and why did you choose the Hammerhead uh, Shark as part of your name, HMR Head? So we went with the Hammerhead Shark as our mascot because the Hammerhead Shark, it, it's a very streamlined creature. It's very elegant. It's zooms through the water chasing its prey and so we designed our car after a hammerhead shark since we went with biomimicry and it's a very crucial part of our team uh, yeah oh well there you go that's perfectly answered that question so i understand hammers they've got some sort of bull like uh sort of animal on their top jersey but will they even know the answer because they've been winging it all the way here so i would be curious to know. Amy. I mean, they're not as cool as cucumbers now. I think they, might, they thought there might have been a problem on the car, so the manufacturing magician was just giving some instructions. See, we're doing a lot of hand signals over here. What's going on? So we think something was wrong with the rear axle there. But do you want to tell us a little bit more about your branding, about the, the bull design? Um, we took inspiration from various F1 teams, such as like Red Bull, AlphaTauri, which all, and Lamborghini, not an F1 team, but uh, nevertheless, it's a motorsports team. And they all, they, they all incorporated bulls in their logos, and we decided to as well. So there we go, learning from the best, Tori Veloci. Well, this is it. This is how you uh, take a good idea and make it your own, improve it where you can, uh, or just learn from the best. Um, I'm hearing there was a slight breakage from Tori Veloci, a little breakage. I'm getting a signal from Charlotte, which was tiny, tiny. I'm, I'm, I'm no good at charades, so you're going to have to... Do you know what? I'm just going to go over. That's what I'm going to do. Um, so I'm going to meet some of the people from Robert Mays. Well, well done, guys. Uh, well done on the driving. You got a good shout out there. Yeah, thank, thank you. You're welcome. Uh, what's happened here? So one of the fins at the back has just snapped off, so we're just trying to repair that, and then they can get racing. And just for anyone at home, how are they going to be able to repair that? With glue. And hope. With glue and hope. Uh, well done, William. Your team are very proud of you. No worries, I just thought I'd let you know. I'm going to take a sit down while we wait. Uh, I'm going to meet more with the teams uh, while we get the super gluing happen. Uh, so we, you had several roles on the team. What were your roles again? So my roles are CAD engineer and uh, finances for the team. And how difficult did you find the finances for the team? You had to buy these amazing glasses for Casper at the back here. Uh, what were the challenges of working with the finance? Well, it's just... At the beginning, it was kind of like uh, getting all the monies out and sponsors in. It was just a bit, it was quite a lot to handle at the beginning, but I feel like I got uh, over it quite easy. Well, brilliant. Well, look, look at this, Veloce. No etiquette when it comes to filming. They have just got, went straight through the camera there. I'm obviously, I'm only joking, I'm only joking. Uh, but I wanted to ask, is there any teachers you wanted to shout out? Uh, I want to shout out uh, Mr. Lee and Mrs. Cody for coming today to support us. 
and have they been helpful? Have they kept you calm and sort of on the right track? Yes, uh, they. Miss Use Cody's been here all the way, helping us through all the hard times. Amazing. Okay, well, I'm looking forward to having a look at your pit display as well, because that's the thing that you are most confident about. And have you met any other teams yet? Because it's all about networking. You've got to meet the other teams. So, yeah, we've met quite a few of the teams. There's also uh, Tori Veloci was uh, at our last uh, regionals, and we raced them last time. What? I'm getting the inside scoop here. So you raced them before. Did they beat you last time as well? Yes. Okay, and where did, what did you take away? Like, we have to beat them. Because they keep saying they're just winging it which I think, you know, it's annoying when people say they're winging it and doing it quite well, but I reckon they're not quite, I think they're lying a little bit about winging it. So what did you do from regionals to be here? So we improved the side pods just to make them a bit more streamlined and we just improved the wings a bit more. So it got our car like I think two times faster than it was before. So it, we made big improvements and we hoped it would work here and it seems like it's worked. But. Well, congratulations, and no breakages for your team. I'm going to come and join Amy again. They raced each other in regionals, these two teams. Yeah, we've just had a stern word from the Tori Veloci teacher being shouted over the track, saying they haven't been winging it. They're just acting really cool. Ah, so, see, um, that's why I knew, I knew I doubted them for a second. They're just confident and jokey, and I like that. A good sense of humour goes far in the world. Yeah, I've also been told that these fins on the back of the car are... Oh, they're ready, they're ready to go, Tom. Oh, well, I'll that's hold it. that thought. Okay, then. Best of luck to both teams. They've changed lanes, here we go. And there we go, in the deceleration zone. Um, and a, wow, staggering time there, 0.149. That's the fastest so far reaction time from Tori Veloce. Well done to them, improving their times. So what do the fins do then at the back? I mean, I will hand over to a design engineer who could tell me a little bit about the fins. Um, well, the diffusers, they were supposed to make it fast, but because they're broken, I don't know if it's fast anymore. But our car's faster now, so I'm not really sure what it does. Uh, I mean, in testing, it was supposed to make it fast, but I don't really understand the main concept behind it. So, uh, yeah. Well, there you go. That is the insight that we look for in F1 in schools. Honesty. Uh, honesty. <laughs> honesty. That's what we look for. Uh, great stuff. Um, we are slightly behind schedule at the moment. We were supposed to have exhausted racing on at 10.35. So we're going to catch up as best we can. They've taken a seat now. They're relaxing. They're in the zone. We're ready to go racing. So that's exactly what we'll do right now. But you can't hope with breakages and hold-ups. But here we go. Best of luck. I'm whispering now to both teams. And finally, HMR head get across the line and a faster time. So they're celebrating slightly. They're happy. Little victory there. Finally taking a win. What does that mean to you to cross the line first, Casper? Uh, it's, it's great because um, obviously we haven't been so great, but um, now um, we are definitely carrying on. And later on, hopefully, we can improve what we've just done. Indeed, and obviously the hammerhead colour is a dark blue. I've noticed with the glasses as well, they're dark blue, Casper. I see what you're doing. Um, what's next for you guys? Um, well, hopefully we get to uh, the world finals. That would be very nice. Uh, but um, after this, well, I think we're just going to re-enter into pro class next year and do a lot of more redesigning. So hopefully we can finally beat Tori Veloci if they're competing next year. <laughs> Your arch nemesis will be defeated one day. But listen, best of luck uh, to, and to both teams. Uh, I believe that is it, done and dusted with all the racing. So enjoy the rest of the day uh, to Tori Veloce and to HMR Head. Take it away. Thank you very much, both teams. Did you have a slight rifle? Oh, amazing. I can't, I can't give those one to you. This is limited. That's a limited edition. So I don't get the limited edition. Oh, early Christmas present. There we go. That's brilliant. We've got three there. We'll, we'll save one for Sam. Ah, oh, thank you very much. Look at this. This is amazing. Look at this, free gifts. Um, key rings made from bottle caps, and I got the limited edition one. Mm -hmm. Special. Yeah, please, if you're about to step up and start racing, you do not have to bring freebies, but uh, you can if you'd like. 
That's what I'm going to say on that. So let's welcome our next two teams up here. I'm going to be joined on my right by Exhausted Racing. And who have you got, Amy? And I have Gear Shift from Charlton School. So they're going to be joining us. Uh, Exhausted Racing, they have a clear team identity, that's for sure. Oh, cool and I feel top. like there's some freebies coming. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you. We needed these. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Gifts and trinkets, amazing. Well, thank you very much, Exhausted Racing. Uh, they're joining me. Uh, we'll get gear shift up. Um, guys, where have you traveled from? Tell me everything I need to know about you as a team. Um, Wilmslow, so near Manchester area. So we drive, drove down today, early start, 6 a.m. Yeah, so that wasn't too nice, but we got here. And yeah, everything's going quite well so far. Brilliant, and do you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do no puns on exhausted racing, okay? I'm not gonna do it. No, I'm not gonna do it, but did you feel like that was gonna happen? Why did you choose the name exhausted racing? We just felt it embodied the spirit of our team, really. And you know, we're, we welcome you to make puns. We do it ourselves. We're tired of pollution with a Y, so. <laughs> <laughs> well, good, I like that. Uh, introduce your team for me before I pass over to Amy and her team. So I'm Jack, this is Yusuf, the project management. We have Zach and Will. And then Tarek is on reaction times, and Will is down the end. Okay, now I saw you guys, you came in, I think, second into this competition in the building, literally by timings today, so well done that. But Tarek has been chosen, why? Is he cool and calm, under pressure, or has he just got the fastest reaction time? <laughs> yeah, he's running on caffeine, he is. <laughs> that should power him through. Okay, how many coffees has he had? <laughs> I think about three, so. Okay. Uh, okay, <laughs> amazing. Well, look, he's coffeeed up there, driver. Who have you got with you, Amy? So here I have gear shift. So excited for the competition? Of course, we've been waiting for a while to be here, and it's great to finally be racing. Yeah, do you want to introduce your team and tell me who's, who's driving and who's at the bottom? Of course. So we've got Connor racing today. He's our team manager. I'm the general assistant. My name's Jay. To my left here, I've got Sidi. He is our engineer and our CAD designer. To our left with them, we have Joe, who is our main sponsor, Outreach. Amazing, and there's only four in this team, so don't know who's gonna be collecting the cars at the other end. Oh, we do have Holly. Oh, you, for you forgot Holly. Well, <laughs> her name's Holly, and she is our marketing research and our designer. You're gonna have to make that up to Holly, can't believe, there we go. We got a, a screen, screen grab of Holly over there. <laughs> oh, well, there you go. It's a nightmare if you forget one of your team, but they all have a vital role to play in all the teams. Let's go racing. Best of luck to both teams. Team Exhausted in lane one and gear shift in lane two. <laughs> well, it's lane one, Exhausted racing. From Wilslow, just outside of Manchester, very early start. They seem to get a brilliant reaction time there, 0 0.206. We've seen faster reaction time, so maybe the coffee's wearing off a little bit. Get him a fourth coffee quickly for Tarek. But there you go, cross the line first with a 0.251 time there, 1.251. Quick, but I'm not sure where that's putting us so far in leaderboard times, Amy, but uh, I imagine the cars might go a little bit quicker. And normally there's a faster car between A and B, isn't there? Yeah, well, I think it's very difficult to make sure the manufacturing is exactly the same on both. So some can have a better finish, one can be a little bit heavier. So it's a really key thing to think about to make sure both cars are exactly, exactly the same. Okay, I believe that we can go racing again. So let's get both races underway and then we'll find out more about the teams. So exhausted racing, cross the line first, a faster reaction time, hold fire on that coffee. Uh, he doesn't need one, 0.182 for Tarek. Uh, and you have there the seven thousandths of a second different between gear shift for reaction time. So we'll rate, change the teams over in terms of lanes. What are we thinking? Come on, talk to me. Don't hold back. Let me know what you're thinking. Is this as fast as this car has gone or can we go faster? We can go faster, you know. Um, 1.25 is a good time. I think that maybe we need to mess with the axles. Um, the friction it proved a big problem for us uh, in testing. 
I think we can go into the low 1.2s, maybe with a good uh, race. Um, yeah, it's down to Tarek as well. Get those quick reacting times in. It's down to Tarek as well. Never forget, it's down to Tarek. Um, in terms of that design, I was just chatting to Amy. There's like a pronged attack right at the front. Your, what's that all about? Explain that to me. Yeah, so we were looking for something to really cut through the air, something like similar to a, a Concord design, if, if you think that. So it really, it's low cone, it cuts through the air. Um, it sort of redirects the air around the car instead of making sure it hits the back wheels. We want it to hit the bottom of the front wheels, is what, we, is what we've tried to do. And uh, we think it's worked quite well on our CFD tests. And uh, the theory is good, I think. Okay, there you go. So all that testing, theory-based, and then put it into practical testing. Uh, is there anyone you want to shout out, Jack, uh, that's helped you get here today? Oh, Miss Regan and Denis over there. <laughs> we couldn't have got here without them. So many late nights and early mornings. <laughs> yeah, stuff we'd forgot. <laughs> is that just the packing, the, the admin stuff? Yeah. Well, you're here. That's the main thing. Um, right, let's find out how we've got two races done. How are your team gear shift feeling, Amy? Well, we've been talking a lot about the caffeine strategy for the reaction time. So do you know what the strategy for you, picking your reaction time, who was going to be the driver? What did you do there? Well, earlier on in the regional uh, competition, Connor was our fastest. He had a reaction of 1.14. So we chose him, being the clear choice there. He's the best out of the team, and we still have faith in him here to win. Yeah, he's doing a great job. So you're happy with how the racing's gone? Were you expecting to be, to be this quick? Uh, yeah, basically. It's better than our last iterations of the car, and it's still an improvement overall, so we're happy. Amazing. See these iterations getting quicker and quicker. Oh, well, there you go. We like that. Connor. Connor with two N's. Yeah, it, Connor with two N's. He's not one of those Connors with just one N. So he's doubling up. He's even quicker. And, of course, we've got Holly at the other end. Uh, we mustn't forget Holly. No, we mustn't because she's part of the team. Um, and in terms of you guys, what, how, what are you looking forward to today out of all of the elements that you're going to be judged on? Oh, maybe the verbal presentation. Yeah, we're, we're, <laughs> we're excited to show what our team's all about with the, the first team from Wilmsley High School. So that's exciting. Yeah, it is very exciting. And you got it because I'm going to put it out there. It's quite intimidating talking to someone while they've got exhausted racing uh, going across their eyes. Are you going to keep these on for the verbal presentation? Definitely. <laughs> okay, fair enough. There you go. Uh, so here we go. We could go race here for the third time out of four. Best of luck to both of the teams. And as you could tell there, a very quick reaction time uh, in lane two. Getting that help that they need, 0.182. So the same reaction time as last time. Uh, to the, exactly the same thousandths of a second. So well done uh, to Exhausted Racing. Going to go again. And then they get the on-track time of 1.251. So after we've got Exhausted Racing uh, taking on gear shift, we'll have Airborne versus CHS Comet. They'll be coming to join us. As we're all lined up to go racing. Here we go then for the fourth and final time. And again, a lane two, exhausted racing, crossing the line first. And a 0.172. So even though gear shift, Connor got a really fast reaction time of a 0.178, 6,000 of a second quicker for Tarek. And there are your final results. So well done to exhausted racing. Tarek's already left the racing area. He's gone back behind the barrier. I don't know why he's done that, but he's done. His job is done now. What do you have in store for the rest of the day? What's next up? Uh, just, just enjoying ourselves, really. We might go get a snack down there. <laughs> then will you eat it? Yeah, yeah. Okay, then will you put the rubbish where? In the bin. Thank you. Well, there you go. What a day is lined up for you. But in terms of the judging, what are you looking forward to today? You've got that verbal presentation you're looking forward to, but what's next on your schedule? Um, the use of brand identity judging. 
Right, well, best of luck with that. Exhausted racing, well done on the performance there. Uh, we'll say goodbye and we'll see you very shortly, I am sure. So there you go, Exhausted racing, they're leaving the building. And I'm going to come over to my team and ask, is there anyone specifically that you want to thank for helping you get here, sponsors, teachers? Uh, of course, our teachers, they've been a massive help. They've helped us after school. They've showed us ways to do things and we've just built on their ideas and expanded our car. And a thank you to Holly. Of course. There go. <laughs> well, there you go. Gear shift. Uh, we'll say goodbye to you guys. Uh, head on. Best of luck with the rest of the day. Take care. Um, and yeah, it, it's always difficult. You're, you're racing against the team on the track, but you're also just racing against yourselves to see if you can improve those times. Yeah, especially with reaction racing, because sometimes nerves and then the caffeine can wear off. So you've got to make sure you're as accurate and as... What's the word? Mm. 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 We'll work on that. <laughs> we'll work on the word uh, for the accurate. But I see a team that are ready to come on over. We have Airborne and we have CHS Comet. So I am going to have next to me, Airborne are going to join me. Uh, they're just lining up their driver. Are you team Airborne? Yeah. Oh, incredible. You are going to take a seat here. Uh, don't be shy. Come and join me. Welcome to the party. We've got, who have you got? I have got CHS Comet oh. joining me on this side. Okay, and they're not coming up, are they? They are leaving. We've got team members running about. They seem a bit reluctant to come over, don't they, Amy? I don't think I'm that scary. But no, you're a very on, nice person. Me. There you go. So both teams are lined up in position. I'm going to have a little chat with Airborne from St. John's College in Cardiff. How are we today? Are we all right? Nerves? Definitely nervous. Okay, what are you most nervous about? Um, probably the verbal presentation. Okay. So this is actually good practice. A little bit of chatting to us, to people at home who are watching live. Um, and in terms of the racing, how confident do we feel about your car? Um, I'm fairly confident. I think, I think it's quite fast. Yeah. We've researched a lot. We've worked really hard, so yeah. Well, as long as you can say that, I've worked really hard, I couldn't have done any more, then you can feel that satisfaction that you've done the best you can. Uh, and what have you learned from regionals coming here to the national finals? Um, definitely, like, it, well, <laughs> um, how, like, just good it is to be here and, like, certain things we forgot last time. Um, and obviously, like, the trigger finger, just, yeah. And who is your teammate who is down there as the driver? Um, that's Lara, she's our team manager. Okay, Lara, the team manager. Well, best of luck to Lara. I'll get an introduction of all of the teams in just a second. But actually, I didn't get you to introduce yourselves. Oh, I'm Charlotte. I'm the graphic designer. I'm Ikshu, and I'm the design engineer. And is that it? There's one other team member. Um, so that's Amy. That's, um, she's our manufacturing engineer. And one of our team members, Holly, is in Jordan for a family wedding, so couldn't make it. <laughs> oh, and is she going to be missed today in her role in the team? Definitely, like yeah. We keep, we keep like a posting about it so she can see, because she's very upset that she's not here, obviously. Yeah. Hey, you get married supposedly once in a lifetime, so there you go. She has to meet, and what a great opportunity to go to Jordan to, to do that. I believe that we are ready to go racing, so best of luck to both teams. We'll find out a little bit about CHS Comet in just a second. Oh, well, we're just being told we're not going to go racing just yet. They're eager, the drivers. Who have we got over there as the driver for CHS Comet? I mean, we have got um, CHS Comet, which is a relation of CHS Lightning, who won in our January national final. So do you want to introduce yourself and the rest of the team? I'm Maddie, the team manager. I'm Sam, the design engineer. And I'm Carolina, the finance manager. And who have we got down racing? We've got Ben, the manufacturing engineer. Ben looks very excited to be here. Ben is having a great time. We've had a little dance. We're very excited. Uh, was Ben, were you chosen because you're the tallest of the team? For the... Yeah, so yeah, uh, we're not entirely sure of that. Uh, but they've traveled here to get here. We're seeing a start gate being altered and changed. This is John. Uh, who's uh, worked tirelessly to make sure the schedule is lined up, ready, 
travels all the way around the world with F1 in schools to help out in their national and world finals. He's kind of part of the family, isn't he, John? Yeah, part of the furniture. Everywhere F1 in schools go, John's there as well. So how does this work then? So CHS Lightning were there in Birmingham at the national final there. So how was, are you the same school? Are you the splinter group? What happens? You're the arch nemesis of CHS Lightning? No, so they're the year above us at school. So they competed last year in January in the previous rounds. And then they've, then with their persuasion, they've managed school to get three more teams. And we are the winners of the regionals this year. And then uh, another team of the same year as us, CHS Boost, also were in the regionals and they came third. And then the final races was Waconia races in year nine. So they've persuaded a lot more teams to be done and just here we are. I like it. It's, make, it's making sure that all of the school gets involved in F1 in schools. Yeah, yeah uh, and I'm just waiting for that one team to break the mold. We don't want to be CHS anymore. We want to be uh, just our own identity. Uh, but yeah, uh, we actually are ready to go racing. So let's hold that thought. Best of luck to Ben and Laura. So there you go, lane two, CHS Comet, the faster with a 0.169, incredibly fast reaction time from the tallest member of the team, Ben. Uh, but a very good time as well, set in reaction from Laura for Airborne. So maybe there can be an improvement, but a sub 0.2 is very good reaction time. So why did you choose, choose Laura, your team manager? Did she just say, I want to be the driver? Or was she the quickest in reaction times? Um, so for regionals, I was the um, person doing the trigger finger, but when we tested our cars in our school a couple of weeks ago, we each had a go and Lara turned out to be the fastest of us. Yeah. So Lara is the driver for a reason. It's been uh, qualified with data and she's about to go racing again. So best of luck to both of the teams. I'm hearing the groans uh, to my left, to the right of people who are just, ah, oh, I don't, ah, oh, because we're getting the live reactions of the time. CHS Comet, a point one four nine. That equals the fastest reaction time that we have seen from Torre Veloce today. So incredibly fast reactions. Can it be beaten? We will find out. I believe Airborne, the track time uh, is exactly the same. So manufactured both cars to be the same unless a little bit quicker, but Lara's gonna move around, so is Ben, the two drivers. And your teammate there was running around, not quite knowing where to go, but she's brought the cars back, and now she's running the other way. Where is she going? Where's your teammate going? <laughs> um, down to the end. To she's very quick, car. very quick. Very quick, yeah. <laughs> she always wins on sports day for a reason. Yeah. Really? Yeah. And please remind me of your teammate's name. Um, Amy. Amy, a bit of a sports day, uh, aficionado. And who is she uh, talking to? There's a lot of networking going down at the other end of the pit lane. Who is that? Um, that is Team Red Dawn. They're um, a pro class team from also from our school competing here today. Oh, well, hello to them. And are they, uh, have they been able to sort of help you, give you some sort of uh, tips for coming to the Nationals? Oh, definitely. They've helped us um, a lot with our social media, the portfolios, the car. Um, it's been very, very helpful and we're very thankful for them. I'm just looking at my leaderboard here. Red Dawn, you say. Yeah. I'm just having a little look when they are coming up. Um, I can't see them. They don't exist. They do exist. They are on at five past three. They've got ages. Do you reckon you're going to come and support them if you're not judging at some point? Oh, definitely, yeah. Okay, all right. And, and any teachers, any people that you want to thank that have helped you get here today? Um, well, all the teams from our school have helped us a lot. And Mrs. Bate and Miss Crowley, they've really helped us, like, with things that we've forgotten and stuff. <laughs> and are there any teams that have gone on to do very well in F1 in schools that have kind of like given you that sort of inspiration to, to compete the way that they have? Um, so Team Blackout, they, I don't think they're a team anymore, but they um, managed to make it to Worlds um, a few years ago. They're also from our team and Team Firestorm are going to Worlds in September. 
So they've, yeah, good luck to them. There's something in the water in Cardiff. Um, team Blackout helped us out with the World uh, Nationals in Birmingham, didn't they? Yeah, amazing team. They came second at the World Finals in Silverstone, I believe. So it's really great to see St. John's College also getting multiple teams involved, getting the um, information passed through the generations. <laughs> by osmosis and also passed on. Um, CHS, uh, we have got a um, comment. Uh, how are you feeling about that result that we've just seen, those two races? We're very happy with it, but got to be cautious just in case. We are being kept in suspense over this leaderboard, so we have no idea where they're placing with the rest of the races we've had. But it looks fast, it looks sturdy. Yeah, that was uh, Amy's uh, and my subtle way of saying, we, we'd like to just know. Uh, but that will be populated. There's a lot going on today. A brilliant team working behind the scenes. The whole F1 in schools team making sure the day could happen today. Uh, there's many cogs uh, in this machine that make it all run so smoothly. Uh, thank you very much for everyone who is watching wherever you are around the world do let us know where you are watching around the world it's always good to give you a good shout out but we can go racing again so the cars have been moved to the opposite lane and let's get the racing underway a chs comet crossing the line first they don't want to jinx anything, uh, do CHS Comet. 0.151, a very fast reaction time. 2,000 slower than his fastest time for Ben. Um, but Ebon happier with that. And an improvement in track. No, again, it's slightly just trying. You've got a good split time, the same as CHS Comet. What are you noticing from the racing? Um, I'm noticing that our trigger time has been getting better, although this one is... But um, I still think it's, the trigger time is definitely better than any of ours because it's probably the best that we've had. <laughs> there you go. I'll let them get in their zone. Uh, and one thing they do need to do, the drivers, is stay in their box. So best of luck to both of the drivers. Yes, an improvement in reaction time. But again, CHS Comet crossing the line quicker. And a sub point two. So well done to Lara, the driver, and well done to Ben. But as you can see, uh, of course, actually, I believe Ebon, 1.288, that is an improvement on your overall time. So well done on that. Uh, ben is probably going to come and join us now. He just looks like he's eager to run across. He's running across. The excitement. Um, overall, Ebon, happy with everything? Uh, definitely, yeah. And what are you looking forward to today now with judging? Uh, what's the next area that you're looking forward to? Um, the next thing that we'll be judged on is our brand identity at our pit. In okay. Mars. Okay, and we have our speedy speedster back from running. But also, Lara, uh, team manager or project manager, how, how did you feel that went? Um, I think that went pretty good. Um, the trigger time could have been better, but, you know, it was, it was good. <laughs> It was good overall, and how quick are you at running? Let, just break it down for us. Um, I don't race in school for that exact reason. So. Oh, you're too fast. You can't race in school. You've been, you know, the school have told you no. Uh, well, listen, uh, enjoy the rest of the day. Lovely to, to see you guys again. Uh, air, that is Airborne, and uh, they must be very happy, CHS Comet. Yeah, I'm going to run over here to speak to Ben. So, happy? Are you excited with the performance? Yeah, yeah, very happy. Very and what have you got next on the, on the day? Brand identity, I think. And while we're on the topic of brand identity, I just want to point to Maddie over there. I want, can we zoom in on Maddie's nails, please? Because they are, they are amazing. They are, they've got Comet, Comet branding on them. And I just think you're going to do a great job at brand identity. So great job, guys. Great job indeed. Well, there you go. CHS Comet, well done to them. Looking very smart and resplendent. You look like one of the teammates, uh, Amy, uh, for that. So maybe join. Just because of your sort of hair scrunchie uh, at the top of your head uh, matches the colours. Uh, CHS Comet, well done. We'll see you later on. And Airborne, enjoy the rest of your day. Uh, loads of what? Yeah. Oh, it's a tiny little octopus. Octopus energy, there you go. Well, look, uh, have lots of energy today. Get through the day, uh, be well. Um, we will catch up with you. Look at that. 
I like him. He's great. Loads of freebies. We're loving it. So there you go, Airborne. And there you go, CHS Comet. Sam's going past now. Look at him go. It's difficult to know where to walk. You can't walk around this long 20-meter track. Uh, he's part of Honeycomb. They've given up a day, even though they're going to the World Finals. Yeah, every single day counts as well. So hopefully they do a great job so they can't blame it on us. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, Lily and Sam blaming us. All right, then we have got some teams joining us. Uh, I will have joining me Red Eagle Racing. They're going to come and join me. Red Eagle Racing, seat yourselves up here. Come and join the party. That's what we're calling it. Red Eagle Racing, you come and join yourself up here. You are allowed. I know you wanted to sit on Amy's side, but you can't. We'll, we'll save it for tomorrow that we make sure that you're that side. And who have you got, Amy? And I think I've got Radian Racing. I might be pronouncing that wrong. I'll clarify with the team in a bit. Okay. All right. So, guys, Red Eagle Racing, uh, excited, pumped. Uh, just were you sort of nervous to get racing or, or sort, of, sort of like, bring it on, I'm ready? We're, we're quite excited. Uh, slightly annoyed, annoyed our team leader's not here, but I think no. hopefully it should, should run smoothly, hopefully. Where is your team leader? Uh, drama. Doing school, school play. Oh, I thought you said like there's drama. We don't want to talk about it. Like you were going to gossip in some way, but no, it's got drama. And who is going to be your driver? Uh, Louis Bordas. Okay, uh, he was just warming up his hands. Uh, his laces, I have to say, are the longest laces I've seen on any pair of shoes uh, today. I'm slightly concerned about that, but I'm also needing him to get in the zone. So those laces are actually going to be a bit of a hazard. Uh, you can't see them, but they are tucked over the edge. Anyway, listen, enough jokes. Let's go racing. Best of luck to both teams. Here we go. Crossing the line first in lane one is the laces of Red Eagle Racing. 0.183 with an overall track time of 1.302. So we've met Red Eagle, Re Red Eagle Racing, I can speak. Uh, who have you got next to you? I have got Radeon Racing. Do you want to introduce yourself and the rest of your team? Uh, my name's Aria. I'm the manufacturing engineer for Radeon. Uh, my, name's, my name's Noah and I'm the team manager. My name's Minerva and I'm the graphic designer. And who have we got pressing the button and down the other end? Uh, we've got Manu Durai over there. He's our technical director. And, and he's collecting the cars? Uh, that's Imbar Siva. Uh, he's our head engineer. Head engineer, collecting the cars, making sure everything's safe and ready at the end. Oh, perfect. perfect, that's what I like to see. And our driver, who was the driver again? Who was the driver again? Manu Durai. Manu Durai. Manu Durai, he is the driver. He's buzzing. I need him to be in the zone. Both of these drivers are eager to look over and look at the rest of their team, but they are ready to go racing. So here we go. Best of luck to both of the drivers and the teams. Again, another crossing of the line first for Team Red Eagle Racing. 0.151, two thousandths of a second off the quickest reaction time uh, set by CHS Comet and Tori Veloce. Uh, guys, what are we noticing here? Louis looks impressed. He has to be careful. He can't be running around with those laces. Um, I will find out why he's gone for such a long laces. Is that a deliberate move? I think he went to just Mountain Warehouse. Yeah. They were the shortest laces there. <laughs> wow. OK, because they normally go in boots, yeah. hiking boots. But he hasn't laced them around. Those are like school smart shoes. I'm, it's bothering me a lot, actually. I can't get it out of my mind. Uh, We've, noted that before. We've noted that before. Have you? And he still has done nothing about it. Yeah. Who is the team manager? They're not here. That's why. So who do you want to thank for Red Eagle Racing? Who's helped you get here today? Our sponsor, ATL. Uh, we couldn't have funded, uh, funded without them. Uh, secondly, our teachers, Mr. Rock, Mr. Jones, and then Mrs. Neville. Um, and yeah, they're who we want to thank most. Uh, Mr. Rock, always reliable. He is the rock. Was he the rock yeah. getting you here? Yeah, he was. And who are you looking forward to? Have you met other teams? Have you interacted, networked a little bit? Well, we've talked to Ignite NC, who we saw at the regionals. And that's about it, really. But um, looking forward to still looking around more. Yeah, and I suppose when you've been at regionals, it's like turning up going, wait a minute, I remember you. Like, oh, you again. Uh, but how did you enjoy regionals and sort of got that excitement ready to get ready for national final? Uh, yeah, it was really good. I think it was good as a learning opportunity and places to improve, especially on a car. Uh, yeah, it was just enjoyable. All right, break it down. One of those areas to improve, what was it? 
I think the key area we improved was the wings. Just completely redesigned it, tried to reduce the drag. Yeah. And yeah. Also, the um, weight, we got it from 68 grams to 61 now. So A little bit of a diet on the car, re reduce that six, uh, seven grams. And uh, do you notice that obviously a lot faster on the track? It is, yeah, yeah. definitely. Yeah. Uh, about 0.3 seconds, 0.2 seconds, so. Okay. Yeah. That's a big improvement there, Amy. Um, and obviously these two uh, races have gone the way of Red Eagle Racing. Uh, Radeon, Radeon? Radeon Racing, how are they feeling? They seem subdued, relaxed, calm, also uh, quiet. We're feeling quite relaxed so far. So I just wanna, this is another team from St. John's College. So is there a little bit of rivalry between the teams there or is it quite, is it quite friendly? Uh, I'd say it's quite, quite friendly. That smile tells me it might not be as friendly as everyone mm, else thinks. I don't believe that. <laughs> Friend, friendly rivalry. Oh, well, that is Helpful, good. Helpful, yeah. I think, yeah. Uh, learning a few things from this. Uh, are they happy with what they've seen on the track so far? Can this car go faster? That's what I want to know, Radion. Uh, well, hopefully it can. We're happy what we've got so far, but we think that our car can go faster. And do you think racing's your strongest point or do you have a, another different, a favorite point that you think you can um, do the best on, like in the competition? I think we're just racing to our point of, uh, like we can't, uh, we're racing until we can't race anymore pretty much. I like that, I like that. I like it indeed. Well, look, we can go racing. They've changed lanes. Best of luck to both of the teams. And it is lane two that takes it, Red Eagle Racing. Kel Surprise uh, at the moment. Hopefully, fingers crossed, Radeon Racing can take one of these races. But again, trying to set the fastest time they possibly can. But on the track, an overall 1.319. Not one of the quickest, not one of the slowest. So you're just about there at the moment. Can it go even faster? Hopefully, uh, hopefully. I mean, don't know, to be honest, I mean, with luck, maybe. With luck. Lady Luck, where are you? We need you right now for Red Eagle Racing. Uh, Louis out there, the driver, ready to go racing again. Here is the fourth and final race for both of these teams. I was willing Radion on, but unfortunately, not able to cross the line first. But I think uh, no improvement for either of the teams in terms of their total track time. But Red Eagle Racing taking it again, four lights, split time the same, so that's good. Yeah. It is an improvement, we'll take that. Radion knew that, that they'd sort of reached their limit, their max, they've done what they can, but they'll keep racing until they can race no more. Here he is, I'm just gonna have to ask him. Louis, talk to me about the laces. Uh, I don't know if we can see these laces, but uh, no, I mean, look at that. They're just, they are they, massive. what's happened here, Louis? Uh, so basically, um, uh, I got them at uh, Go Outdoors um, because, and I went for the shortest laces I could find, but unfortunately, they're for like eight wrong boots, so they're not really suitable for school shoes, it would appear. It's slightly scuffed as well, but they, it's held nothing back from your driving. Were you happy with your driving? Because it was exceptional down there. Um, yeah, I think I was happy. Given that on the um, on the testing machine, I was much slower, but here I really I was really quick, um, which is good because the car's also quick. So we, I think we performed well overall. Yeah, and, and there was a bit of a technique of you rubbing your hands to get. What, what was the technique there? I I don't know. It's just like. The thing I was doing before getting ready, I don't think it had any particular motivation behind it. Hey, if it works, it doesn't need fixing. Well, listen, Red Eagle Racing, congratulations on your time set there. Um, and um, Radeon Racing, they look happy. They look happy with everything. Yeah, happy with the performance? Yeah, we're happy. And what have you got next, on, next up on the day? Uh, pits. And how do you feel about that? Excited? Yeah. Confident. Confident. Okay, we'll Confident take that. Confident for the pit display. So Radeon Racing and Red Eagle Racing will say goodbye to both of your teams. Uh, well done, best of luck with the rest of the day. Really nice to chat to you. Find out what's going on in their world. Take care guys.
And I'm glad we could give a shout out to the longest laces. Will anyone here at the competition have longer laces than Louis from Red Eagle Racing? Well, I'm going to be joined by Samurai Racing. They're going to come and join me. Welcome to the party. What? Freebies. I love it. Thank you very much. And then they've sat the furthest away. What's going on? You made me walk. Um, I recognize these stuff. Uh, these are some of your sponsors? Yeah, they are our partners at IGUS. They are uh, made our bearings for a COC router. Oh, fantastic. And which school are you from, Samurai Racing? Scarborough UTC. I know this name. You travel uh, in sort of illustrious names that have come before you. How has the, competi the competition been when you've got that sort of experience from other teams competing? It's very high pressure given the history of our school, but we've loved it. It's been an experience we wouldn't have at any other school. And could you please introduce your team, who you are, names, and then your driver as well? I'm Matisse, I'm the team principal, Marcus manager and graphic designer. This is Josh, he's our project manager, and our driver right there is Billy Fields, and he's the design and test engineer. Billy Fields, you can't just call him Billy, he's a full name, Billy Fields, I love it. Right, well listen, I think we can go racing, so let's do it, let's go trackside now. And best of luck to both of these teams. So taking that win, if you want to call it that, trackside, setting the fastest time that both teams possibly can, goes to lane two, which is your team with you, Amy. Yes, on my left I have the very smartly dressed Slipstream Motorsport. Um, do you want to introduce the team and what your roles were? Uh, so we've got the team manager, Varun, who does all the project management of the, uh, of the competition. I'm Cosmo, the social media manager. We've got Will, the finance and uh, sponsors manager. We've got Sanjay, the manufacturing engineer. And then at the end of the track there, we've got Edis, our engineer. Uh, I'm a lead engineer, and then we've got Mox down there as our driver and graphic designer. Very good. Very, very confident team, I think. Yeah, very confident indeed, and we can go racing again, so let's see if they can improve on their times. Point one nine four reaction time in lane two. I saw that on the screen, as I'm sure you did as well. But uh, point one six seven from the one and only Billy Fields. Uh, it said with such confidence uh, that he would do well, and he's done that with the reaction time. Unfortunately, just not quick with the every other sector of the car. What was the design in the car and testing it like? It's it's arduous. It's long hours, isn't it? We spent many hours in the workshop testing this car. Given the fact we have a longer wheelbase, the car is overweight. We got it at like 66.5 grams, so we knew it wasn't as fast as we'd hoped it would be. But with the longer wheelbase, we were hoping the acceleration would be a bit more so. And the launch is a lot straighter and we're, compared to our last car. Yeah, well, there you go. So improvement, changes have been made. Um, and how do you feel about the overall competition and how far you might go in this? After regionals, I feel like we've improved a lot more. Our time management got a lot better because we were able to finish a lot of it a lot quicker than we did before. As in regionals, everything was last minute, basically. It's difficult. Time management's one of those difficult uh, skills to, to master. And anyone you wanted to thank who's helped you get here uh, from Scarborough UTC? Firstly, our sponsors such as Anglo-American, Blue Raptor, Harley Quinn, of course, for our two uniforms, and mine for giving us our, those donation boxes for our mental health charity. And of course, Mr. Shepherd and Mr. Betts for getting us over here. Okay, and why Samurai Racing? Why did you go with this name? All three of us, we have a very high interest in Japanese engineering, their efficiency, and we all love the Japanese cars, so we, that's why we chose Samurai Racing. I love it. Well, there you go. Uh, brilliant uh, idea. Slipstream, I can't think where this is from, Amy. Could you find out for me, please? From uh, Bishop VZ School in Sutton Coldfield. So a long, long drive here? Yeah, we came, we came yesterday. Uh, we came to Leeds yesterday. We reached around four and we've just been staying overnight until the competition. So 
well, well rested and ready for the race, I think. Yeah. I've got to say that this car, when I was doing some scrutineering last night, just I wasn't important, I was just watching. Um, amazing finish on this car, and I wonder if that's just giving them a little bit of the edge on Samurai Racing. So does anyone want to tell me how they got the finish on the, on the car? Don't give all your secrets. Varen, Varen. Yeah, so we, every time we painted, we just had to sand a bit down and then paint a uh, sand a bit and then put the lacquer on at the end. And yeah, that. Well, they've done a great job, so I'm glad they took all the time because the car looks amazing. So you were doing that last night? I, I was I was, keeping, I was, I was keeping on my watch. own. I, I was had keeping nothing watch to do with needs. And you were here <laughs> with Sam Chapman looking at all of the cars. I was having a sneaky preview. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Well, I just feel like I get the excitement of seeing the cars for the first time. And I'm excited to see us go racing again. So let's go trackside. Ready to start race three. And it's Slipstream that take the win. Gliding down the track. But look at that, one thousandth of a second difference between the reaction times. So Samurai Racing, again, Billy Fields doing all he can with the reaction times, doing a great job uh, over there. And we're seeing the times populate the screen uh, as we get the cars ready. Uh, in terms of all of the aspects for judging, what do you think that you're going to master the best today? I think Enterprise, that's the one we really knew best about design that was always the most difficult part of us but enterprise i think we could do very well, well i wish you the best of luck let's go racing for the fourth and final time here at leeds university for the lenovo f1 is schools uk national final and there it is lane one for slipstream taking that race win and a point one six three, so again, six thousands of a second difference in their reaction time. They're doing incredibly that uh, with the reaction times, Amy. But uh, slipstream, you said it coming down to that finish might be the difference and the design of the cars. Anything yeah, I think I, I think there's a lot of engineering gone into that blue car, especially. I just, I picked up on the paint job because I think it looks amazing. Um, is there anything else that you guys are want to thank, want to say thank you to teachers, sponsors? Yeah, sure. Uh, we'd like to thank our teachers for bringing us down here. Uh, also, all of our sponsors, which have really helped us to uh, get all the money together and really get down here. So, I think, ha happy with the performance, how the races went? Yeah, the cars perform well, um, represent, like, sort of shown the same as it has in physical and CFD results. So, um, hopefully we can get some faster times, but looking good at the moment. Okay, so living up to the expectations, I think. Yeah, and I've got to say, team identity, loving the hats. Uh, listen, Samurai Racing, that's it for the racing now today. Uh, happy with Billy Fields' work. He did, he did all he could out there. He, he, we already knew he had a great reaction time, so I, he did a great job. It's just the car didn't perform to how we thought it would. Yeah, but we explained why because of the, the longer. But listen, uh, all the best for Samurai Racing and the rest of your day. Enjoy. We'll say goodbye to both teams then. Slipstream and to Samurai Racing. They are leaving the race section. Whoa, freebies on the way out. I like it. Don't get us too excited at the beginning. Make us focused for our interviews and then leave with a pen. There you go. That's, there we go. Modeling. Uh, so I can work on QVC if anyone's watching. Uh, there. Okay, let's go on to our next uh, set of teams that are going to be coming to join us. We have joining me Rocket Raptors. No need for me to do it in that voice, but I've done it. Rocket Raptors are going to be joining me. And who have you got joining you, Amy? And I think I have Ion Racing. There we go. My, te my team's coming. Oh, no. Ion Racing. There they go. And I have the Raptors. The Rocket Raptors joining me whenever they arrive. Rocket Raptors, are you Rocket Raptors? Come and join me. Oh, you're a driver, you can't. I'm having a live conversation. There they are. They're Rocket coming. Raptors, here we go. Loving this design. Whoever's the most chatty out of your team can come and join me. And it's decided. Ah, oh, what? Were you, did you reckon you were the chattiest? Yeah, unfortunately. Unfortunately, no, we like that. Me and Amy love that. Rocket Raptors, uh, welcome to the party. Uh, please introduce yourself and uh, who you are. So I'm Dylan. I was the design engineer for the team. And 
I'm Jack, and I'm the team manager. Jack, the team manager. Confident, most chatty, or is Dylan the most chattiest? Uh, honestly, I think I'm more chatty than him. Okay, well, we, we, we will have a chat off. I don't think that's a thing. Uh, and who is your teammate who sat further away? Why have you sat so far away? Come and sit next to your team. This is your team moment. <laughs> He's too tall. Is that why you're just... It's because I'm not chatty in the slightest. Are you not? Oh, brilliant. Alyssa, what I'm going to do is get you to swap with Jack and I'm going to force you to be... No, I'm not at all. Alyssa, you... how is your day going so far, Alyssa? It's okay. It's okay. Who is your driver, Alyssa, over there? Jess. That's Jess. Okay. You said it with disdain. Why has why Jess been chosen to be your driver? Because she has a very fast reaction time out of all of us. Out of all of you. And what particular area are you looking forward to most today in terms of your judging and the competition? I have no idea. Okay. I like that. That is why Jack has sat here. Jack, what are you looking forward to most from today? Uh, the, pit, the pit display. We put a lot of work into it and it looks really good. And why are Welsh teams so good in F1 in schools? Come on, answer that question for me. Because we're so unique. I love it. Uh, who have you got next to you, Amy? I have Ion Racing. Do you want to introduce your team and yourself? Uh, sure. Uh, I'm Liam. I'm the team manager. I'm Finn, finance and socials. I'm Adam, the CAD designer. Um, I'm Lily, team branding. And who do we have racing and um, collecting the car at the bottom? Um, Connor's racing. He's manufacturer and Charlie is graphic designer at the end. So why did, um, why did you pick Charlie, was it Charlie, um, to, um, to press the button? Um, Connor to press the button. Connor. We've tested reaction times and he's the fastest, so. Lots of pro programming going into this. We should find out for data as well, while we go racing, which Connor is fastest? Uh, there's another Connor from another team. Here we go, best of luck to both teams. And there you have it, lane one, Rocket Raptors, who are made up of 50% chatty team, 50% not so as much chatty, but that's okay. Uh, two thousandths of a second difference with the reaction times for Connor and our driver for Rocket Raptors, Jess. Uh, that's how Alyssa pronounced it, so that's how I'm gonna pronounce it, Jess. So, um, guys, uh, travelling from Wales, uh, how long did it take you to get up here to the UK uh, National Finals? Four and a half hours. <laughs> Ooh, that's quite a commitment. And who would you like to thank? Who got you here? Uh, our tutor, Bryn. And where is Bryn? I can't see. There's Bryn. Look at that. A cheeky wave. Um, and uh, they've been really helpful to get you here today? Yeah. Okay, good. That's all the questions uh, I've got so far. I'm going to think of some more. As we go trackside to watch the next set of racing, best of luck to both teams. There you go, lane two, taking that one. So Ion Racing, going a little bit quicker. Uh, just to give you a little update on Amy Martin, uh, former alumni of F1 in schools, competing in two world finals for Tachyon, has just told me she is getting hungry. I'm sure that is happening around the national finals because all the nerves kick in at the beginning. You're like, I can't eat, I can't eat. And then suddenly you're like, I'm actually quite hungry. You've got a face that says I'm quite hungry as well. Uh, I'm actually not. Well, you need to tell your face, because you had that face, it was like, I'm hungry, is there free food going? That was the look on your face. Uh, listen, Rocket Raptor, uh, Ra uh, what have we noticed so far? Is this up to, as you expect, with the, the race so far with your car? Yeah, uh, we've done a lot of testing in our college. We've had, we have a track ourselves, and we've, uh, on the fun day, we sent it down the track at least 300 times, and we're getting similar results. 300 times. Uh, Alyssa, I've got one final question to you. Out of a scale of one to 10, how happy are you with what you've seen on the track so far? I don't know what's happening on the track, so <laughs> I can't answer that. Not even a number, so there you go. We will get more out of Alyssa as we go on. Ion Racing seem very happy now after that. Yeah, so are you happy with the performance of the car? Uh, yeah, I mean, we've always been uh, testing it and just to see if it would be good, but now after seeing that second run, we can see that Maybe one car is slightly faster than the other and there's just more to come and hope it goes even quicker. Yeah, and do you think racing is your strongest aspect or do you have a, a different one that's more important to you? There's so many aspects of this competition which so many people when they first join don't see. 
I mean, at the end of the day, you're trying to get sponsors, you're pretty much creating your own brand, your own company. So, I mean, even if we won this today, there's so many other aspects to it that will actually count different margins for points. Yeah, and I think that's the most important thing to take away is that the F1 in school competition is a lot of skills, a lot of different things. Obviously, engineering is important, but so many different aspects and elements. 100%. Uh, seeing all the world judges uh, at the world finals and what they can go on to do, and especially alumni, like from Team Unity, which is the latest podcast uh, that has just been released for uh, the main straight, uh, the official F1 in schools podcast. Seeing some teams like Lucy going on to teaching, Aaron going on to enterprise, like an entrepreneur. There's so much stuff uh, that you can go on to. Um, just as a question, uh, how many bands have you collected so far? I'm seeing a lot of the... Uh, Every pit display got one of these. So these are actually being collected over uh, like a time of uh, like a period of time. But this pink one here, um, it's faded now. But maybe the team would know. When I went to the World Finals in 2022 at Silverstone, uh, that pink band was actually from a team. Um, so yeah, I picked that up in the World Finals. If you know who this team is, we would like to answer that question. Let's see if we can make that happen. Uh, it's all it's partly about the freebies. You, you take them away with you and you sort of never forget, do you? Like yeah. the pens. One of the one of the Greek teams last night is my um, my pajama top. Vision Vision Racing. Uh, is that the black with the sort yeah. of like purple? Yeah, I don't know. I got the same one. All right, we're ready to go racing. So let's go trackside now. Best of luck to both teams. And it's quick from Ion Racing in lane one. Rocket Raptors close behind. But yeah, a real interesting difference there from Rocket Raptors with their car A. Uh, so difficult to get car A and car B to be identical. How challenging did you find that? Uh, it, took a, it took a few days to put the cars together. And when it came down to finding two identical cars, the weight difference was a point of a gram. Wow, a point of a gram. So that is the only difference you have. That's incredible to get it that close. Um, and obviously getting here, seeing the reaction on there, can the last, the fourth and final race, uh, can it go even quicker, this car? Hopefully. All right, we will have hope in our hearts. Let's go race side then, down to the start. Oh, it was a long hesitation there, but Ion Racing taking it again. Be curious to know about that overall time. A 1.367 for them and a 1.612. So it's slower, so that car A, a little bit faster for Rocket Raptors. That concludes our four races. Both drivers doing the best they can and they've done very well there. So Rocket Raptors, where do we go to now, Dylan? What happens right after you've done racing? You're gonna say it's lunch or something like that, aren't you? Well, yeah, every time's a snack time. It's lunchtime somewhere in the world, right? So you can have lunch. Uh, what, have you got, uh, what have you done so far with judging? Uh, so far, we've talked about the design and as well as the manufacturing of the portfolios with the judges over there in the other hall. And just talked to general people about CFDs and then other things we've done. Okay, all right. Well, listen, best of luck getting Alyssa to talk more in the team. Uh, fingers crossed with that. It was lovely to meet all of you. Uh, so there we have the Rocket Raptors. Uh, we will say goodbye to. And I think we've got a very happy team over here. We haven't really heard from you. So are you happy with the performance? Yeah, I'm very happy with the performance. I mean, you sounded a little bit shocked. Do you believe in the old F1 in schools myth that one lane's quicker than the other? No. Oh, well... <laughs> Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm yeah. to check a different podcast for that. It's officially <laughs> uh, not true. Well, thank you very much uh, to you guys. Uh, and we will say goodbye to both of the teams as we welcome our next set of teams up. We've got H-Rock coming to join. Uh, brilliant to have both of the teams there from Ion Racing. If anyone knows who that pink slash purple band is from, we will get the answer to we may find them, fingers crossed. Don't forget guys, with this competition, dream, compete, achieve. Those are the words of Leeds. H-Rock, H-Town, come and join H-Rock. Uh, the guys from just outside of London in Uxbridge, I had a little chat with you guys earlier on. You've brought your own coffee, you're ready, you're... 
It, it, oh, it's design, it's H Rock yeah. one as well. It's H Rock and it's uh, 100 uh, it's biodegradable. It's made out of recycled material. Sustainability, like to see it. Hey, Truck, tell me who you are and who have I got uh, as your driver and down at the other end. Uh, so we, ha uh, we are engineering students from Oxbridge College uh, in West London. And our driver is Suknur. Uh, we had, Suknur is not our original driver. We had Conrad, who's one of our team members, who's not here due to some reasons. Uh, he was our first choice, but then now Suknur is our driver. And at the end, we have uh, Mihai, who is, <laughs> who is a CAD designer. Uh, I'm team leader Kurt, who's a Minosh, he's a marketing head, uh, Kane, who's an aerodynamist, and uh, Suknur is PR head. So there you go, that is the team, HROC. Why HROC? Why the name? Because our organization is HRUC, so it's, it sounds like HROC, so it just turned into HROC. I like it. I like that indeed. Well, listen, both of these teams ready to go racing. So we could do that right now, and then we'll find out who Amy has got alongside her. It's lane two. Bont Panthers taking that one. Uh, Amy, you've just told me you've got an interesting fact about H-Rock's nose. Yes, while I was doing my previews of the cars last night, I saw that there was a little bit of innovation going on with the nose cone of H-Rock's car. It was very good, I, very, I enjoyed it quite a lot, but can they just expand a little bit on it? Uh, so the nose cone is made out of lightweight PLA. It's not regular PLA. Uh, we had multiple nose cones that we tested, but this is the same nose cone that we use at regionals. That innovation, has that helped you? Uh, yes, with the weight. We are, uh, one of our cars is 60, spot on, 60 grams, spot on, with the stickers. Brilliant. Well, listen, best of luck for the next race as we are about to go in just a moment. Reese running about. He's going to get his steps in today, and we are able to go. Two very different designs of cars I'm seeing in front of me, Amy. Bont Panthers currently have a 1 0 lead. Oh, both setting off incredibly quickly there. And it is again, lane two, Bomp Panthers. So after two races, we better find out who are Bomp Panthers. Yeah, we haven't said hello yet. Do you want to introduce yourself and the rest of your team? Uh, I'm Kobe, I'm team manager. Uh, I'm Kyle, I'm the sponsor manager. Hello, I'm George, I'm the financial manager. And who do we have as driving and collecting the cars? Uh, Ethan's driving and Robbie's collecting the cars. So Bon Panthers, it's a very unique F1 in school's name. Do you want to just tell me a little bit about, about that? Who's the, um, the enterprise? Uh, so we are from Pontalite in Wales, and we are the first team in our school's history to make it to the uh, national finals, and we're over the moon with this uh, achievement. Yeah, so brand, brand new team doing a great job, I think. So um, do you think you can go to professional class in the future? Or do you want to, is that what you want to do, to progress up? Yeah, maybe. 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 Tom. Maybe. 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 Well, don't decide now, guys. You're not, we're not going to put you on the spot. Uh, and what school do they come from? Uh, Ponte Lice Comprehensive School. Okay. It's that easy to say. Brilliant. Uh, is that how you'd pronounce it? Uh, yeah. Unsure. But so now we found out. So there you go. So it's not awkward at all. Hey, Truck, what was your role in the team? Uh, I am the aerodynamics uh, engineer. And what are you noticing so far on that track? Very two different, very design, uh, very different designs. Yes, uh, they are. Um, we in simulation, uh, our car was uh, significantly improved from regionals. However, it's not seeing it today. Not seeing it yet, but maybe a lane change uh, will help uh, with that. Reaction times were set. Uh, how did you choose your driver? You're missing one teammate, but how did you decide uh, on the next person up? Well, he's got the uh, second fastest reaction time on the team. Um, Conrad uh, has a faster reaction time, but he's unfortunately not here today. And looking at the times, it'd be interesting to know about those reaction times, but uh, doing a good job, Ala. Some teams uh, have a driver that will listen to music, be in the zone, maybe even whale music. Uh, is there any tips uh, that you've they've tried for the driver with the reaction time? Um, not that I can think of currently. 
Because at Worlds, there's a lot of music listened to and blocking out the noise, isn't there? A lot of interesting strategies for race reaction. None of them really worked for me, just concentrating. But there's a lot, a lot of strange things that go on. The whale music with the Australians is a bit... That's different gravy. I'm not yeah, sure Yeah, I don't know if that. it would work. No. Um, you talked about your teammate down the other end. He said earlier on, when I saw him in the pit lane, he was going to discuss a certain strategies, tactics. Is that why you've put him at the other end? Because you don't want to give away all those trade secrets? Uh, no. So, uh, Kenya wanted to be uh, talking to us, so we just put him down there. <laughs> okay, fair enough. All right, we're ready to go racing. Uh, so, best of luck to both teams. And there we have it, crossing the line uh, is lane one again. So uh, sticking to form so far from Bont Panthers, uh, 1.293. <laughs> so very quick indeed there, Amy. Yeah, that car is absolutely covered in stickers and covered in sponsors. So is there anyone that you want to thank for your sponsors or your teachers to help you get here? Yeah, all of our sponsors have been great. And thank you to Mr. Van for bringing us all this way. There we go. Very, very grateful, I think, for teacher support in this competition. Yeah, and pretty nerve-wracking to be the first team from a school to get this far. So it's a great accolade, but also quite nerve-wracking, I imagine, Amy. Was your school, uh, was your team the first one from your school? Yeah, I was the first team from my school, and we've gone on to go to another two world finals, and then we've got our third team competing at this national finals. And just to remind myself, which team is that? That's Team Epoch from Denby High School. Oh, so they'll be coming up later on. We'll lots of pressure. Lots of pressure on them. Let's find out if they feel that pressure. Uh, to follow in the footsteps of Amy Martin and Tachyon. Well, let's go uh, trackside for our fourth and final race. Best of luck to both of the teams. And Bomb Panthers, four out of four. So we can tell they do have the quicker car, but uh, an improvement there of an overall track time. Uh, for H-Rock all the way from Uxbridge, crossing the line. So what's uh, next up for you guys, H-Rock? Uh, more judging, what have you got today? Uh, we've got a lunch break next. What? I am very jealous of that. You've, got, you've had to wait patiently to go racing. Lunch break, refuel, stock up, and then go again. Uh, yep. Uh, I'm not really sure to check the schedule right now, but I will have my lunch and I'll check what's next for us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just focus on one thing. Let's fill the belly. Let's get that few. One thing at a time. Uh, another thing about uh, our team is that this is our very first year into F1 in school. We've never had an exposure like this. And uh, in the regionals, we had the fastest car and we came second place in overall. Uh, so this is our very first time into this competition. I think we've done pretty great. Uh, but yeah. Let's see how this goes. Yeah. And make sure that you network, chat to the other teams. Finally, he's been allowed over. Uh, how did you find that at the other end? Uh, sorry, can you repeat? I can repeat the question. How did you find it being all the way, as far away from your team as possible? Uh, not sure. Yeah, a bit left out, but you're back again. It's lunch now, you get to reset. Driver, how do we feel from that in terms of the reaction time? Yeah, it could have been a lot better from my end, but you know, the pressure's on all the time. You've got to do your best, and that's what I try to do, do my best and give up my best, that's it. Well, I would be very proud if I was in your position right now. Enjoy your lunch, H-Rock uh, and Bond Panthers. We have to say goodbye to them as yeah, well. Yeah, absolutely amazing job for the first time competing for this school. So uh, Ethan's allowed back the driver. So how do you think you did? Were you happy with the performance? Uh, yeah, I was happy with the performance. I think we did well. Are you, were you nervous? Yeah, very. It's, it's the scariest part of the day, don't worry. Have you got, um, what have you got up next? We haven't done anything yet, so everything. Oof. 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 I don't know about that. They've had to have breakfast and lunch combined. Uh, brunch uh, ready for this. Uh, listen, uh, Bon Pampers, thank you very much. And also to H-Rock, take care. Enjoy what you've got on the schedule. What? More freebie. Look at this. This is awesome. Oh, and look. A business card. Thank you very much. Oh, look at that. That's brilliant. Oh, well, there you go. Well, I'll say goodbye to you guys. Thank you very much for that. Um, the cameraman, Sam, was not happy about that. There was a lot of... Uh, I've been given some freebies, uh, one business card, and uh, also very handy for all of the charges 
that you might need there, Amy. Um, let's have a look at the leaderboard right now. It's just uh, to the side. Uh, it was there for a second. Uh, next to me. So here we go, Amy, then. I'm going to stand back a little bit. What we notice in here, very quick times, not much in it, seven thousandths of a second between first place and second place. Yeah, and it's really important to know that these teams that have got a, um, a little red investigation sign on it, um, that just means that there might have been a regulation that is broken and they will be investigated. Oof. So there's a lot to play for, a lot to play for. And I'm seeing a lot of English flags there. It's not, it's not, it is a national, so there's teams from Wales and Scotland and England. And it's not about the flag, but I do notice at the top eight are all English teams. Then it's met by the Welsh team, uh, Airborne, and then Team Vortex. But there's a lot of changes, a lot more races coming. So let's welcome uh, to the side of me, Celerity are going to come and join me. I'm going to get Tom here because it's Tom next to Tom. That's how it works in the business. Um, you've got to put someone with the same name as you next to you. And who have you got joining, Amy? Um, I will be having can Canary Speedsters, I think. Ooh, Canary Speedsters. Canary Speedsters. If you're here, come and join Amy. In the meantime, Celerity. Tom, how's it going? Good. How are you? Oh, thank you, Matt. I really appreciate that because no one's asked. I'm really well. Amy's a little bit hungry. I'm a little bit hungry. Are you hungry yet in the competition? Uh, a little bit, yeah. So what's so that you've got racing now, and then what happens? We have lunch, uh, so we'll solve that problem, and then we have our brand identity and a verbal presentation, and then we're pretty much done for the day. Yeah. I like that. It's all about problem solving. There is a problem. Hungry? You'll be sorting that out. Okay, let's talk seriously for a second. Um, Introduce your team and tell me what role you had on the team. Uh, hi, I'm Tom. Uh, I'm the team manager for Celerity. Uh, I'm Ryan, the design engineer. I'm Sam, the marketing manager. And who do we have driving? Um, that's Harry. He's our resource manager, um, but he has the best reaction time, so <laughs> he'll be doing that. And that is Daniel. Uh, he is our manufacturing engineer, and he'll be and, I mean, Daniel did an incredible bow as well. So Canary Speedsters, uh, if they're not here, that's it. That's it, Amy. You don't get a team. Too scared to come and join Amy. Uh, let's go trackside. Best of luck to Celerity. Racing on their own. Oh. It's a point. One, seven, one for reaction time, very quick. A sub point two is a good time. They're all good times, but a sub point two is what you're aiming for, as fast as possible, right, Amy? But yeah, any, any advantage they can get going off the start line is, um, is always a big win, so people try to get it as slow as possible, as quick as possible. Yeah, that wasn't my voice. That's just the replay. We're watching, when it goes to the screen on a replay, we'll hear a weird noise that will come through. Uh, so there we go. That is the replay there. What have we noticed so far with that, Tom? Is that the sort of times you're expecting? Um, it's probably a little... It took a little longer to actually traverse the track than we would have liked. But um, at the end of the day, there are other aspects of the competition that we feel like we've done well in. Uh, our marketing's fairly strong, and ideally we haven't broken any regulations. So even if we don't get the highest number of points for the car time, if a better time isn't reached, uh, we're, it's not like it's over for us, just not ideal. Yeah, it is definitely not over uh, for you. Uh, so while uh, we wait to go racing, here's the big moment now for your teammate. Racing on their own in lane one, Celerity. Best of luck. And it's off an even faster reaction time there, I believe. So breaking an even faster reaction time. Is it more stressful to be racing on your own? I mean, I did a, um, one of the best moments I have from F1 in schools is at my world finals when we were the last race of the day and I was racing alone, um, st really nervous, and I was going to press the button and Crofty said, I'll, I'll race against you. Ah, oh, Crofty. So Crofty was doing the reaction times against me. It's one of the best memories I've got in F1 in schools. So it's not, not all bad if you're racing alone. No, and I hope that he used his catchphrase uh, as the lights went out and away we, uh, it's too late. Uh, you would have definitely beaten him. A point one five zero reaction time. That's incredible. An improvement on the track time as well. 1.471. Daniel done a brilliant job. Have you noticed how well the job he did there? Very impressive. I'd expect nothing less from him though. Is that one of his skill sets, uh, Daniel? Do, uh, performs tasks very well. Definitely. 
And who would you like to thank? Is there anyone out there that has helped you get here today? Um, we'd like to thank all of our sponsors first for enabling us to get here. Uh, we'd like to thank our teachers uh, for taking us here and helping us throughout this process. Um, I'd like to thank all of my team members um, for the hard work they've put into designing the car, doing all of our portfolios, our pit display, and ultimately just coming here and helping me throughout this. So yeah, I think that's everyone. And how did you find being the team manager uh, in terms of the, the pros and cons? What did you find easy? What would you find most challenging about it? Um, I thought that uh, project management was probably my favorite part of it. I, I enjoyed trying to formulate some new processes and uh, formulas to help us uh, ensure that we were all working well together. Um, I feel like the hardest part has been ensuring that I'm involved equally in all aspects of the task. Um, I've tried to integrate uh, myself into the engineering side as much as I can, but uh, I do feel like there are limitations as to what I can do in comparison to Ryan and Daniel. So that's probably the most challenging aspect. And Ryan, how did you find the engineering? How, how challenging was that? It was, uh, it was quite challenging. Um, probably didn't perform as well as I want, uh, would have wanted to, but um, yeah, we'll have to just move forward. Uh, what was that due to? Is there a specific thing that, that you know if you're going on uh, in the competition, what, what areas you can improve on? Um, our portfolio probably could have done with a bit more work and a bit more just quality checking and making sure we fully know it. And um, yeah. Well, at least you know those areas that you can improve on. Well, let's see if your car can improve on its time down the track side. And there you have it, uh, crossing the line. Feeling the energy sort of waning a little bit around the Leeds University. Sort of that point in the day, everyone comes with such excitement at the start of the day at like 8 a.m. setting up their pit display. And then everything just calms down a little bit, the mellow, and then it picks up again. After lunch, after everyone's eaten. <laughs> uh, point 0.196 then, reaction time's a little bit slower, but I know there can be an improvement, and we're seeing that time as well, trackside. So best of luck, here we go then. There you go. You could just see it's sort of the zip, the flow down, down the track, uh, but doing the best you can with, oh, there was a, I think, just wait for that, watching the re replay there. 0 0.202, Daniel's bringing the car back. Design's fantastic. What, what made you choose the colors that you've gone for? Um, we just wanted them to be eye-catching, and we wanted them to fit with our brand from the regionals. Uh, we changed them slightly. Before, we had a gradient from a darker ready orange to um, the lighter orange you can see in our t-shirts. Uh, but we decided to change that to blue, as it, there's more contrast and it's more eye-catching. Well, listen, I think you've done a brilliant job. Uh, we will say well done to, to you guys, Celerity. You know areas to improve on, so that's always good. Nothing you can do now in a final, so that's always a kind of a bittersweet moment. But listen, very, you should be very proud of what you've achieved. Celerity, enjoy the rest of the day. We'll catch up with you probably back here racing tomorrow. So thank you very much for joining us. Uh, there they go. Amy, Celerity are off. Um, it is that sort of disappointing thing when you know the areas you can improve on. It's too late, though, now but at least you know them if you're going further on in the competition. Yeah, and especially if they go to, ooh. A parting gift. Oh, whoa, I lost a bit. That's okay. We'll get that. We'll try not to break the set. Oh, it's a phone holder. What? That's awesome. Look at that. We've got some All freebies. Uh, Chris, our cameraman. Celerity. And then Chris, a little bit of that as well. It's upside down. I've changed it. There you go. Look at that. Key rings galore. Uh, the jangle. Uh, the, the noise that I make going back into my house and, uh, and my other half's waiting. She's like, what is that noise? Key rings. That's what it is. Listen, let's welcome our next set of teams here joining me. And they're with a boot as well. So there's an injury to talk about. Uh, we will have Neutron Racing joining me to the right. Uh, no, 
the boot is not joining my team, it's joining your team. That is my team. Chimera Racing, I think. It may have been said wrong. I think that, that face told me I might have said miss, miss, yeah. misspelled, misspoken. Misspoken, the word Chimera. Is it Chimera? You get to pick. Chimera. Chimera, there you go. We got there in the end. Well, we've got to talk about this. Thank you very much for hobbling over. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you've got to introduce yourself to Amy. She's your team captain for this moment. Yep, so I'm Arjun. I'm the finance sponsorship and marketing manager. To my right, I've got Imran and Maliki. Oh yeah, I'm project manager. Uh, and I'm graphic designer. Uh, then we've got um, Eric. Well, nice to meet you. Uh, then we've got Eric, who's um, our CAD, uh, Design engineer. Design engineer and uh, Cayman, who's our CAD uh, engineer as well. So you're given the job of racer to the CAD engineer. Oh, there you go. So uh, we've met Chimera. Uh, there they are. They're all ready to go. And uh, I think we can go trackside right now. So let's do it. Best of luck to Neutron Racing and Chimera Racing. And it's quick, a point one seven four for Chimera Racing with their reaction time. That's all I saw of the times, but you will see them as they populate the screen in just a second. So that's lane two, Chimera Racing taking it. And a did not finish, a DNF. We'll find out a bit more of that. I can actually see it right in front of me. Uh, maybe got caught up a little bit. What do you think from your years of experience, Amy? What's happening? A happened lot there? of the times when um, cars like that finish on the middle of the track, it could be that the tether line guide is getting stuck on the islet. Sometimes the car's a bit too heavy, um, but I'm, I'm not sure. We'll have to get some information on what that could be, but that's, that would be my best guess is the islet. Okay, well, before you left to go racing, I've been joined by Michael from Neutron Racing. Michael, how are you doing today? I'm good, thanks. Okay, and where have you traveled from, Michael? Uh, uh, Wales. Wales, you've travelled all the way from Wales. Um, okay, so there's a lot of good Welsh teams competing. How do you think you're going to fare? How do you think you're going to do in the competition? Um, pretty well. You want to be the number one Welsh team? It would be quite nice to take that. A bit of bragging rights, a bit of pride going home. Yeah. And where are you from in Wales, Michael? Um, Connachty. Oh, okay. And where's that near? Is that like the big city? Um, Flintshire. Okay, all right. Well, listen, um, you've got a teammate down there. Who is your driver for the team? Uh, Jackson. And who's down the other end, Michael? Callum. Callum. Two L's in Callum? Yes. Okay, just thought I'd double check that. And what are your roles in the team? What was your role in this team, Michael? Um, I'm the team manager, social media and marketing personnel. Wow, three roles, because there's only three of you, which makes it very difficult. Um, and which one out of those three roles was your favorite to do? Um, probably marketing. And why was that, Michael? Because um, I got to team up with like, different companies um, and promote our, our team and their companies. Oh, that's amazing. So uh, here's the moment. We saw your car get tangled slightly with that line. We're not entirely sure what happened. But what's been the most difficult part of, of getting it here to the national final? Not geographically, not by the drive or the train, but in terms of a team and the processes in this competition. Um, probably uh, just time spent. Um, Sometimes we weren't able to do it, um, and other times we were, but yeah. yeah. So it's just that time management may get everything uh, sorted. Well, look, you've done a brilliant job to get here. I believe we can go racing again, so let's do that. The thumbs up from Reese. Ready to go racing. Boom, and it crosses the line. That's what I wanted to see from Neutron Racing. Callum down the other end. He's not mucky. He doesn't stay still, does he, Callum? He's always moving, is that? Uh, yeah. Yeah, he's just constantly moving. It's like, look at him back and forth. He cannot stand still, and I respect that, because the car crossed the line. Lane one, Neutron Racing, point one seven six. So congratulations uh, to those guys for that. Happy with everything you've seen so far? Yeah. Okay. And uh, have you had lunch yet? Pardon? Have you had lunch yet? Uh, no. What are you going to have? Um, 
chips, uh, chicken butty. All right, I'll take that. I was going to see if I can get more out of Michael. He's very one-worded answers, and I respect that. How are Chimera feeling, Amy? We haven't met, met the partially broken Chimera yet. Do you want to introduce yourself and the rest? Of the oh, we have, we have met them. It's been taken. We had to redo the first race, so I thought we were going to go back to the beginning. OK. <laughs> <laughs> but we're ready to go racing, I believe, now, so we can do it. So maybe there was something up with the, the line then, the Teva. Well, the car, the car passed the line in the end, so hopefully it's all been fixed now. And it's quick. Lane one again, Neutron Racing. So, Chimera, who we have met already. It's just the hunger pains uh, going through. If you are watching this and enjoying, and maybe you know someone from either of the teams, do us, let us know. Send a little message. Follow us on the social media. Stay up to date with everything. And if you haven't already done so, do listen to The Main Straight, the official F1 in Schools podcast. Chimera, we had met you, but what have you noticed so far? What are you seeing on the track? Um, so the car's performing as it has been throughout our testing phase. I think the reaction time is not exactly what we would have hoped for, but we've got two more races. Hopefully we can pull it together. Did you have a strategy for picking who was going to be doing the reaction races? Did you do any training, any competitions? Yes, I think it was just seeing who has the fastest reaction time. And from our testing that we conducted at school, that was Cayman. I think Cayman's doing a good job. Hopefully, he can get a little bit quicker just to help you, help you get a bit higher on the leaderboard. Well, they are changing places right now, the drivers. Uh, how did you decide, Michael? Break it down for me. I want lots of words here. I want a long sentence, an answer. How did you choose the driver? Um, so, in school, we've uh, been doing technology, and um, my teachers, for our topic, we made... Uh, model F1 cars out of cardboard uh, and we used CAD and um, we just went through the different, everybody's different like designs and that um, and it came upon Callum and Jackson. Well there you go, uh, they are ready. They were just having a photo done actually, a little bit of filming you two, drive. they were modelling there uh, in some respect, they, they handled it brilliantly um, and uh, have you had any other teams from your same school competing? Um, yeah, there's been a few. Um, I know one of the teams, they got the fast, like the world, I think it was the world record, um, but they were beaten. Oh, okay. So they got the world record, but it was beaten. Well, that is a good accolade. I like that. We can go... Oh, we can see there, lane one. We're just holding on a little bit longer. Maybe a little breakage. Maybe a gas canister being popped in there at the back. We'll get the uh, latest on that. Where is Sam Chapman? That's what I want to know, Amy Martin. I know, we've lost him. I think he might have been dragged into the scrutineering. <laughs> it could have happened, <laughs> to be fair. So we have a whole area set up uh, for later on. Uh, where Sam will be able to guide us through a few of the uh, regulation changes that are coming up for the World Finals that are taking place in Singapore. Are you looking forward to Singapore World Finals, Amy? Yes, I mean, it's um, the regulation changes especially have caused some, caused some controversy amongst F1 in schools competitors about well, how, they, how they feel about it. Big rule changes, kind of like in normal F1, they cause us to mix up the field a little bit. Isn't that exciting, you know, to change things and make you know, it, it, it challenging and being pushed? Because if you have the same setup, then like we've seen, other teams are able to pass on stuff to, uh, to their school, uh, you know, not rivals, but their, their other colleagues who are like, yeah. oh, you're stepping up now into F1 in schools, have all my data. And this rule change makes the cars look much more like the actual F1 cars. So there'll be a lot of, a lot of cool photo opportunities, I think. And then hopefully they get one of the cars, the, well, the world champions normally take their car onto the, onto the grid in the race and they can compare it to the real things. Oh, that would be awesome. And uh, look into health and safety. Let's go racing with the halo, the halo's coming in. So the drivers, you know. Anyway, best of luck to both teams. And it's lane two again. It seemed to get a brilliant start from Chimera. Uh, did the best they could with the reaction time, 0.159. His teammates requested a faster reaction time. That was delivered, but then on the track, just Neutron Racing proving that they are very formidable. And at 1.294, I'm sure puts them up in the top 10, uh, depending on whether there's been any regulation uh, infringements. 
with the scrutineering that will have gone on late into the evening. Have you been able to go and have a look at the pit displays yet, Amy? Is that something we're going to do? I have. I've had a little wander around the pit displays. Just while we're on the topic of Connors Key High School, yep. I just want to say that they did have the fastest car because they, that was a school that I used to compete against. No way. Yeah, so they're a very, very long-standing F1 in schools team. So it says a lot that they've still got that fastest car title. Yeah, there must be something. Well, they're very fast on this track right now. Let's see their car B race. Best of luck. Also, good to see no full starts from any of the drivers so far today. There's still time, and I'm not trying to jinx it, but it's, it's, it's a compliment, and, and well done to them. Uh, point 160 finally gives Chimera uh, a win on the tracks. That is it. Four races done and dusted as we watch the replays coming on through. Finally a win for Chimera then, Amy. Yeah, so you're happy, happy with the car's performance. Do you think this was going to be your strongest aspect of the day? I think so, yeah. The car has done us proud. I think it's what we've all been working towards, of course, and it's the main event here. So we're Yeah, it's the bit that everyone everyone gets to see, but obviously there are other things going on in the rest of the day. So what have you got on um, on for the rest of today? What's next? So we've got our pit display judging next and hopefully that goes just as well. I mean I think all of the pit displays here look absolutely amazing. It would be great if anyone could come and have a look and make sure have a chat with you because they do look great. So well done. Sorry, Amy, I was just taking a drink from my Lenovo water bottle uh, there. Just had to put that plug in there. Very sturdy, this little number. Uh, right, uh, Neutron Racing, well done. Happy with everything, Michael? Yes. Okay, and what's next for you now, Michael? Um, I think lunch. And was it deliberate you decided to get the same colour as the F1 in school's backdrop as your T-shirt? Was this a deliberate move? Not really, no. No, not really. Okay, well, listen, uh, I'll let you go and join your teammates. Well done uh, to both Chimera Racing and Neutron Racing. And have a, before you go, Chimera, are you looking to get extra sympathy points for the boot that you're wearing? Yes. Yes, okay, so judges, make note of this. Uh, there we go. Oh, and a freebie as well. What? Thank you. Ah, oh, perfect. Chimera Racing 22. We don't have enough keys. I know, we don't have enough. I need to take up a job as a, a janitor. Uh, Newton Racing, uh, off you go. And then Chimera Racing, thank you very much, guys. Loving the jacket, so as well from Those Chimera. Are lovely. Very good. I've also checked the weather. No more rain in Leeds, so we won't really get to uh, really test them out. Um, there you go. Job done. Uh, we have got two more races uh, coming up before we'll take a break for this thing called lunch. Uh, we're going to do that. Uh, so keep that energy coming as we welcome Phantom Racing. They're going to come and join me here. I'm thinking that's Phantom Racing because there is a mask uh, logo design on their T-shirts. Very well done. They're just deciding which chairs they want. Um, I'm not happy about where they've <laughs> sat. But we'll go with it. Uh, come and join me here, good sir. Uh, what is your name? Please introduce the rest of your team as well. Uh, I'm Kasra. Um, this is Finley. And this is David. And who are your drivers? And uh, down on the uh, construction, there there's, a, there's a firm nod to there. And another Lenovo drinks bottle as well, go past. Uh, who are your drivers? Uh, we've got Daniel driving the car and Alfie collecting the car at the bottom. Oh, brilliant. Um, who have you got joining you? I'm Amy? going to be joined by Velocity Racing with some lovely hats and some great branding, I think. Yes, indeed. And I'm also seeing someone who is raising their arms aloft, maybe a teacher that's also wearing a hat but didn't get an actual official hat. Uh, that's my first question. Why didn't your teacher get an official hat? Um, the budget, really. <laughs> the budget. That is a very, very good answer. So who <laughs> have we got with you then, Amy? Yeah, do you want to introduce yourself and the rest of the team? So I'm Matthew. I'm the team manager. This is... Uh, I'm Oscar. I'm the resource manager. Uh, I'm Alec, and I'm the marketing and finance manager. And who do we have? Um, who's the driver and who's collecting the car? Um, that is Harry. He's the manufacturing engineer. And we have Louis, who's the graphic designer. Oh, amazing stuff. Well, there we go. We've met the teams. We can go racing. Let's see what they can do on the track. They both cross the line, but it's lane one, Phantom Racing crossing the line. It's the English teams going head to head. A point, one, five, seven for Phantom Racing. Very good reaction times. 
sporty, quick, the shorts are on. I don't know if that's a, a tactic there to not get too hot in the driver's seat. Uh, 1.256, very quick, definitely be in the top 10 with that. Are we happy so far? Yep, good job, Daniel. You're doing very well. Oh, you're doing very well, if that didn't come across on the mic. Uh, so there we go. And, and why Phantom Racing? What's behind the name? Uh, it represents us as a team uh, that we can phase through any obstacle that we over, uh, and we can overcome any obstacle. I like it, short and sweet example, good explanation. We'll get everything sorted as we get ready to go racing again. So Phantom Racing, uh, what have you done so far? Has there been judging that you've had to go uh, through? Uh, we've had to do enterprise judging, uh, engineering judging, and we've done our verbal presentation as well. We've all done pretty well so far. Blimey, you need to have a sit down, which I'm glad you get to finally have a little seat. You're very busy. Well, we can go racing. Let's see if there can be any improvements on the times set for the lanes that they are currently in. And there you go, both cars crossing the line and it's Phantom Racing again at 0.160. They can overcome any obstacle and adversity but it seems like it's plain sailing at the moment. This is good. It's good to see with a final 1.272. So a little bit slower in that. The cars are being popped down. What is it with the driver and that they've got shorts on? What's the deal here? I'm noticing this. You, you guys have gone, you know, covering up the legs, but is it because they're in the hot seat? Is that what it is? So um, as you can see, Daniel, he sweats uh, consistently since he's driving in the driver's seat. He's got to keep uh, refreshing his uh, bodily needs. Yeah, it's talking about airflow, he needs to have that airflow across the legs as well. Uh, what have you found is the most challenging part of this competition and getting here to a national final? It's about organising the team, really. We've had to drop out two people since the start and coming to regionals as a first year, really. So we've had to come from regionals to nationals as well without basically knowing anything about what to do. So it's learning on the fly, like some of the, the teams have had other uh, school teams that have been there before. So that kind of puts you at a disadvantage, but also you're not led by things before. So you get to innovate, I guess that's maybe what you found. Yeah, we've had uh, lots of innovation and lots of ways to actually uh, overcome any obstacle, as we've said. Well, listen, uh, doing a great job so far. Uh, what about your team, Amy? Budget-wise, uh, they've had to scrimp on the hats. I wanted to talk about Harry, the driver, Tom. Hmm. How did you pick Harry? Why did you pick Harry? Did uh, you do any testing? Yeah, we just looked beforehand who had the fastest reactions, and, well, Harry came up on top. Did you do it here on the, on the Denford machine? Uh, yeah, we also did it at regionals as well. See, lots of preparation going into this. Do you remember when we did the race on the Denford machine, Tom? Uh, no, I don't remember any of the no. times. I know that it's just important just taking part is actually really important, that's, Amy. Everyone, that's because Tom lost and I beat him a couple of times on that machine when we were in the region, in the virtual finals. I think it's important to get on with your teammates and not make them feel bad that you're going to beat them all the time. But no, if you want to be you, that's you. Um, okay, Col the Col Colton Grammar School. Okay, now I recognise teachers here. Um, who do you want to give a shout out to? Uh, well, so our sponsors, uh, Touring Car Experiences, um, Renishaw, Cadle Solutions, Emma Finch Counselling, and one line there will all been like very key. And uh, um, everyone who donated to our GoFundMe, because we only had six weeks to like prepare for nationals after regionals, and we needed to raise like £2,800, so that was quite a big challenge, so that really helps. And any teachers? That oh yeah, so um, Miss, uh, Mrs. Mrs. Carter and Mr. Taylor. Well, there you go. I can see their smiley faces at the other side. They were waiting for their shout out. They'll get it. I'll come to Phantom Racing in just a moment, but we can go racing. So here we go. Best of luck to both for the drivers. And again, Phantom Racing crossing the line first. I could see with the naked eye. <laughs> I don't know what the difference is. Uh, 0.151 for the reaction time for Phantom Racing. So Velocity Racing know what they need to do to help in some way. But on the track time, a 1.286. So if the reaction time was quicker by that 
um, six, no, five thousandths of a second difference with that complete finish time, they might have won that. Yeah, at the end of the day, we need to think of it's about the track time, what's on the leaderboard. So the reaction time react counts towards the points, but the track time is what sets the leaderboard. Ah, good to remind everyone of that. Well, we can go racing again, get that fourth and final race done in our penultimate racing before we will take a break. And I think it's Phantom Racing again, crossing the line. But Phantom Racing at 0.153. So the reaction time for Velocity Racing with a 0.194 did improve. And that has helped them with a 1.290. So there you go. All done and dusted. Phantom Racing, anyone you want to thank before we say goodbye to you? Uh, thank you to all the teachers, really. We've got Mr. Winter, Mr. Brooker, Mr. David. Uh, no, sorry, Mr. Uh, Mr. Webb all the teachers and all our sponsors as well. Uh, yeah, really just thank you for helping us get this far into our journey. Yeah, a top job that you have done. So listen, Phantom Racing, done and dusted. Uh, that, we're going to have to say goodbye uh, to our other team as well. Yeah, so happy with the performance of the car? Uh, yeah, 1.286 is a, like, a big step up from regional, so we're very pleased with that. And what do you have next for the day? Um, we have a lunch. Everyone keeps bringing up the lunch that they're having. Yeah, to be fair, Amy, you did start it. So currently still top of that leaderboard, CHS Comet. And as you can see, Phantom Racing uh, go up to fifth with that. And that puts Velocity Racing into 19th. So listen, thank you very much for both of the teams. Uh, we'll get you to part ways from the stage, the racetrack. While I let them go past, I am going to take a picture of the leaderboard. So I've got a constant leaderboard update, uh, which is brilliant. That is going to help me. So it's always thinking, solution-based problems. There Innovative. You Thank you very much. Uh, right, who have you got joining you on your side, Amy? I'm going to have Team Silverstone, UTC, joining me on this side. <laughs> Loving the outfits for this team. Do you think they're from maybe near Silverstone? Is that why they're called that? The yes, home of British Motorsport? I will motorsport? find out, don't you worry. Oh, my side. Yeah, there we go. So there you go, Silverstone UTC, loving their design, the outfit that they've got on. But I am being joined by Flo, who are going to come and join me. Bo -bo -bo -bo. They're coming in with style, panache, energy. Look at the march. They've got that enthusiasm. This is what we like for our last race before we take a break. Welcome to the party. I've met you before, team manager, project manager. Yes, I am the team manager. Please introduce yourself to everybody. So my name is David. Uh, I'm Bertie, I'm the uh, finance and enterprise manager for Flow. Bertie, great to meet you, like your glasses. We put glasses at the back here. Who are you? Um, I'm Sam, I'm the manufacturing engineer. Nice to meet you, Sam. And you, sir? I'm Aidan, I'm the graphic design for Flow. And uh, who have we got driving for these two? Uh, that is Piers, that's the cab manager. And why was he chosen, Bertie? Uh, we chose him because one, his reaction time's good. Two, he just kind of felt like the right choice. He made the car, he's made a lot of big decisions for the team. He helped out a lot just overall, so he was just the right choice, I think. Oh, Bertie, that's awesome. So more pressure on those shoulders. That's what I'm hearing there. Uh, Amy, who have you got with you? So Tom is itching to know the idea behind you, Team Silverstone. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, so we are based on the track in Silverstone, so this is why we wanted to represent the Silverstone name. And that's got to be an advantage. There's race, racing in the blood, racing in the school. So do you want to introduce yourself and the rest of the team? Yep, so I am Byron Benning, I am the lead design engineer, and... Uh, I'm Mikey Diggins, I'm the um, graphic designer. And who have we got racing and collecting the car? We've got Jacob Harris racing the car, who is our manufacturing engineer, and we've got our team manager down at the end r collecting our car. And does he think that's the most important role, that's why he gave it to himself? Team yeah. manager? Yes. <laughs> okay, well, there you go. I love that, and I love the designs of the car. So we can actually go trackside now to get the first race underway. Trying to be a 1.239. So there we go, watching the replay there flow with a 0.170 reaction time, but a track time of 1.341.
will not put either of those teams in the top 12. But uh, there we go. Right, so, so far, so good. Bertie, can I just say, whatever product you use in your hair smells delicious. Well done. Thank you. Yeah, I, I use, um, uh, I honestly... Oh, no, 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 you can't say. We can't throw out names, but just, just take the compliment. The compliment's there. Um, how did you prepare getting ready for today? Not, not again, not hair-wise. Uh, just, I think preparing, we did a lot of, uh, we just drilled our verbal presentation so much. It was, because that's the big thing I think we struggled with as a team. I think everything else we were all very solid on. And then we've done our verbal now. It's, it's happened. I think we're all pretty happy with it, so. Well, I like that. I see those smiles on your faces. Let's see if we can get some more smiles as we go trackside then to get the second race underway. Don't forget, flow in lane one. Lane two is Silverstone UTC. And it's lane one. Flow again, crossing the line first. But not much in it. Uh, 1.299 track time. So that will help uh, put them in 13th. I believe. So well done to Flo. They're edging closer as the teammates who have collected the cars doing an excellent job there. It's not easy. Rolling the car on a straight line is actually fairly easy, but it's an important integral role. And they've nodded at each other and now they're back racing each other. Who will make it to the other end first? There's extra steps being made and it's neck and neck. It's absolutely a tie there. So well done to both of the teams making it back. Uh, they are going to swap sides now, uh, the drivers, and uh, get going. Uh, what has been the biggest challenge to get to national finals then? I think just the preparation after regionals, because we saw that after regionals, like we weren't at the top where we wanted to be, so we worked tirelessly uh, before nationals just to get everything to the top of the top of how we can do it. And anyone out there watching who is supporting you, who do you want to thank? Uh, I would like to thank my dad and our teachers, Mr. <laughs> Reynolds and Mr. Pledger. Yeah, he did give us money. So. He did, your dad it was helped out in the sponsoring? Yes. How did you go about that, approaching your own father for money? How was it? Talk me through the process. So my dad works in uh, one of our sponsor companies called GIST. Uh, they're a transport company in the UK and in Europe. And uh, he's in one of the senior management roles. So I just asked him to ask uh, one of his main managers to see if he could gain sponsorship. And fortunately, he said yes. That's amazing. Did you do it verbally? Did you text? Did you write an email? Did you plan a proposal? How did you do it? Was it just, it, I feel with you, it might have just been, can we have some money? <laughs> well, all of the above, really. <laughs> Perfect. That's good to hear. How did uh, the, mar we were talking marketing in terms of that sponsorship. Uh, Silverstone does help if you're right next door, I guess. It does. And we have been able, but we realized that even though there was, a, uh, sorry, I've lost my words. Even though that we are such a big name, we wanted to support local brands and companies like Andrews Fish and Chips, as well as big companies like Alitech and ECS. So we were able to get the best of both worlds, support local companies, and use the Silverstone name to get big brands like Alitech. It's really nice to see teams that have like a sponsorship strategy going on, wanted to connect with the community, I think. Yeah, two-pronged attack. We like that. Let's go racing then. As we go trackside. Quick start from Flo and crossing the line first in lane two. But can they improve on that 1.299? Unfortunately, not on this occasion. Actually, a little bit slower, but we will find out if that car B, which was faster for them a moment ago when they raced in lane one, let's see if there can be an improvement. But as for the reaction time, not much more your engineer slash everything role for the teammate. You'll have to remind me of his name, please. Piers. Piers, doing a great job. So here we go. For the fourth and final time of today in the UK national final, we are just waiting for everything to be cleared, down on the other end, waiting for it all to be set up. Whole team, a whole plethora of people, Reese. The race director doing a brilliant job. Signals are being fired. 
from one end of the track to the other. We're all good to go. And there it is. B goes to lane one, and it's Silverstone UTC. So again, we started today's racing, and uh, we did say that lane one was a little bit quicker. We're seeing that today seems to be getting um, the faster time. So a 1.321 for Silverstone UTC. Where will they put them on the leaderboard? We shall find out, but that is it. Four races done and dusted in time for our first break of the day for some lunch. Everyone can reboost on energy. They look happy. They look okay, Silverstone UTC. Well, well one member looks happy. You, you're happy with how it went? Um, yeah. And did you expect a little bit more? A little bit, yeah, but there's, not, there's only so much we can do, isn't there? Yeah, you live and you learn, and then you make it, do your best for the next elements of the day. Yes, and we're halfway through the racing, and so that puts Silverstone UTC in 20th and 16th uh, for the team next to me, Flo. Overall, break it down for me before we say goodbye to, to you guys and everyone else. Feeling all right with that, Bertie? Yeah, yeah, I think uh, we've done better. I think it went well. We've, we're in a good position. We've got more judging to come, and I think, you know, we can do well. All right, and if uh, anyone wants to ask Bertie off camera what the hair product is, you know what to do. Absolutely smells delicious. It's given me a real lift uh, with enthusiasm for this. Uh, so there you go, Flo and Silverstone UTC. Actually, we're going to say uh, a goodbye now. We'll be back uh, at just before half past one. So make sure you come and join us. Hopefully, we'll be joined by Sam Chapman, Amy. But until then, make sure you hit us up on the socials, and we'll see you very shortly.
Back to the Lamovo F1 at School's UK National Final. My name is Tom Deacon, and joining me to my left is Sam Chapman, formerly of Team Unity. How's the day been going for you, Sam? Where have you been? Me and Amy have been very worried. Yeah, I'm sorry. I've just been working on some, uh, pulling together some information about the new regulations that are coming out for this, this World Finals uh, coming up that obviously teams here will have to start looking into as well for coming in the next few, next few competitions. Yeah, and this is the one with the halo and the driver in the car ready to race down the track, right? Yeah, that's exactly right. So it's it's trying to make it look more like a real Formula One car. It's trying to develop, like there's more skills needed in, in order to implement things like that, like a halo, 3D printed part and include it in the middle of the car. I think yeah. it's room for a, a, a lot of interesting uh, interesting designs. Yeah, teams are already getting ready. I did actually see it at the Saudi Arabia national final, the first one ever, they were using that halo design. So they were the first really to test it, but they were using the same bristle uh, deceleration zone as well, uh, whereas there might be a change, but Gary Anderson will give the latest on that. And uh, has anyone stopped you around Leeds University to say, hey, heard you on the latest, the main straight, the official F1 in schools podcast? I don't you can't, you, don't, you, don't, you, don't, you don't have to lie. But well, I, I mean, I, I've spoken to Andrew about it and he seemed to enjoy it, but I don't know. I, th I feel like it comes out on Monday. Does it come out on Monday? I'm not sure. I think Ooh, so. Ooh, all right. Well, that's very exciting. I just record and then that's that. Uh, we are going to get our teams up. Uh, joining you, Sam, uh, to change your role in this production, we're going to have Team Traction joining Sam uh, on the side there, uh, giving us some uh, update. And we've got a mascot. And we've got a mascot. Welcome. Good afternoon. Come and join. Um, you can take a seat there. That's Amy Martin's notes. Uh, so that is the team joining me there. And joining me here, we have Bolt Racing. Come to join me. There we go. Uh, I saw their pit display. Have you been able to see any pit displays, Sam? Yeah, I've been walking around and I mean, it's good to be back to a proper national finals where everyone's put an effort in building building tables rather than just using tables is, is really good to see. Uh, good to see. And in terms of those times that you've noticed so far, Sam, anything that's standing out to you? Well, I think it's incredibly close when you're looking from first to well, 15, 16, that's all within 0.1 of a second. So yeah, I think exciting, exciting racing. All right. Okay. Well, I'm going to just have a little chat to Bolt Racing. Uh, we met earlier on, you were putting up a very snazzy neon light uh, of many people commented, uh, stopped you and said, hey, that's awesome. Yeah, a lot of people have. Um, it seems to be our showstopper. <laughs> the showstopper. And how about the car? Because we're about to see the showstopper on the track. Is it being a showstopper? We don't know yet. We haven't tested it. 
What, Sam? This is ridiculous. I'm hearing this car hasn't been tested. Is that a normal for a national final? I, I think it's it's difficult for a lot of teams to test if you don't have a, access to a track. Uh, but I'm sure you've done lots of testing on, on, on the computer, so you know it's going to be half decent. Yeah, so we tested other cars, but not this exact one. Oh, OK. It's fresh out the bag. It's ready to go. So uh, could you introduce yourselves to everybody, please? Yeah, so I'm Archie. I'm Lloyds. And I'm Trinity. And uh, who have we got driving in your team, Trinity? Uh, we've got Will. And who is bringing the cars back? Uh, that's Alex. I got excited. That's like the best bit. Alex, you ready to bring the cars back? He is, uh, as a thumbs up. Well, I'll tell you what we can do. We can go racing in moments time because we're going to meet Team Traction. Uh, so Team Traction, um, I'll get Sam to have the mic. Uh, tell us about yourselves and what is this mascot? Who is this mascot? So this is Terence, our amazing social media icon. He's a penguin, if you couldn't tell. I thought it was the official... Um, <laughs> I thought it was the official uh, social media icon as I, I'm just watching Bolt Racing breaking all the rules by pushing the trigger. There were no five lights out and they're breaking everything. Team Traction, tell me a little bit about where are you from in the, in the country? So we're from Halso in, in the West Midlands and um, we're from Lisos High School. Ah, and please introduce your team. So I'm Francesca and I'm the team manager. This is Ava, the portfolio manager, and this is Nayara, social media manager. And who have you got driving and collecting the cars? I'm seeing a bit of a male to female ratio going on here. Why are they doing the collecting the cars and driving? I guess it's because they mainly worked on the car. So we thought it's only fair, we have to let them. And I'm glad you said you had to let them. So there you go. So who, and names again? So that's Scott, our design engineer, and the person collecting the car is Aidan, our manufacturer. Okay, and who has brought you along here today? Who, who's, who deserves a shout out? Our teachers, Mr. Chatterton and Miss Jameson. There you go, they're getting all the shout outs there. So uh, what have you done so far today? Because it's quite an agonizing wait to see your car uh, on the track and test it out. Definitely, so we've had our verbal presentation first thing this morning, and we've done our design and engineer um, presentation. So. I think we're, waiting. we're just waiting for our brand identity and our pit interviews, things like that. Okay, uh, well, this is very exciting stuff. I think we can go racing. Um, so we will get ready and uh, we'll probably welcome Amy Martin back. So best of luck to both the teams. I was, I was glad that... And there you have it, crossing the line first, a car in lane one, which is Bolt Racing. Oh, welcome back, Amy Martin. Sorry, the lunch was a bit too good. Just well, that's a okay. bit extra. That, you, hey, these things can't be helped sometimes. Uh, you're back on time. I just nabbed Sam to give him, uh, to give everybody the explanation uh, on where he's been. So a point one eight one for team traction and their reaction time. And hoping to get into the top five, we've got the leaderboard just to our left now so we'll be able to monitor that uh, i'm seeing some of the other teams uh, getting ready to uh, join us here mac racing are going to be up next and photon racing they're next to race on the track and i'm seeing these lovely designed water bottles uh, for bolt racing that they're showing off uh, is there anything in that oh uh, yeah just water just water okay good i felt like a teacher there double checking on you uh, we can go racing so let's head on down. So there you have it. Uh, across the line first is uh, Team Traction again, and all green sectors there, 0.15 seconds. A very fast reaction time. And Bolt Racing, not far behind with the reaction time. Uh, they swap sides. What are we noticing, Bolt Racing? It's not as quick as we, was ho we were hoping for. Uh, so, yeah, not good. Not good. But, the, but in terms of, the, yeah, not good compared to the other team. But in terms of your times, you, you made some changes. Uh, is, is this slower than you expected in terms of regionals? Yeah, it is. Okay. And what do you reckon that's, that's down to? Are you part of the engineering side of the team? Uh, I am a bit, and then it's also Lloyd. Yeah, so I guess lots of changes at the last minute, not getting the chance to test it in person on a track, so not being able to double check the changes, and yeah. These things happen? 
got to go with it, roll with it. Still could be in the mix. What about Team Traction? Are they happy so far? Um, I've been told that there's a slogan. They just said to me, don't ask about the slogan, so I'm going to ask, what's the slogan? Taking action, we're Team Traction. <laughs> See, I love that. I love that. It's great. That's great Very, very slogan. catchy. What did you do that? Did you put that on your, is that on your pit display? Absolutely not. <laughs> I'm not proud of this, this slogan. I love it. Take action. Air team traction. I like it. I like it. I think it's catchy. I mean, but it's not as good as Terence. Have you seen Terence? Have you met Terence? This is Terence. Oh. A social media icon. I, I like him. He looks lovely. Yeah, he's been, uh, been forced along as part of the team. Uh, we've had the thank yous there for team traction. Just waiting for the cars to change lanes. And then we get going. Um, always afterwards, we can see where that's put after lunch. Get racing again, get back into the swing of things. Team Traction moved to 14th with a 1.294. And Bolt Racing, 23. 23 is a fantastic number. Uh, David Beckham, Michael Jordan, um, just to name two of the famous iconic 23s. But we're hoping to push up further than that. Um, in terms of the rest of the day, what have you been up to? So we had our verbal presentation first thing, and then we had our engineering discussion, and they all went well. All went well. Okay, so you felt good. Was it a bit like nerves this morning when you arrived, and then get a few out the way, then it'll give you a little bit of a confidence boost for the rest? Yeah, um, we arrived, had 15 minutes to set up our pit display. It was quite stressful, but we got it done. I actually saw you uh, go through that stress. Uh, did you get the plug working? Yes, it is. Okay, good. I can actually see it now. It's actually as bright. Have you seen over there, straight ahead, Amy, Bolt Racing? You see that? Blinding. 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 That's the review from Amy. Blinding. Very good indeed. All right, then. Uh, let's head down trackside as the drivers get ready. What are you noticing in terms of those designs, Amy? I mean, very different. Oh, they're not ready to race. Um, very different designs. Um, the paint job on Team Traction, quite simple. Just the, the one color. And then we've got um, Team... Bolt Racing, um, going for a little bit, a little bit extra, a little bit extra colour. I always like to see our teams with a bit of a bit of colour. We saw a two-tone one this morning. We did indeed, yes. And now we get this sort of nice fusion. I like it. Here we go. Best of luck to both the teams. It's quicker, but I think Team Traction taking that again as we see them fly down the track. This 20-meter track, a 1.299. Seen that score before today uh, going to team traction uh, what does it do does it improve no because they are five thousandths of a second off their best time a 1.294 so we go to our fourth and final race question is team traction are we going to go faster fingers are crossed yeah. fingers are crossed. we said yes over here yes. okay there's, a, there's confidence there from team traction and bolt racing are feeling it a little bit. Sort of a mixture of disappointment, but not able to race and test the car means they weren't able to see how those changes affected everything. All right then, best of luck to both teams. Fourth and final race. And it is finally a uh, bolt. Racing was so close. Just seemed to slow up right at the end. Just that team traction just zipping across the line. A 1.316. It will improve Bolt Racing's time. So that is good. That is promising. But a 1.277 improves team traction's time. Where does it put them on the leaderboard? We will find out. I think to 10th, uh, taking over Samurai Racing. So the teammates bring about the cars. Bolt Racing, final thoughts on what you've seen, compounding all the mixed feelings of not getting to race uh, and test out the car to then seeing it in action. It had potential there. Yeah, uh, just a bit disappointing, but, you know, there's room for improvement, definitely. All right, well, listen, uh, onwards and upwards. Lovely to chat to you. Enjoy the rest of the day. Team Traction, how are we feeling after that? We've got a very, very young team here, so I think they're hoping to enter a couple more times, but how are you feeling after that? It's good. And like, you, what did you say just then to me? Well, we're only in year nine, so we've got next year to come back as professional class. So, fingers crossed, we'll do even better next year. There we go. So, already planning for the year ahead. So. Oh, 
Brilliant. We like to hear that lovely color ring on the trainers as well. Uh, we'll say goodbye to keep the brand on point. Team Traction can leave and also Bolt Racing. Thank you very much for coming along uh, and chatting to us. We'll let you head off. Uh, that is the team's done. Um, great to meet Terence, the mascot. Remember when we had the virtual... The quacker. Quackers, yeah, the quackers, the quackers from Australia. Everyone had a mascot and sent one in. It was brilliant. And which team sent in a spider just by mistake? Oh, I forget now. One of the but Mexican ones, team uh, te tectonic. Nothing Scarred gave us more day. fear when you open up a box and there's a spider in there. Probably a UK one from Brighouse. It wasn't that dangerous. Uh, right, the next teams uh, joining me on this side. I have Mac Racing. They're going to come and join me. I had a chat with Mac Racing earlier on, Amy, and uh, they said uh, they were really excited. However, they didn't want to be uh, Heidi, be leaving Heidi all by herself to chat to me. So we've, we've worked something out, a strategy. So uh, welcome, good afternoon. Uh, can you introduce yourselves to us? I'm Mercy, I'm the team manager and design engineer. Hi, I'm Heidi and I'm the manufacturer engineer. I'm Madison and I'm the social media manager. Okay, now tell me about your team. Mac Race, what does it mean? Uh, Mac's unit for the speed of uh, sound. Um, so it's just kind of showing how fast we move, how fast our car is. And uh, you've brought a car along with yes. you. Why? So we created this for our sponsors, but we thought it was only fair to give one to you as well. What? <laughs> No way, this is incredible. I feel like you're just saying this just for the camera, but hold on to it. I'm gonna hold on to it and keep it safe and then we can discuss. Are you the driver? Yes. All right, well, I'll let you head over there. A racing car. I know, it's so unfair. I know it is unfair, <laughs> but look, we'll share that with the team. Uh, okay, so you guys, one of you will collect the cars at the end, but for the time being, you'll stick with us. We've got another team to introduce. Yep, this is my team for this round, Photon Racing from Royal Grammar School. Photon Racing, here they come. Joining us, their driver is all in place, ready. Ready to go, racing. We are ready to go racing. Best of luck to both of the teams. A whole racing car has just been left there. And there you go, first race done. We're watching the replay now. Lane one taking the victory, crossing the line first. That is Mac Racing, a 0.167. That is what happens if you've got a racing car. Faster reaction times, it's very clear there, Amy. A 1.320, so not enough to break into the top 10, but hopefully they can get even faster. Yeah, Team Photon Racing here. I think we might just have to say, say a little bit hello to them. Um, hi, how are you doing? Good, thank you. Very excited. Very excited. Do you want to introduce yourself and the rest of the team? Yeah, I'm Aditya, um, head of car design, and that's Usman, head of sponsorship and um, pit display. And then driving for us is Aish, he's our team manager. And over there is Peter. I'm sorry, we're being distracted by Tom Deacon here, playing with his, <laughs> playing with his car. I'm so sorry, it's just, it's, I love racing. <laughs> that was amazing. Photon Racing, uh, what's, what has been the best part of today so far? Is it this part going racing, seeing your car race down the track? I suppose today was the verbal presentation, which we hopefully did quite well. It's the first team we've had that said they like the verbal presentation. Oh, that is, that's crazy talk, but I like it nonetheless. All right, are the teams ready to go racing for race number two? That is the question. We will find out. So best of luck to both teams. They really shouldn't have left us a car. Both myself and Amy are now mesmerized by this. But we're looking at the track. A 1.281, so an improvement there in times for Mac Racing. That puts them up in the leaderboard to about, just double checking, 10th place as well. So that's the second half of today's racing. We're getting to see a few things. Uh, one of the team for Mac Racing has to now go down, collect the cars, because Heidi didn't want to be uh, left with me with too many questions being fired back and forth. Uh, how have you enjoyed the competition so far? Getting to the Nationals must be an amazing achievement. 
Yeah, it was kind of fun. I was a bit nervous before, obviously all the talking, but it's quite good. And, is, and have you noticed in yourself that there's been a kind of, not necessarily improvement, but have you seen that development, that growth within yourself by doing this competition? Yeah, I've definitely got more confident as the day has gone on, so yeah. That's good. So by the end of this, you're literally going to be cartwheeling, you're going to be shouting the loudest person maybe at this competition. Maybe, or is that maybe too much? Maybe too much. Maybe too much. Okay, I'll rein it back in. Uh, what, have you, what was your role on the team, Heidi? Um, a manufacturing engineer. And so what have you noticed uh, with your car doing very well? The reaction times uh, from your team member have really helped. A difference of one thousandth. And we're actually seeing a bit of a breakage here, Amy, at the moment from Photon Racing. Yeah, it seems that I've lost a couple of members of Photon Racing and they're currently fixing the car. So do you have anything to do with the design of the car? Uh, not really. Uh, so we, he, he can't be held accountable. It's not, it's not your fault. Um, yeah, it looks like the rear wing might have just snapped off a little bit. Um, do you think they've got time to fix it? I think they can. I, I trust in them. Have you done any practices to see what you could do if the, if the car breaks? Did you think it was going to break? Uh, not really. But it was kind of last minute. We were like, putting the car together. Preparing to fail. <laughs> Tom is absolutely mesmerized by this car. I was actually sending it towards Sam while he just sat, uh, sits there. We are watching a uh, car breakage being fixed. Uh, Photon are doing the best they can. Um, Sam. Over in the experts' uh, corner, we call it the experts' corner. Yeah, why not? He is a bit of an expert. Uh, Sam, just just so everyone here has a bit of an understanding of what you've gone on to do after uh, the glory days of Team Unity, two world finals. What what was the path that you then took on? Let's let's ruin the podcast that's coming out on Monday now. Okay. Yeah. So I obviously I, I finished in 2018. That was my last world finals, and then. Then it was A-level straight after that, and then university. So I used F1 in schools to get into university in Nottingham uh, for mechanical engineering. Following on from that, I did two years at university, and then I did a placement year last year where I worked at Williams Advanced Engineering. So I was a vehicle integration engineer, which is essentially was working on batteries. So we're a consultancy company where people from all over the place come and ask, can we have this very specific kind of battery? So we've developed like everything from trucks to, to hypercars. So for example, the Lotus Avaya, 2000 brake horsepower, Deus Vian, 2200 brake horsepower, they were, all, they were all us. Oh, that's awesome. And then what happens now? You're back at university. Yes, yeah, so I've got two more years of university to get a, a, a master's degree in mechanical engineering, and then back to work at WE. Okay, so that's the career path. And do you think that F1 in schools helped define what you wanted to go on and do maybe, and what you were good at with your strengths? I think. I already knew I was interested in engineering and I've been obsessed with cars my entire life, but then F1 in schools gave a sort of a, a, a way that I was able to use or develop skills that I wouldn't have, have had no other way of developing. And then going to university and job interviews and saying, this is what I've, I've made, this is a car that I've worked on, here's a 10 page portfolio about everything that I did, every individual aspect I looked into, going from a project from start to finish, from research to design to manufacture. It's all sort of things that you do in industry anyways. So yeah. doing it with, with a company, um, but doing it in F1 in schools and a team of five shows that you can do each aspect. That's awesome. That's really, really cool, Sam. Well, uh, great to have you on board for this. We're, we're seeing the repairs have been made. Has there been enough time for the glue to set? That's the question, Amy. And while we're on the subject of what F1 in schools has helped do for your career, what, where are you at now? What, what have you been doing since uh, the World Finals for you? So um, since my World Finals, I started a systems engineering degree at Warwick University. Um, I've always been involved in F1 in schools throughout that time at university, doing the hosting and then doing conferences in Monaco and etc. Other other fun events that I've been sent. To. That was for the FIA uh, most sport, yeah, women in most sport. sport. Yeah. So if you haven't listened to my episode on the podcast, go and do that now. Um, but then I have actually just secured a finance graduate role with Mercedes High Performance Powertrains. Wow. Okay. So this is this is really so you're sticking around in that world of of motorsport. Yeah, it's addictive. I think that's the main thing to take from this competition. Is it kind of opens a door that you wouldn't necessarily see, and I've I've stayed in there ever since. Oh, that's fantastic. Well, look, uh, it's great to see both of you guys uh, continuing to do what you love. We can go racing. So we're going to go trackside now as we head on down to see Mac Racing take on Photon Racing. Fingers crossed the breakage holds up.
So we're waiting for the leaderboard to populate. Oh my word, Photon Racing. Talk to me about the fact that is the fastest reaction time of 0.139. Phenomenal uh, reaction speed. That is the fastest of the day. Previously, it was a 0.149. So a whole tev off. That is phenomenal. Really incredible. A hundredth of a second off. Well done uh, to Photon Racing. Just one reminder, who, who is your driver? Ayush, right there. Aish, wow. Wowzers. Yeah, you are correct to wave around the room. Excellent stuff. Okay, we go to our fourth and final race. There's a couple of Bolt team heading backstage past court four. You can't saw it. Uh, you can't see it on that screen. We got caught four. So whenever we're ready to go racing, amazing stuff. Thanks to Reese and the team doing a brilliant job down there. And it's quick, a point one, five, four. Again, very, very quick reaction time. But again, that same car, car B, a few breakages. And the same again, isn't it? The rear wing there. Yeah, we see a lot that when there's a, a single breakage on the car, it can be quite difficult to make sure it doesn't break there again. There's normally a structural weakness at that point of the car. It's really heartbreaking to see, especially when we know when it flies off like that. Yeah, it just hits the bristles, the deceleration zone, and then boom, uh, yeah. flying through. Uh, I don't know if Lily knows uh, what the signal is for breakage. What is the signal for breakage, uh, Amy? Do you remember what it is? I want to see if Lily knows it. All right, here was a big test. Hey. Hey, look at that. Proper breakage. We got the sign language ready to give us an indication up here. Uh, great stuff from the guys down there. Um, and if you're just joining the stream, uh, Lily uh, on the replay there is on the right. She's part of Team Honeycomb that are going to the world finals representing Edinburgh of Scotland. And we have Harriet as well, who's representing from Robert Mays, a newly named team, Nightingales, uh, joined by Charlotte and Amber, who are at the start of the track. Uh, it'll all move around tomorrow, won't it? They'll yeah. get to try a different area. That's uh, the fun part about this. Yeah, Rotate. Who's taking over our jobs tomorrow? Sam. Sam, okay, Sam is leading the whole thing tomorrow. Well done, Sam, uh, congratulations. So what have we noticed so far then, guys, uh, with your races that you've seen? Fast. We're fast. I like that. Okay. Uh, once that gets uh, populated, the leaderboard, what does the rest of the day have in store? What's next up for you guys? Um, the verbal presentation. Okay. And with all that confidence that you've built throughout the day, Hi, how ready are you for the verbal presentations? Pretty ready. Pretty ready. We'll take that. Well, listen, uh, enjoy the rest of the day. And uh, Amy, Photon, a few breakages, but they seem happy with everything. Yeah, you were part of the mending team for the car, weren't you? Do you want to tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, so on car B, uh, the wing just fell off completely, but it was fine. But then the wing on car A actually splintered. So we think there must have been a weakness somewhere around the joining of the wing. Do you think it can be fixed in time for tomorrow for the next set of racing? Hopefully we can sort it out. But if not, then we don't have any spare wings, unfortunately which may become a problem. Yeah, but you live in the uh, next time you'll remember the wings, yeah. yeah? Are you excited for the rest of the day? Happy with how it went? We're happy with how the most of the day went. So yeah, we, we can say we're excited. Yeah, that's good to hear. There we go. Uh, great to hear. Matt Racing moved to 11th and 21st place for Photon Racing. Well done to both the teams. We'll speak to you, hopefully, uh, tomorrow when you get to race again. So there you go. I give up for both the teams. They are leaving. I've got your racing car. I can't possibly be left with this. It's too distracting. I'm hearing in my ear that my boss says, no, that is too distracting. Okay, they're leaving. They're genuinely leaving. Oh, okay. Now. All right. Wow. Okay. Uh, <laughs> on their heads be it. I will have, joining me now, Ignite underscore NC. They're going to be joining me um, all the way from Northampton College. So they're going to join. And I'm seeing a toolkit, the first toolkit being brought that I have physically noticed. So they are going to join me. Um, they're sponsored by Cosworth, so they know what they're talking about. Hey, man, how are you doing? I've been given a racing car. Oh, nice. I know, it's very nice. I don't know how to... Um, it's broken, so I'm going to give that to you, and then you get told off, uh, not me. Uh, please, could you introduce yourself uh, to everyone and the rest of your team? Yeah, my name is Manu. I'm the project manager for Ignite NC, and this is Valina, and sponsorship and marketing. And Valina, I'm seeing a suitcase. Like, 
everything at the back here. This is Chief Fixer. This is Matt Knight. He is the uh, manufacturing engineer. Manufacturing engineer, of course, Matt. What is in the? I want to see what's in the cases. I feel like I'm on a movie now. Yeah. A, a sort of like you, you almost come on like the bad guy, like you're about to give that. Like the whole nation is up against. It's it's very simple. We just have uh, spare front wings. We have spare axles. We've got. I'm going to have to take this to just show the world, and I'll be very, very careful yeah, with this. Oh, don't, I'm not going to do anything. Look at that. If anyone wanted to know, and this could all be won, so all you need to do now... No, I'm just kidding. So there you go. Oh, thank you very much. Yeah, they're, they're yours. All right, guys. Uh, well, listen, um, I will welcome uh, the next team up. And on my side, we have Kronos Racing. I might be pronouncing that wrong. I'm going to have to get it checked. But come join me. They are joining you. Look at this. Welcome to the party. It is a party. What did you bring for the party? Super glue and spray. Perfect. Do you want to introduce yourself and your team? Uh, so I'm Greg, and I was the project manager and head of finance. Uh, I'm Andrew. I'm head of marketing and events. I'm Connor down there is head of like um, manufacturing and design of the cars. Lovely. And was it Kronos Racing? Yeah. Kronos Racing did it right this time. And what does Kronos mean? Why have they gone for this? Uh, so it's the Greek god of time. Uh, so obviously we're trying to build the fastest car as possible, so it's quite fitting. That is awesome, uh, because all I ever hear, Amy, is about how time management is so important. So if you've got the god of time on your side, uh, is that one of the things you found difficult uh, in this competition, time management? Uh, yeah, well, we, like, the notice was quite short, so obviously we had to do a lot of, like, build the whole cars and all our portfolios in quite a short amount of time. And uh, we're also a team of three, so it also doesn't help that at all either. Lots of work to be spread around three people. Yeah, it is indeed. So you've got a driver over there, and then who's going to be collecting the cars? You're going, that's it? It's leaving us. Oh, wow. <laughs> Could you do me a massive favor? Could you just put that car back towards us? Just, yeah, so just help us. Thank you so much. Brilliant stuff. Oh, it's still broken. That car, we've broken the car already. Matt I, I didn't break the car. This is why you don't leave anything with myself and Amy. Uh, so on that leaderboard, I look, I see a whole host of brilliant teams. Where do you think you sort of rank in this leaderboard? Well, in our testing, we came 1.2 dead. So hopefully at the top, really. Okay, well, I like that. That is the leaderboard. CHS Comet are currently still top. And Tachyon, uh, who raced the first race of the day. So let's see if they can be altered, changed as we go trackside to get the race underway. So there you go, lane one, uh, crossing the line first there. And that is the team that are by my side, Ignite underscore NC. What is the sort of reasoning behind the name? Ignite underscore NC. So, well, um, so part of the thing that comes with our college is we have a, a project that's called Ignite the Spark. Um, it's uh, something that we do for students to help them sort of reach the careers that they want to get to in life. And it's just starting to help us uh, represent where we're coming from. Amazing. And do you want to get into the suitcase industry by any chance, Matt? No. Um, I would like to be a manufacturer, though. It's, it's something that um, I, I like having an attention to detail. And I think in manufacturing, it's somewhere I can make that sort of have an impact on the world. Suitcase wouldn't be bad, though. Don't get me wrong. You could invent the best suitcase ever. No, that is brilliant. Well, we look at the two teams there, 25th and 27th. Uh, and that, that, that all-important uh, uh, magnifying glass that we don't like to see, do we, Amy? And that means what again? That means that the team will be under investigation, probably for a regulation break. Ooh. Well, while we let that sink in, uh, let's go back trackside to get the second race underway. It made it. And there you go. Uh, it's lane two. It's uh, Kronos racing, the god of time, uh, crossing the line. Uh, fastest with a 1.312, Ignite underscore NT 1.410. What did you notice from that, Amy? I mean, the, the one thing I want to ask about is, so I see that Kronos Racing actually opt to not have the deceleration system and have some sort of towels or jumpers. Can you just explain, explain your reasoning behind that? Uh, so our front wings uh, are like glued on quite strong, so 
we're going to take like all the impact on the front because the back wings are quite weak. But they, uh, so like we're hoping that we'll just take the front wing on and then it'll be fine. So probably looking at some other world finals or national finals and seeing that a lot of the wings break in that specific area and wanting to, to stop that. Yeah, that was kind of our thinking behind. Smart. The use of bubble wrap. Love the bubble. What are you going to do with the bubble wrap afterwards? Can I have that by any chance? Yeah. Love popping the bubbles on bubble wrap. It is literally a pastime. So relaxing. Uh, any thank yous you'd like to put out there, Ignite underscore HC? I'm going to keep saying it that way. <laughs> yeah. Uh, a special thanks to Neil Tobin, uh, the person that made all of this possible. A uh, special thanks to Mark Cooper and uh, Sam Robinson. They're here with us. So yes, special thanks to them, our friends and families. And yeah, that, it's, it's, it's quite a pleasure to be here. And this is a question I don't think I've ever asked before. Have all your families met one another because you're like a team and like all the hours that you're putting on, whether they're dropping you off at school or anything like that, have they, have they all met they, at any point? Oh yeah, they're best friends now. <laughs> of course, they're besties by definition. While we wait for the cars to, to move over, what's been the most challenging part of this competition for you specifically? I think just trying to get a good score. That's the, been the biggest challenge. And in terms of all of the areas for judging, is there one that you're really looking forward to or have done already so far? I think mostly just looking forward to the racing. Well, you're in the moment. You're in your element right now. I, I will not distract you again. Uh, we have got uh, a team of three. How difficult is it, Amy, having a team of three compared to when you've got a full uh, roster? Yeah, we've been talking a lot today about how many elements there are in this competition. Um, and there's, if, even if you think about the work that just goes into the portfolio alone, to have only three people on that is such a daunting task. But, um, I mean, I think team looks like it's done a good job of spreading, spreading the tasks around and making sure that everyone gets to do their own bit. No one's too overworked, I don't think. No, I'm, I'm assuming I know that this team, my team over here, I think they've done a great job, team of three. Yeah, um, well, indeed, as we watch uh, the cars get placed in, ready to go racing again, I'm liking the Ignite uh, candy stripe almost down it. So it almost looks edible. Was that a deliberate make the car look edible? Uh, no. <laughs> Okay, that's fair enough. It's just my mind working. Okay, all right. Uh, and uh, did you get to test the car? Because the, the previous team that were just sat where you were didn't get to test it, bolt racing. So you've had extensive testing of this car? Not extensive, but we did take it to events for like steam and heat events. We also went outside, uh, for example, our city center, and we had it around, and yeah. That's really it. Not a lot of testing, but we had a bit of testing, which is advantageous to us. Yeah, definitely advantageous. Well, let's go trackside then to get the racing underway in the other lane. And there it is, straight into the bubble wrap. It goes, seems to work perfectly there, so that's good. We're getting a live update of the bubble wrap. It's the pink bubble wrap. Don't often get the pink bubble wrap. It's done its hard, job. Yeah, hard to find. That bit's, that bit's come off like coral. Uh, and let's see. Uh, okay, so uh, that is the third race, a 0.162 reaction time. We've seen a very, very quick time of a 1.39, uh, 0.139 that is. And, and that is the track time of 1.293 for Kronos Racing. So that will improve their time as they move up the board, the team from Scotland, and a 1.410, no change then for Ignite underscore and see. So we really want to get that faster time now, just to maybe get into that top 16, bit of bragging rights, where we can find out right now. So let's go trackside to see what the teams can do. Seemed a lot quicker in lane two than a previous race. So fingers crossed as we see that at one point 3-7-0, so no, no improvement. They stay at 25th, Ignite, underscore NC, but a very quick reaction time from Kronos Racing. So that is how it will stay on the leaderboard. So no movement there, Amy. No, I think Kronos will be happy with that. No breakages, the bubble wrap seemed to work, but you tell me, you happy with how the car performed? Yeah, I think so. Uh, yeah, it was good. And were you expecting it to be that fast? Uh, I think it's a bit faster than our regional one, which is good. So. That's what we like to hear, designs making improvements. Yeah? Yes, we do. All right, so what does the rest of the day have in store for you now then, Ignite? Well, we'll go a bit for car service, have a team chat, see what we can do, and yeah, move on for the rest of the day. 
Love it. Well, listen, great to chat to both of the teams. We'll let you uh, vacate from the match area, the race area. Uh, you can enjoy the rest of your day. I've got to bring on another team now. Uh, absolute pleasure. Don't forget those suitcases. Don't leave any bags unattended. Um, <laughs> yeah, you too. Thank you very much, guys. Uh, there you go. Now, here is my next team that I'm going to uh, announce. Yep. To come in. Now, I'm going to go with Aloy Swift Motorsport. That is a question. Oh, someone's go back. Oh, he's got back. Oh, oh you've got to get the bubble wrap. Bubble wrap. Don't forget the bubble wrap. Other people have that. Some people like to pop the bubble. Anyway, he's gone. <laughs> so, uh, Aloy Swift Motorsport. They are joining me. There's spray in the hands. Everything is ready. Come and join me on the this, on this side there. Am I saying the name right? Uh, Eloy. Eloy, of course. You can sit, th these, are, these chairs are for you. Now imagine if I was to tell you, no, all your teammates can stand, but you can't. There he goes. Wait, who have you sent down there, Terry? Yeah, Terry. Terry. Uh, Terry's gone down there for the car collection. Uh, how did he get this job? Good CAD design. Okay, good CAD design, gets in there. Uh, please introduce yourself uh, to everybody. So I'm Gabe Cooney, I'm project manager here at Eloy Swift. I'm Charlie Mogg, I'm the marketing manager. Uh, I'm uh, Sai Kassam and I'm the manufacturing engineer. I'm Chris Badani, I'm the graphic designer. And who is your driver? Uh, Siddharth Anand and uh, Terry's the design engineer. Terry! Uh, Terry's at the other end, uh, so we know Terry's at the other end. Uh, and you are on your own at the moment. I don't see another team coming to join. But what's going on here? It's just, they're on their own. We're on the last race of the development class, Tom. This is the last one. Have we saved the best till last? That's what we want to know. I hope so. I guess we'll find out. Uh, and I see two pens in your hand. Uh, when are they going to be distributed to myself? And Oh, amazing. Thank you. I forced that upon you. Thank you. Here you go. And a business card. A business card. Thank you very much. Okay, so this will get me Terry's details for when I need my car collected. <laughs> Perfect. Well, this is it. Uh, we go to lane one then. So where have you travelled from to be here? Uh, from Birmingham, Sutton Coalfield. Okay, so not too bad of a travel. And have you enjoyed the competition so far? Yeah, it's been amazing. We've had such a good time. And who have you met? Has there been any other teams? You've transferred ideas, discussed everything. There are, you've got a biggest smile on your face. What's happened? There's gossip. Yeah, so uh, we've got another team here, Slipstream Motorsport. They're from our own school. So we've been uh, collaborating with a little, little bit. So you've been ganging up like two teams together, roaming around Leeds University. I like it. Well, listen, uh, let's chat no more because we want to go racing and see what happens. So there you go. I don't know who's come to join you, but someone was shouting, you've won. Um, <laughs> could you please name that person, please? I think it was Miss Bowen. Yeah. So she reckons you've won. Uh, I do, I don't, never like to tell a teacher when they're wrong, but uh, at the moment, you haven't won with that score. But being here in the competition, there's many areas that you can win on and get an award. Uh, where do you think you're most likely to win an award in this competition? Oh, we're not sure at the moment. Uh, we've worked really hard on our enterprise area, our pit display. Our verbal presentation was quite nice. Uh, we know that we're not the strongest on the track, but we've worked really hard elsewhere. And we're hoping we can bring it home there. That's all you can ask for. Well, your driver is ready to go, poised. So let's do this. There you go, crossing the line again. I see on your pit display, Amy's just pointed it out to me, uh, the brilliant co-host, Amy Martin. We co-host together. Um, you've got a solar panel going on there. What's, what's this about? Yeah, so our, our pit display is fully eco-friendly. It's powered using renewable sources, the solar panel. So it's it charged outside, as you can see on the top, and uh, we've powered a huge industrial battery, which is powering the lights and the rotating display. I was just watching, admiring the work of Terry there. Uh, he went past, he even, he even looked at the camera as he did, as he went past, so uh, great stuff. So that's totally eco-friendly, that bit display, and you're very proud of that, I, I can see by your face. Yeah, definitely, we worked really hard on it. And Terry gets a bit of camera time. Terry, <laughs> Terry, Terry, give us a wave, yay! <laughs> Terry, that's great. What was Terry's uh, role on the team? What was he doing, CAD, you said? Yeah, so Terry's our design engineer, he designs our cars, and Cy here tests them. To manufacture the cars 
and uh, I do also research around the cars, so I help Terry with designing as well. And how do you think the designs are faring at the moment? I think there could be, and I know there is for a fact, a little bit of a breakage there. Uh, Sam Chapman, go and find out. Uh, that is your role now, uh, part of the team. Sam's going to give us a live update from behind the screen. I could have asked you, Amy. I could have gone myself, to be fair. I think but... it's the tether line. Yeah, okay. This sign language is it not is as good as what line. we're used to. No. <laughs> but to be honest, we didn't have a team briefing, did we? We didn't go through uh, the rules. Uh, what, is, what other ones can we test with Harriet down at the other end? Uh, this is a big moment. Uh, what is, we've got breakage. We know breakage because Lily's shown us breakage. We've got the, the wheel, the front, front wheel. Front wheel. Oh, oh, she's given a pass on that one. Uh, rear wheel. Rear wheel. Any of the wheels. Is it a shoulder? Oh, they don't, is it yeah, shoulder? It's a shoulder one. Ah, oh, okay. And, so then the, and then the leg is the... Oh, look, we're giving away the secrets to Ah, oh, no, it's happening. Telling everyone. <laughs> okay, because then they will know. So we're seeing a live update now. And we're seeing your driver is also going straight in to fix the car as well. Would this be a role for any of you, but you're just watching at the moment? We're watching on TV. You get glued to it, don't you? Nobody matches Terry's, Terry's uh, management skills on the track. He's gone. We didn't even see him go. He's that quick. Uh, Terry was down there and he's back there fixing. What's going on, Sam? What have you noticed? Yeah, yeah it's, as you say, it's a tether line guide's fallen out. So it's, it's a traditionally used uh, in development class, a, a designated part where you screw it in and normally you just put a dob of super glue in it and it holds it in place. So I think it'll be a pretty easy fix. Okay. And in terms of the times down the track, will it, will it affect at all if it's been glued in? I mean, it's been screwed back in at the moment, twisted in. But what would we expect to see the difference? I think realistically it's going to be the exact same. Maybe a tiny bit extra weight, but like so minuscule that's not going to that's not going to affect it. Okay. All right. Well, Terry's back in position almost, and uh, we've got the driver back on the track, ready to get going. So, uh, have you done all your thank yous? Anyone to to thank out there that you haven't thanked? Yeah, we've got to thank our two teachers, Miss Bowen and Miss Gregory. Uh, we wouldn't be here without them. Uh, also, our t uh, school's other team, Slipstream, they've supported us all the way. Oh, I see Slipstream. I haven't, yes, yeah, with Slipstream. We've had a little chat with them, uh, so in the Slipstream area. Uh, they've gone for hats. You didn't go for hats. Was there a particular decision? Terry's got it. So Terry's got it. Oh, yeah. Terry's bringing it back. Any opportunity for some camera time, Terry is there. <laughs> Look at this. He doesn't muck about. Terry, give us a bow, give us a bow. No. Oh, he's done a bow as well. Terry, Terry, take your hat back. Come on, mate. There we go. Terry, thank you so much. That's a lovely hat. I don't want you to get all of the sun down that, on your eyes at all. There you go, Terry. So um, a lot of fun uh, getting here to the competition. Um, would you like to go on to the world finals? What would it mean to you? No. That you're 100%. Yeah, 100%. We'd love to go to Worlds. It would be dream come true for all of us. All right, well, listen, keep those fingers crossed. We can go racing. Best of luck to your driver. This is the last race of development class. <laughs> now I understand why your teacher, Miss Burns, says you won because there was no other car in the other lane. That makes a lot of sense. I thought you meant just in general, overall, but no. <laughs> a lot of stuff there coming through. It takes time. Hey, sometimes, you know, you can't rush to these ideas. Uh, Elo Swift, best time so far is 1.378. And that will not beat it at the moment, but a very, very quick reaction time. So one more opportunity. Um, Amy, I'm just curious. Uh, there's a fridge underneath the start gate area, or just the start bit. What's in there? The gas canisters? And that's to make sure that they're all at the same temperature throughout the, same, throughout the day. Because okay. as you remember, in Silverstone, it was very, very hot in the morning, very hot in the afternoon, and then kind of like mellowed out a little bit. Not, not very much. Mm. Um, but that can affect how, um, how the gas is in the canister. So people think it might give you a little slight advantage. So sometimes there was talk of having heated gloves so the person at the end could pick it up and heat up the, the chamber a little bit. No, that is... Yeah. All oh, those little extra details. So the uh, fridge is being loaded with gas canisters. No uh, cans of fizzy drink or any other beverages are being put in that fridge. That is for gas canisters only. Uh, that is a reminder for everybody. That wasn't covered in Tom Milner's health and safety briefing this morning. But there you go. Amber's just stocking uh, the gas canisters. We're just waiting 
to get going. And we're all ready to go. Here we go. I like the rockets on the front. They're very cool design. And I saw some, something come flying off here. I'm just even going to go look myself. Uh, something came flying off the track. A sticker. A sticker came flying off. That is a live feed. Uh, you can't quite see, Amy, but it's coming through. That sticker's come flying off. I-M-E-T. Does that mean anything to you? It's not That's theirs. What? Mystery. Where's oh. that come from? Sabotage. There was tra someone attempted to sabotage on the track. Yeah, well, we'll find out. Terry brings the cars back. Guys, uh, four races, uh, a 1.400. Uh, so your best time is a 1.378. Final thoughts before we say goodbye to you and the development class. Oh, it wasn't what we wanted, but we'll take it and uh, we're having a good time. And that's all, that's, that's all that matters. Yeah, as long as you're having fun uh, and pushing yourself and working as hard as you can, you've definitely done that. Terry's been extra running up and down with his Nike trainers. Uh, he is ready to go. Uh, guys, uh, Eloy, uh, Swift, uh, an absolute pleasure to meet you. Enjoy the rest of the day, whatever you have in store, and we'll see you again tomorrow. Thanks. Take care. Thank you very much for the pen as well. Uh, loving that and a business card. Sabotage on the track. Yes, I think what we actually saw fly off there, I knew they had a broken rear wing. Ah. So there might be a little bit of fixing needed tonight before they can race tomorrow. Mm. So there you go. Development class, the fastest times. Uh, we're looking at the main stage here at Leeds University. But CHS Comet are your sort of number one team at the moment, followed by Exhausted Racing and Tachyon. And I'll be honest, I'm pretty tired. After getting through that development class, a lot of teams uh, to get through. But we now move on to the pro class, the professional class. So, uh, Amy, what do I need to know? What's the difference between a development class and a professional class in essence? In essence, the development class is meant to be an easier one to enter first. So it's a little bit less regulation. It's a little bit um, a bit heavier of a car. Um, and there's uh, some slight changes. I think Sam would be the best person to give details. Okay. Um, and then you go to the professional, hopefully when you've been in development for a year, and it gives you just a little bit of a, a better springboard, hopefully, to do a little bit better. Okay. Well, I will be having to the side next to me uh, at 2.30. So we've got a little bit of a gap now, a 20-minute gap. So we can either chat to Sam, fill a bit of time. That's maybe what we'll do. Maybe we've got a explainer video to show. But yeah, moving on to that professional class, Sam, uh, just to bring us up to speed on that. So mentioning the differences in the development class and professional class, is there something to do with weight as well? Yeah, so I think professional class is 50 grams. I think uh, development class is 60 grams. But then in terms of just the design generally, professional class is you're trying to get the absolute most out of a car possible. So you've got the, the virtual cargo, almost like a, a triangle shape has to fit within the, the body somewhere. Whereas the development class, it's a much bigger sort of like, almost like a, a chassis that has to fit within. So all the cars are very similar shaped in development class and you add on to something. Whereas professional class, you build around something and you try and squeeze it in, but as, as tightly packaged as possible. That's the best way I'd describe the difference between the two. Okay, all right, a lot of analogies there possibly could be used. Um, so Amy, did you do development class and then move on to the professional class? Um, no, I went straight into professional class for my first year. When I was competing, which was quite a long time ago, um, they had a bloodhound version, which was a little bit of a simpler version, and then they had entry class and then professional. But I went straight into professional and very luckily got through to Worlds on my first attempt. Okay. So that I was lucky in that sense, but I uh, wouldn't have had it any other way. Okay, well, there you go. So we will get to the professional class very shortly. Um, and, uh, and maybe we'll have a training video. Maybe Sam could ask uh, back there whether we'll go to that or we'll just keep on chatting. That would be amazing uh, for me because uh, the first race that we will have is Team Epoch and uh, Tech Tonic from St. Olaf's Grammar School. Now, we have had many teams uh, competing from the same school, and that is the first uh, double up of um, primary, sorry, uh, development class, St. Olaf's. We had Tachyon, Inferno, and Tori Veloce, and then we'll have Tectonic. So, does that help? Because when you went straight into professional class, you didn't have someone to emulate to, did you? Yeah, we were thrown in right in the deep end. So, we had to build the team from the ground up. Um, and yeah, like you said, it's less pressure because no one knows how it's going to perform. But um, 
it's diff it's difficult for other teams that sometimes to just jump in. I know that a lot of the development teams we had this morning, it was their first time competing, and I think that that class is the best to kind of get a, a nicer start, a shallower start into the competition. Okay, all right, yes. So we will find out uh, what's going on. Uh, Sam, you have a little area over there on your, it's not touch screen, is it? It is touch screen. No. Uh, is it because at one World Finals, you were told it was touch screen, and then you played around with a screen that wasn't touch screen. Probably one of my favorite moments ever of F1 in schools. Uh, it was a delight to watch. Is this genuinely touch screen? It is. <laughs> I it know. Is. I love this. So what, what have you got? What have you made for us, Sam? Yeah, so I've been looking into the um, the World Finals regulations for the coming uh, the coming World Finals. So it's probably the biggest change that we've seen in car design ever in F1 in schools. If you looked at the regulations for years, it's been that that same red car has been on the uh, throughout the throughout the document. But this time they've had to completely redesign a complete new car. So Willie and Gary Anderson have been working hard together, and they've come up with this. So I thought now would be potentially a good idea to to have a look and and compare to see what the differences are. So. This is essentially what, uh, what Willie and Gary have come up with. Their idea in being to make it look more like a Formula One car than, than ever before. If we look, we can take a closer look at more, more areas in detail. So I've started off with the front wing here. I'm gonna work through different, different parts of the car. The front wing being a multi-element design for the first time. So lots of teams try and include multi-elements in their front wings. So one to, to normally meet the regulations and then a second area where it sort of scoops the air up and over the front wheels or out and around or to create downforce or lift. This is now within the regulations, there is a, a way to ensure that what you're doing meets the regs. So as you can see, the three elements here will all act as almost as one element. So the measurement for, all, for the cord length will be from back to front of the three, ensuring though that from top down, there is still an air gap between each of the elements. And it's the same with the thickness. The calipers will just go on either side, and the thickest point is the, is the thickness that will be taken. As well as that, the nose cone identification's changed. Um, so that means that in front, of the, in front of the front wheels, that's where the nose cone has to exist. It can't now be part of the wheel support system, uh, which is just helping with, with sort of definitions, because so many teams in the past have been mixing wheel support and front wing and aerodynamic features. So it's a, it's a way to try and restrict that. Finally, the, the, repla uh, the replacement challenge is an optional thing that for this World Finals where you'll have a, a 60 seconds to change the change of front wing um, and the fastest time will be entered into an award. So it's, like, it's a free award for, for the team that is willing to put the most time into it, basically. Moving on to the next part, let's look at the halo. This is probably the most interesting part of the new, of the new regs. This is something that I think is probably going to be the hardest thing for most teams to implement. So, I think it's imagined that it'll be a 3D printed part. However, it's completely up to you what you make it out of, as long as it is the standard part. So that will be checked uh, vigorously by Willie. There's different gauges that he's using to make sure it fits from top down, from side on, uh, and from front on. And then this halo is incredibly important. Obviously, the halo in F1 is, is a safety thing. So it'll be the same uh, here, where two kilograms of mass will be placed on the, on the notch in the, in the halo. This height is one that I find to be especially important when I've been looking at the regulations because it's plus or minus one millimeter and I'm not completely sure what that will be used for, but the fact that that's a specified height, that will change everything. So in the manufacture time, uh, sorry, in the CAD design, you will, I mean, hopefully design it to 34 plus or minus one millimeter, but then also in manufacture, you need to ensure that those holes that you're putting in for your wheels are in the right place to ensure that that is 34 plus or minus one. Next, I was looking at the length in the wheelbase. This is where the definitions have changed massively. So in the past, the minimum wheelbase was 100. Now it's been increased to 120 to 140. Same with the, the width. The, it's gone from a maximum of 85 to a minimum of 65, maximum of 85. So that means that cars are going to be wider, and it means that wheelbases are going to be longer. As well as that, over the front of the, the front wheels is now going to be uh, called the overhang, and over the rear of the rear wheels is also going to be called overhang. So this dimension here is going to be 
uh, between 30 and 40, and at the same at the back, 30 and 40. So that'll mean that the overall length of the cars are going to go up from minimum of 170 to minimum of 212 if you interpolate all the regulations together. And in the same way, they could be now 232 millimetres long. So increasing the, the width and increasing the length implies a much heavier car, in my opinion. The wheels as well are another area that have been changed. So as I was mentioning earlier, there's been a crackdown on the on the, the wheel support system. So now in front of this line, essentially, is where front wing will be. So the nose cone and front wing. And then inside the red area will be the wheel support system. There's also going to be a safety test, which is something that I think a lot of teams are going to have to think hard about, because wheels are the part that comes off most often when you're track testing, other than maybe the rear wing. Uh, but the wheels are going to actually have a, a mass put on them. So the car will be held in this orientation, and then a mass will be pulling onto the wheels to make sure that they don't just pop off. They also have increased sizes as well. Virtual cargo, again, a, a more basic change has now got wider, as you can see. Um, and something that I've noticed when I've been doing scrutineering uh, this year is that this has to be clearly displayed, so coloured in and dimensioned within, um, within the, the engineering drawings. So that could be dimensioned from a line, so say from the front axle back to say where it's supposed to be, as well as the actual dimensions itself. The rear wing, again, multi-elements are allowed. So you're allowed two, three, four, as many as you want. It'll still be measured in the same way as the front wing. Uh, but then an important one is the maximum wing height deviation being 15 millimeters. So this will be, in this case, you go from the top of the wing here up to the top of the wing at that point there. And that has to be maximum 15 millimeters. So a lot of teams in the past have dragged the wing all the way around like that and followed the shape of the body. But that won't, it's allowed as long as the way I've read it, it's allowed as long as the 15 millimeters of vertical movement still accounts for the entire span of the wing that fits in the regulations that way. No. Microphone might have gone. No, it's back. What else? Team numbers on the car, a pretty basic one, but the same as the F1 in school stickers. They're regulated to be certain sizes. Uh, visibility from top down changes, so that's areas where you're not allowed to design into have changed. Track, start gate, and finish gate elaboration. There's now a, a significant element in the in the um, the re rules and regulations that say where the beam is, how you cut the beam, and I think that's especially important for teams who want to make sure that the front point of their car is cutting the beam. Uh, but then what's the same? It's still 50 grams. So I think that's a lot of uh, a lot of information and a lot of changes that still have to come within the same weight. Hi. Can I just say a massive round of applause for Sam Chapman for explaining the regulations uh, from me. Thank you very much. Uh, Sam, excellent work there. Look at that. It was a mini TED talk. I enjoyed it. Did you expect it to be that long as a, uh, when you were looking at the regulations? Yeah, I, I, I think uh, Willie was showing us pictures of the car and I didn't know how he was going to put it all into one document. And I think the document is still fairly like bite sized in the same sort of way, but I think it means that so much is going to change for, for teams. So lots of teams have car designs that they've got in mind that they've worked through for years, and now it's a complete start again for them. So and, I that's and I guess, exciting. Amy, that's where that sort of controversy comes, where teams are like, I've been working towards something, it all goes out the window. But isn't that the whole point of the competition, like taking an idea and then yeah. extrapolating I it? Mean, it's a shake-up of the grid. And I think we've seen it in F1 itself that as soon as there are big regulation changes, the grid can change completely. Who would have thought a couple of years ago that Aston Martin would be this this high up? So, I mean, there's a lot of, a lot of changes. And I think this is a way to kind of mimic real-life F1 in that you can be working so hard for so long and then a regulation change and you have to start right from the beginning. Yeah, you just I'm excited need... to see. You just need an Adrian Newey. That's what you need, guys. Uh, get yourself one of them. Well, we're seeing uh, two teams uh, get put onto the track. So without further ado, uh, we are bang on time. Half past two, we were starting this. It's the start of the professional class. So I would like to welcome to join me on the side at Team Epoch, who are going to come and join me for the professional class. What? You've been sent in on your own. What is your name and, uh, and what is your role in the team? I'm Jasmine Jones. I'm the team manager of Team Epoch. Team manager, Jasmine. Lovely to meet you. Who is racing? Who is your driver today? We've got Jess as our racer. She's our resources manager. Resources manager. And who? And is that it? There can't be just two of you. That's not legally allowed. We've got Ellen as well. She's our design engineer. 
Okay, amazing. And where have you travelled from today? Denby High School, where is that in the... North Wales, Denbyshire, North Wales. Amazing. And there is a lot of Welsh teams out there. Have you been mingling? Have you been chatting to them, finding out how they're getting on? We have, yeah. It's been great seeing um, Team Tanwen. They seem really good. And Red Dawn Racing as well. They seem really good. Um, we were on Tanwen's TikTok, so... Oh, okay. They've been, they love a TikTok. They love a social media. And what is Team Epoch? What does it mean? Um, it's like the smallest amount of time possible. So in a computing context, it's zero hours, zero seconds, zero minutes. So like the smallest amount of time possible, basically. Okay, I love that as a description. Well, um, Amy, have you got a team joining you? I have got Team Tectonic from St. Olaf's Grammar School joining me. Ah, oh, the familiar faces of St. Olaf's School. Here they come. Professional class. They've got a bit older. They're a little bit wiser now as they come, and they still sit as far away from you as possible, Amy. That is the style. That's what they do. It's okay. It's okay. I won't take it personally. Um, do you want to introduce yourself and the team? Yeah, sure. Uh, I'm Kishav, the design manager. I, yeah. I'm Pranav, I'm the manufacturing manager. I'm Koresh, I'm the sponsorship manager. And who have we got racing the car and who's at the other end? Uh, Arjun Dadav is our project manager and he's driving the car. And then we have Jay, who's our engineering manager, and he's uh, at the other end. All right, here we go then. Let's go racing. Best of luck to both teams. And away we go, very quick indeed. We have just swapped places, myself and Amy. The reason will become very clear in a second. So Tectonic getting the faster reaction time, but across the track, a 1.141 for Team Epoch. Very good indeed. So reaction time could improve uh, for Team Epoch, and that would help them in some way. Amy, why have we moved? We've moved because this is my old school, Tom. Okay. Good old Denby High. They were the ones who supported me when I was in F1 in schools. And Go on. My teacher still still does this competition. I was gonna I was gonna say which teachers are still there. Ask if they're the same ones. There's a, there's a lot of them that supported us, but we know for a fact Mr. Jones is the one that's here with everyone today. And then we've got my old physics teacher, Mr. Breeze. He still does quite a bit. Mr. Freeze, as Mr. in from Breeze. like The Incredibles. Mr. Breeze. Okay, Tom. good. All right. Uh, we could go racing again, I believe. Uh, it, so we could go track side in just a moment, but uh, Team Epoch, uh, Tectonic, what are we making or taking from that? Are we looking at breakages here in lane one that's not to you? That's kind of, you feel a bit relieved with that. Um, I mean, yeah, I, I mean, kind of just focusing on our own race. I mean, yeah, I'm not really sure to think about the breakage. I think there's more races, so, you know. Yeah, exactly. So I'm seeing, we'll find out the latest on that, but we can go racing for our second race. So here we go. And same again. Is it a detachable part, Amy? Um, yeah, completely intentional. Okay. <laughs> intentional. Um, uh, yeah, there's a lot of sarcasm in that answer, and I respect it. <laughs> yeah, I think we can see that the rear wings just come off. Um, and that is, I say, the curse of Denby High, because the same thing happened to me a couple times. Um, who is it that's going to be fixing the car, Jazz? The design engineer, Ellen. So hopefully she's got that under control. <laughs> she, she looks calm. I'll say that much, and also a little bit flustered. Here we go. So she's heading down or bringing the cars back. That is what happens at the end of the track. One of the teammates will bring the cars back, hopefully see how extensive this breakage is, we can go again. Uh, Tectonic, thoughts on the speed, race, and everything that you've seen so far? Yeah, I mean, it was, it was far, obviously faster than the first race. Had a bit of clean air, so you know, hopefully we can just keep, keep going down. And have you been watching any of the racing today? Do you believe in the lane... Uh, either lane is a little bit quicker than the other. Do you believe in that uh, myth? Um, I would say I do. I, I don't think it's scientifically possible to have like both lanes absolutely the same. So, you know. There's plausible doubt there that the lanes will be exactly the same because it's very difficult to get the cars to be exactly uh, perfect. Uh, what was your strategy for trying to get the cars as equal as possible? Oh, wow. So there's definitely, you know, paint adding in very, very small amounts, one by one. You know, front wing, there's a lot of quality control. You have to do it both on the front wing, rear wing, wheel assembly. I think, yeah, just being critical at every step, I think, is the, is the key. And, and making sure there's nothing missed out. Uh, we're looking at the, the times here, uh, 1.18, uh, very quick indeed, Amy. But what did you notice from that break? Is it just that rear wing? 
It does seem like it's just a rear wing. Hopefully it's a glue fix, but we've got the same issue is that as soon as you start adding glue to it, you start adding weight and there's a, there's a flaw in the structure at that point. So hopefully they can fix it and still get some good times. That's if lane two is the quicker one. If it is indeed the quicker one. Uh, and we are going in there now. Uh, I don't know why I'm going closer to the screen as if that's going to help me. Um, but uh, yeah, we've got an uh, update there, the breakage being made. Luke, it, yeah, and it looks like Superglue being, oh, this is a big moment. Will those nails be a factor? Will they get in the way? Any uh, shout outs for anyone to say thank you for being here, getting you here? Yeah, Mr. Jones is here with us, who helped Amy as well, uh, Team Tachyon. Um, Jody as well, Miss Cameron, the technician. My parents are sat over there as well. <laughs> what? Parents as well? Oh, they're giving me a wave at the moment. So they've come along and uh, they've given up their time to make sure that you're Look, looked after. Two days off work. Two days off work for this. So if you don't <laughs> win an award. I might be kicked out. Yeah, you might be kicked out. Okay, I didn't say it. I didn't say it. I doubt that very much. They look like lovely, smiley people. So that's all, all good. Have they been able to help in any way, your parents? Because, you know, every day you're working on your own schoolwork and then adding that extra element of F1 in schools. Really, yes. My mum also bought us quality streets and picked out all the pink and blue ones. So our pit display is all thanks to her. <laughs> so that's what we can expect on your pit display? Yes. Okay, uh, Tectonic, what can we expect? If I went over to your pit display now, what have you got there that would entice me over? Well, we've got a lot of our team history over the, over the past years, starting from entry class to dev class, and obviously now uh, professional. Um, we've also got uh, all of our cars on display from the previous years. Uh, we've got some roller banners uh, about, the, uh, about our give back, give back schemes and our sustainability. Uh, programs uh, and yeah there's also some nice uh, origami that Arjun has created. Origa I got some origami from uh, a team earlier on HMR head who gave me a, the, the hammerhead shark it's incredible bit of origami so you've got origami as well and, and where have you traveled from in the UK? Uh, we've traveled from Orpington Kent um, from obviously St. Olav's uh, we've got six other teams uh, five other teams here today so it's a very exciting experience for all of us. Yes, the first uh, team in professional class, also in professional class, Golden Motorsports and Protonic. Uh, how have you got on with them? Has it been a sharing of uh, ideas or has it been a clash of differences? Uh, I think in our school, we're definitely, we definitely all work together. However, there is a bit of rival as everyone wants to win. Uh, and I'm seeing a little bit of a breakage here for your team as well. Superglue is out. Never like to see this, uh, but it's been applied there to the to the rear wing, isn't it? Yes, uh, I think at this point of time, there is not much that we can do. We just have to accept it and see how we can just take the positives from, from here. Yeah, you, you sort of hope um, that uh, that will help the time at all uh, of your car, but sort of unliked at this stage, but still setting a 1.186. Uh, what did you get in regionals? Is that about the right sort of time that you'd expect? Yeah, that's, that's a, somewhat similar to our original's time. Hopefully, I think, with a, maybe a good reaction time and uh, hopefully some things can go away, we can maybe get a couple of uh, uh, a better time in the, in, in the... And has there been any um, teams that you've met that aren't from St. Olav's at grammar school that you've chatted to, got along with so far today? Just to give a shout out to them while they might be listening. Uh, I think we've been very busy today, actually, uh, very uh, hands-on schedule, so not much time to communicate much, but maybe after, uh, maybe, maybe tomorrow even, when we have a slightly less uh, pack today, we can have a, some conversations with the other teams. So you basically had a very hectic schedule. They haven't been able to connect with anyone else that isn't St. Olav's Grammar School. I wonder, I was going to count then, uh, you've got, yeah, Three, there's six, six teams from St. Olav's Grammar School. I think they win it today for the amount of teams from one school. So they're sort of dominating. Um, have Epoch met anyone else that aren't from their school? Um, only here today. It's been great to see everyone today. But um, no, not other than that, no. So we've got a not a chatty year 
so far. I mean, I've seen a lot of these teams being very busy on social media, so I think a lot of them have been messaging beforehand. I've seen, especially Epoch, because obviously I follow them as well. Um, I've kept an eye on their countdowns, but like I said, Red Dawn Racing, another one from Wales, that they, they keep very active on social media. So I think a lot of people have kind of connected through that as well. Yeah, I was checking out some of the social media. Brilliant to see. Uh, we are very close to going racing. So uh, here we go. Let's hope, let's keep those fingers crossed that all of the car stays intact this time. And if not, there'll be a bit of extra time. All right, we're ready to go. Best of luck. And I'm seeing a rear wing detached from Epoch again. That's what I can work out there. Harriet uh, from Robert May School, who is part of Nightingale team, heading to the world finals in Singapore. Seeing the start there. Never like to see that. What's the uh, signage for rear wing? I, I was going to think, I don't, is it that one? Is it just the, the, the single arm? We haven't know. seen it. Oh, does, does, oh, yeah, I'm right. It is, it is isn't it? It's a single arm. Is Lily just making that yeah. up? She's going to make us just dance yeah. at some yeah. point. She's, she's fine with it. She thinks that's it. <laughs> well, there you go. Uh, third race out of four. We have our fourth to go now as we get everything set up at the end in the deceleration zone. And there we go. So just to confirm, lane one, your tectonic crossing first. That's what it says on the start gate, but there's a breakage there. I'm seeing the signal. Now even the cameraman, everyone's getting another rear wing. Rear wing is literally just doing that to us. So it's saying, hurry up. Uh, 0.161 for Team Epoch. So a very fast reaction time again from the teams and at one point, one, six, three. So no improvement on that incredible time of 1.18 set. But the cars come back. Get the final thoughts from both teams then, Amy. Yeah, happy with how the car performed? We are very happy, yeah. Do you think it's going to stay on top for the rest of the afternoon? Hope so, hopefully. We'll see. On. Confident, yeah, it's going to. Confidence is key. Tectonic, um, they're in a sort of bit of a team meeting. Driver, you did brilliantly there. Happy with everything? Uh, yeah, I mean... I could have gone a bit faster, but I think I did okay, considering. Yeah, and uh, obviously, looking at the times, there's only two teams yeah. so far for the professional class, uh, so a difference of 68 thousandths of a second. But, uh, but overall, happy. What happens now for the rest of the day? Uh, I mean, we still have our d and and Enterprise to do, but we've done our Bible press. So I think once we get those two done, we can kind of relax a bit more, get to know the other teams, and get prepared for tomorrow. Well, can I say this politely? You haven't got time to be talking to me. You need to get going. Uh, Team Tectonic and Team Epoch, thank you very much. Uh, they'll head on out of here, doing a great job, setting the standard for the professional class. Do you want to stay this way? No, you didn't like it. We're like Ant and Deck, we have sides. <laughs> okay, uh, there you go. Nice to see Team Epoch doing well. Yeah, obviously really happy. I'm, this is one that I'm going to be biased about and I'm not going to hide it at all. Um, I want them to go to the world finals, Tom. Just thought I'd let that sink in for a little bit. Right, from Sandback High School and Sixth Form College, we have Sigma Racing. Sigma Racing are going to come and join me on this side. Who have you got on your side? I Amy? have got a familiar face, Vega Racing. Vega Racing. Loving the team identity here for Vega Racing. And uh, how do you pronounce it from Vega Racing? What school are they from? Oh, uh, no. <laughs> you, Try to you said, stitch you said you were going to say this one. No, I don't think I was. I might just ask Vega Racing. There they go. So I will have on my side, I will have Sigma Racing coming to join me. Hi. Bye. <laughs> there you go. Hi. Nice to see you again. How are we? Uh, All good? Yeah, I think. <laughs> yeah, I think. Uh, what, what's making you unsure about whether you're okay? Is it the wobbly chairs? What is it? I honestly I don't know, but we'll find out in a bit if the racing goes well. If the racing goes well, does that make you feel better, more relaxed? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, so what have you done so far today? 
Uh, <laughs> we've had Should I move the question on? Is that... Please do. Uh, we've had the design and engineering, the pit display, and our verbal presentation. And they all went okay? As, be as best as they could? Yeah, as best they could, yeah. Okay. All right, now please, will you introduce uh, all of your team for me? Um, I'm Charlotte, I'm team captain. This is Rachel, she's our design engineer. And then we have Lara, our sponsor and marketing manager. And is that it in the team? Uh, no, so we have Imogen racing for us and then Jess is collecting the cars for us. And Imogen is uh, saying she needs help. Um, so here we go. So there's a breakage, I believe, already. Never like to see that from the box. I'm not entirely sure what that is. We'll get an update on that. But I believe that we've got Vega Racing, who've brought a mascot as well. She's the bear. But Oti's the bear. They are from Lin Linlithgow. 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 Yes, and we've met these before, Tom. No, I know. I know so we have. A familiar, uh, a familiar the, face. Yeah, the teachers are always there. And after every national final, regional final, I always get told off for saying the name wrong. So I'm just <laughs> gonna, just not going to say it from any, any, ever more. But for the sake of this time's audience, do you mind introducing yourself and your name as your team? I'm Evie, and I'm the graphic designer. This is Sally. She's the team manager. Kirsty, sponsorship manager and Clara, the marketing manager. <laughs> and who do we have racing the car and then collecting the car? Uh, we have Callum over there, our manufacturing engineer, and Joseph down there, who's the design engineer. So we've put the same thing again, all the girls up here, and we've put the guys collecting the cars. Same thing again, Tom. Boys doing the track work and the girls up here talking with us. And that's okay. That's absolutely fine. That's the decision they've decided and gone with. I'm um, liking the pieces and the, the hair, the extension, the add-ons. Can, can, can I have that explained to me? What's, what's happened here? So, um, Clara bought them without uh, consulting any of us so, and forced us to wear them, so here we are. <laughs> so there you go. There you go. Forced, I don't know, it's, it's, it's quite a strong uh, word. Um, did you have nail varnish at one point? Yeah, yeah but from last, from last time you could be it. There you go, I remember. Okay, I'm just going to, if you bear with me, Vega Racing, we'll talk nail varnish in just a moment. What's happened here? What's gone on? By the way, we love the shoes. The laces are incredible. They light up and everything. Um, yeah, the wheel fell off. Okay. They were putting it on track and it fell off. <laughs> That's not a great start. However, the fix, is it easy to fix? I mean, they fixed it and it works, so I'm hoping so. It's just been added to the track now. It seems to be moving okay. So this is, uh, I wonder what would have happened That is Is that like transportation? Well, I guess we'll never know. It just fell off when they were putting it on the track. Okay, all right. Well, I'll have, I'll have a word with the team Nightingale, aggressively uh, slamming cars down on the track. That needs to stop. We need to nip that in the bud. Um, guys, uh, any thank yous for people that have helped you get here today? Uh, yeah, we've got two teachers here with us, um, Mr. Massey and Mr. Hughes, and without them, so we wouldn't be here. So, yeah, them too. And what is the theory and thinking behind these awesome uh, laces? Because there's a one particular team, uh, Red Eagle Racing, I believe, who've got the longest laces. Uh, these are the coolest ones. Yeah, no, our past teacher, Mr. G, found them on a really random website, and we managed to find them in, in the tech suite, and now they're here with us today. All right, okay, a random website. You've got to be careful on those sorts of things. <laughs> very, very careful. All right, so what do we think about regionals and how fast your car can be on track? Uh, Rachel? <laughs> Um, we're hoping for some definite improvements since regionals because uh, we've made a fair few differences to the car, but honestly, we won't know till we race. So. Yeah. Oh, I like that, telling me to move away. Uh, you've asked the question. Well, I, I, I'm not sure about the detachable wheel, but let's see what happens for both of these teams. Best of luck. There it is, lane one, Sigma Racing, taking that race when they're a one point. One, three, four. Uh, so four thousandths of a second difference on the track time. Reaction time, very good for Sigma Racing. And just to remind everybody, Sigma uh, means what? Stress. <laughs> okay, it means stress. Okay, fair enough. All right, fair enough. Uh, we'll take that. Uh, so, uh, happy with what you've seen there for the first race? Yeah, it's a definitely improvement of last nationals. We're very pleased with that, I think. Okay, all right. So, an improvement, Amy. What about Vega racing? Yeah, how are we guys feeling about that race? Um, pretty good. The reaction time is very good. We've got Callum on track, so he's doing very well. 
yeah. Do you think you can go even faster? We hope so, yeah. So uh, Sigma Racing have won one out of four. How many do you think you're going to win? Oh, I mean, <laughs> I don't know. The rest of them. They're going to win the rest of them. I'm going to be impartial and say 50-50 on this. Uh, so Imogen is the driver. Why has she been selected as a driver? Can she handle the pressure? Yeah, and she's just simply the quickest when, on her reaction times. Simply the quickest. All right, well, best of luck to both drivers as we will go trackside. There you have it, lane one again for Sigma Racing, the faster of the two, or the first across the line, should I say, but uh, overall, five thousandths of a second. There, there's not much in between these two teams here on the car on the track, is there, Amy? Yeah, no, the other one was about four thousandths of a second, so I think this is the, the closest match we've got so far. I'm excited to see who comes out on top. Yes, indeed. Indeed. So with that, it makes it a one-all. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, I'm taking track time, Tom. Okay. One-all. All right. And then elegantly brought back from both teams, uh, who is the collector of cars and returner of cars? Uh, that's a... I've forgotten your job, sorry. <laughs> that's Jess. That's Jess. I've forgotten your job. That's Jess. All right. And is Jess supposed to be here? Yeah, she is. Okay. Well, all right. So there goes Jess. Why has she been selected to be the car collector and returner? She simply just wanted to do it. So. Well, that is, that's good enough as any reason, isn't it? You're right, Jess. There you go. <laughs> we'll find out what you do later on in the team as they swap over. But I'm seeing some breakages. Sam Chapman, give me the live. Head over there, Sam Chapman. Yeah, so it's, it's the rear wing has, has come off the... Uh, off the What's it called again? Vega racing car. So um, I, I saw it come off in the, on the first car, but the second car's all right. It's only held on, uh, glued onto a very small area on the top of on the top of the car, which is normally where you see the, the breakages happening. Um, but it's normally an easy enough fix. The glue is normally stronger than the foam. So the, where it's glued, it'll be all right. It'll be the foam that's tearing. All right, okay. Uh, I'm just uh, welcoming Jess. Uh, who shouldn't really be here, actually. Uh, that's what the teammates are saying. We're watching uh, a breakage. What, it, what, sorry, what was your role on the team, Jess? Uh, I'm the manufacturing engineer. And what are you noticing so far? What happened with the wheel? Were you a bit worried about that? The manufacturing engineer, the wheel did, wasn't even on to start the race. Um, Do you just like a challenge? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> uh, and what have you noticed about the competition at the Nationals? Uh, how does this differ from the last Nationals that you're in? Uh, I haven't been to nationals before. This is my first time with the team, so. <laughs> what was that like? So they'd already had that experience and then you come on to the team. Was that an easy transition? Uh, yeah, the team have made it really good, so it's really good. Okay, and uh, in terms of your personal growth and development, what have you learned about yourself that you didn't know before you started competing in F1 in schools? Um, I'm good at teamwork. <laughs> All right, you heard it here first. Good at teamwork. And you don't know unless you join a team and start working in a team. What did you learn about yourself, Amy? Number one. Uh, I'm a bit bossy. Okay. <laughs> Get a little bit too stressed sometimes. Okay. I know exactly how all of these competitors are feeling because as soon as your car breaks, you get a sinking feeling. You think, oh, how am I going to fix this? I remember uh, when we were in Silverstone, my second nationals, our front wing all came off and it was absolutely roasting in there. Mm. And I was stressed trying to glue on a front wing of a car. And there's a brilliant photo of me panicking, crying, Tom. Panicking and crying, Amy, I, I don't think I've ever seen before. So we're watching here, uh, try, uh, not in any way, shape or form making light of this, but this is a, a high pressured situation. You've got to get that glue on. You've got to fix the wheel as quickly as possible. Is there a time limit? Um, yes. At I Worlds, think, yeah, I definitely. At Worlds, there was a definite time limit. I'm not sure how things are being run this time, but I think there is meant to be 30 seconds, because as you remember, I also broke Sam's car at Worlds and I had the 30 seconds to fix it. Sam as in Sam over there? His car, yeah, I broke the wheel off it. Well, uh, why did you do that? Is that sabotage? Were you being bossy? Uh, you couldn't deal with the pressure? 
couldn't deal with everyone saying that they were the better team. Oh, yeah. Don't ever say that to uh, uh, Amy uh, under any circumstances. Well, uh, both teams, uh, car collectors at the other end of the track have gone back. I think it was a hubcap that needed to be put on there, the, the cap of the, the, the wheel. So hopefully, fingers crossed, uh, that'll be running smoothly again. Uh, Sam, uh, I just heard that Amy sabotaged and broke your car. What, what was going through your mind at the time? But th this was when we were on telly, the, the virtual world. We brought the car just as a, a come on, have a look. Do you want to have a look at the car, Tom? Amy picks it up and drops the wheel off immediately. <laughs> uh, there's no need for that, is there? But there wasn't. It was it better looking than her car. Yeah, we're supposed to be working as a team, and then someone does that to you. Exactly. First time I met as well. Unbelievable. All right, well, look, laces are glaring. We've got the hair add-ons that have been forced upon the Team Vega. What was your theory behind that? I'd, I'd like to know, Amy. Um, well, it was on Amazon. I just searched up <laughs> pink. Um, and that was the first thing that came up. Well, I, yeah, one of the first things. And so I just ordered it in my English class and then told no one until after school. Don't tell the English teacher that she was on Amazon during her class. <laughs> yeah, just made that very clear. What school again was it? English? No. Uh, Amazon, that's your first mistake. You're very quick to be on there. But it looks great. And even your teachers have got on board. Uh, there's a kilt uh, being thrown about. I don't think that's an expression I've ever used before. Uh, but your teacher, who are the teachers again? Mr. Marshall and Miss Shaw. Okay, Marshall, Shaw. Uh, here we go. We can go racing. Let's go trackside. Best of luck to both teams. So there you have it. Uh, 0.169 reaction time from Vega Racing. Very quick indeed from Callum. Callum with one L, just in case anyone was curious about the lettering of his name. And then Imogen with a 0.185. Very quick indeed. Uh, but for the track time, what does it do? Does it affect the times? Uh, a 1.142. So for Vega Racing, uh, that is not an improvement, nor is it an improvement for Sigma Racing. But they have one more race to go. Best of luck to both teams here. As we are seconds away from getting everything sorted. And it is lane one, Vega Racing taking out. So I believe that is a 3-1. It's 3-1 in terms of wins. We can just double check. I was the only one that had faith in Vega Racing. They all said they didn't know. Oh. Yeah, 3-1 to Vega Racing. Are you guys happy with that performance? Yeah, really happy. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. a... 1.115, incredibly uh, quick time there, and then a 1.167. So good times from both of the teams. We'll see what that does for the leaderboard very shortly. But Jess brings back the cars. How are we feeling? Um, Sigma Racing. And they're very happy with those times. So see, it's a big, quite a big improvement of last time that we were here. So yeah, no, quite happy. So that steady improvement. You went away, you worked hard. The hard work pays off. Your team have now left. They've gone. Jess and Imogen, they've gone. They've said goodbye. That's it. They're done. Uh, what happens now? They're, they're desperate to get somewhere else. What, what's next for you? Uh, I don't actually know. We need to check our time. Yeah, we need to check our time. <laughs> Do you know what? Double check to make sure. But great to chat to you again. We'll see you again tomorrow. Vega Racing looking very happy. Yeah, what have, guys, what have you got next, guys? Yeah. Yeah. The verbal's next. Are you excited about that? Yeah, really, actually. Oh, yeah, yeah, the team, very excited about verbals. Yeah, save your voices. I see that's a clear tactic there from Vega Racing. Well, say goodbye to both of the teams. All the best for the rest of the day. Great to see them again. And great to see two teams that we've spoken to before back again, growing in confidence, yeah. growing in that experience and knowledge and seeing the fruits of their labor of like performing and, and, and all the time that they've Yeah, I was saying it. it's, like, it's like the battle of branding. We have <laughs> so many fun, fun elements, both the teams. I've got laces. I've got hair. What are you going to do about that? Uh, quite a lot. Uh, Team Epoch still 
top of your leaderboard with a 1.09. So well done to them. I would like to welcome a team over here who have got a beach ball. Now that means there's going to be a lot of fun here for Sam, Amy and I. And Teres Motorsport from the Crip School are coming to join me all the way. Uh, familiar faces again, back again for another year. They're ready. They're pumped. They're zooped up. They look happy about everything. They've bought a flag. Um, Antares, am I pronouncing that correctly? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I would like that. Finally, a bit of respect on my name. I am a sir. It's good to see you. How have you been since I last saw you? Doing A-levels. That was fun. That was fun. You completed them? Yeah. Oh. How did, how did they go? Good. Uh, what, what did you study? Uh, physics, computer science, and maths. OK, and could you say it any faster? Physics, computer science, and maths. Exactly, you nailed that. Uh, well done. So please introduce yourself for everyone who hasn't met you before, uh, your team name, and who you are. OK, we are Antares Motorsport, hailing from the Crip School Gloucester. This is Josh, Sam, and Jacob. <laughs> and, and, and your driver, the spectacle wearing. <laughs> who? Oh, it's Geffen. OK, Geffen. And who, at the other end, have you got another driver down at the other end? Oh, he's gone back with a bag of some description. What is in the bag? How dare he go past without telling us what is in the bag? <laughs> Give it to Sam. All right, Sam, I'm going to come around. It's, it's a long story. It's our toolkit because DP Parcel Force, they basically threw our car to Leeds, so it turned up here in pieces. It didn't. No, it did. So we, we've had about half an hour to fix it, so we hope it goes well. But if not, we've got a whole bag of tools to fix it. All right, OK. I thought when you said there's a toolkit down there, I thought that was your teammate. I was like, that's very offensive. I don't know how to, I don't know how to deal with that as an interviewer. But anyway, uh, we've got another team to welcome up, Amy. We're going to welcome our good old friends from Robert May, Eternal. They're on my side. Oh, 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 oh. Here they come, heading through. Whoa, 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 whoa. I see a pair of sliders heading past me. That will be discussed at some point. No mucking about. That's a health and safety issue, trackside. That wouldn't be allowed. I think we can go racing, actually. So let's do that, and then we'll chat to the teams. It's quick, it's fast, and lane two, eternal. Like a flame, like an eternal flame. Uh, 1.122, two ones, two twos. If it was to go on any further, it'd be two threes. I'm just seeing the probability there. Of the anyway, so fastest across the line, eternal from most, but there is some breakages I am seeing which we don't like to see. Uh, and Parcel Force aren't here anymore, so I don't know if it's there for. But who have you got next to you, Amy? Yeah, we're not sure if that's from the Tunnel's car or not, but we'll find out. Do you want to introduce yourself and the team? Uh, yeah, I'm Ben, I'm the branding manager. Uh, this is Amy, she's our team manager. It's Matthew, um, you're our CAD engineer, and Megan, who is our scrutineer. And who have we got driving the car and who's collecting it? Smelter, our scrutineer, and Pratusha, our testing engineer, is collecting it. And uh, can we discuss the sliders? Is that something you want to talk about? Uh, yes. Yeah, go on then. Well, uh, it was a forfeit, essentially. It's nice, beautiful orange sliders. You made these? Uh, no, I didn't make them. OK. There's uh, really no excuse then. <laughs> oh, OK. Uh, we've been informed he didn't get on the minibus, so he had to wear the sliders. OK. Well, this is good. Well, this is learning. This is great. I think they look great. And they match your uh, wristbands as well. So well done on that. Uh, we'll get the latest on the breakage. Uh, Lily, which side was the breakage? OK, so it is the Robert May School. And what was it, Lily? OK, it was a rear wing as well. So that gives us a little update. But we are ready to race again. So let's go trackside and see what happens. Best of luck. as I'm getting a commentary over here at lane one, Antares, uh, Antares, uh, neck and neck is what one of the teammates say. It was neck and neck. It was neck and neck. And just crossing the line first uh, with all of those 13 thousandths of a second uh, is Antares uh, Motorsport. Uh, reaction time very quick indeed. And you're more surprised there were no breakages with your car. Well, I mean, why? Why are you surprised? You built this car. 
Well, I mean, this morning, definitely, when we were fixing the car by the pit display, we weren't uh, as confident as we were when we sent them off because of a certain company called Parcel Force. I've no, I, okay, yeah, okay. Um, and what happened here? It just sent them off and then it didn't quite arrive in pieces. So have you super glued it to the max? So what we think happened was Parcel Force decided to drop the package out of the plane without putting a parachute on. Okay. And it just hit the floor with that impact and broke. Uh, I mean, this is all speculation. So I just want to be very much on the for. I just want to be very much on the on the fence here. But this is this is purely an opinion. Uh, you're changing lanes. And what sort of tools have you got in the toolkit as your teammate? I can, I can do this. I mean, we've got everything you'd want, you know, the usual super glues, quick setters. We've, we've got an entire Dremel in there as well, as well as set of plier in a full bit. Because the problem is, is parcel force, they sheared our axles off. So we had to use a Dremel this morning to like bore out our axle support system. <laughs> so there you go. Uh, some of the team members there, uh, they've, they've been through it. It's about, uh, the F1 in schools is about being challenged to the max, dealing with adversity. Um, and uh, we're just seeing some fixes happening for Robert Mays. Um, did this happen in your regionals, guys? Absolutely not. Um, front wing was expected to break. It didn't, uh, but definitely not the back wing. I got told that was the one they expect that, that was not meant to break. Yeah, the back wing was not one that was thought to break. To be honest, the rest of it, yeah, fair enough, but not the back wing. <laughs> So a bit, a bit surprised over here, I think. Yes, maybe the sheer force of all the other components you thought were going to break combined together to, to sort of gang up, to gang up on that rear wing. Well, we're seeing uh, your teammate here uh, try shaky hands. What are the nerves? I mean, we're all watching them at the moment. Um, I'm going to ask Antares Motorsport about this beach ball. What's the theory behind it? Are we going to get maybe at the, the set award ceremony, everyone up on their feet trying to... Oh, there's a volleyball going on, right? <laughs> so what, what's the theory behind this? Well, um, my teammates thought it'd be a fun, just engaging way to get everybody involved. And, um, well, we had like 60 up there and they're all kind of gone. So I think people are enjoying them. <laughs> you had 60 and they've already gone? Yeah, they were inflatable. Oh, okay. So when, what have you brought myself and Amy? Not that you had to, just your presence. No, yep, yeah, thank you. That's what I'm talking about. There you go. Get it. And a flag as well. Okay, <laughs> this is amazing. I've just been told we have a lot more behind our pit display. Okay, so you, right, so we're getting to the bottom of the discussion. There are going to be more beach balls, but first of all, Antares, uh, before we can go racing again, uh, any thank yous you need to make to anybody out there? Oh yeah, our sponsors, MTP, Camworth, Porsche, um, Ontic. <laughs> There's a lot of them, they did a lot of work on us. Um, Seven Signs as well, thank you for fixing our sign, that was amazing, by the way. And yeah, all of the sponsors are just so lovely. It, it's been great to interact with them professionally as well, so obviously looking like this, talking like this, and working with them as um, a company rather than a set of students has been like the instrumental part, so we're really, really grateful. And I mean, we're ready. Have you had anyone else to follow, any other teams from your school to follow in their footsteps? Because I want to ask the Robert Mays uh, team over there, Eternal, because they've had quite a few teams to follow. Yeah, so um, <laughs> our team always goes with space names. So there was Cygnus before us, uh, Andromeda in January. Obviously, we, re we re yeah. rebranded. Even our regionals teams, we had two regional teams. Um, Cassini Racing as well, shout out to them. And Scenario 7 from the year before. So that, and I guess it all started for me with Luna Racing because I was just attracted to... Um, that team in F1 in schools way back when, I think it was like 2017 or 2016. So, and it goes back in Crips and we're really, really proud of all our teams. Uh, sort of definitely a heritage there. Well, we can go racing the third out of four races. Neck and neck, but I'm hearing a live update uh, from Antero's Motorsport that there was a breakage. I don't see a breakage per se, but I don't see anything has come off that vehicle. So we'll have a little update on that. We'll watch the replay. Do love a good replay. Here it goes, crossing the line. I'm just getting fears. Uh, said aloud. So what's it like, Eternal, to, to follow in the footsteps? You're, you're seeing another team trackside, Nightingale. Not great. That's what Eternal say. It's not great. Why is it not great? Surely that should help you. It, it is very helpful, but it's also quite intimidating, obviously, having some teams that have done amazing stuff. And then, obviously, being here, 
it feels a bit weird that the, like other teams from our sport have been here but also gone further. So it is a big thing to live up to because obviously it's Robert Mays. We've we've done quite well. So yeah, it's quite scary. It's, it, I guess it's quite difficult to make your own mark to say, oh, we're eternal, this is what we're about. We're not just a team about sliders. That's not what we're just about and breakages. <laughs> you can be, exactly, you, but you have to set the tone. You have to... Driver is also supposed to have a unicorn horn on. What? But we didn't want to distract, so we thought we'd be nice. Okay, that's fair enough. Or well, maybe tomorrow uh, we can use them. Let's go race it again for the fourth and final time between these two teams of Turner and Torres Motorsport. <laughs> neck and neck again. Got there before. One of the team from Matera's Motorsport said. And a 1.093, three thousandths of a second off uh, the current best time from Team Epoch all the way in Wales. But very, very good stuff there from Eternal, who were a pop group. Just thought I'd let you know. Louise. Fun fact. Means nothing. Cool. I'll keep quiet next time. Uh, 0.164 is the reaction time for Antero's Motorsport. So doing the best you can. Uh, that is your four races done and dusted. How are we feeling overall? Uh, pretty good. I mean, Gethin clearly got with one mind in the car, so he, um, he did his job. It's great. Oh, shout out to... Um, what was the other sponsor? <laughs> Bokka Bearings, Ontic, Celsius. Uh, loads of great stuff I just didn't mention. And Barnwood construction and shop thing, so it's been really good. Um, yeah, Gethin's done a really good job. Our car didn't smash into a million pieces, so I'm happy with that. Hey, listen, you'll take the wins where you can. Great to catch up with you guys. I'm sure I'll see you again soon. Best of luck with the rest of the day, whatever you have in store. Uh, Eternal, that's it. It's done. It's not Eternal. We have to say goodbye uh, to you. Till tomorrow. Well, thank you very much. Yes, uh, what does the rest of the day have in store for you? Um, we've got another interview in our pit, but I think that's basically it. So, relax today. And you've done very well to rhyme those. That's basically, you've got an interview in our pit, and that's basically it. Well, I'll let you go. Uh, Eternal and to Antares Motorsport, we'll see you again tomorrow. They are heading out now, Amy. Uh, we've taken some more stash, uh, some more freebies that we're very happy with. Um, we need to get our hands on that toolkit bag, which I think has still been left there at the bottom. But obviously, Antares Motorsport don't want their kit. Uh, but they can have it if they want. It's entirely up to them. They'll get it at some point. Uh, who have you got joining you on your side? Uh, I have got Conqueror Racing from Battle Abbey School joining Ooh, me. Oh, I love it. Sky blue colours coming through. Hopefully they'll be like the football team Man City. Triumphant. Three titles uh, last season. Here they come. They are joining you. And joining me on my side, I have Red Dawn Racing. A few hollers from the Welsh contingent. You're on your own. They've given, Laura, that's what's happened. Oh no, they have joined. Come on in. Welcome to the party. Come on, Noah. Good to see you again. Yeah, good to see you again. Uh, okay, what have you been up to since I last saw you? Oh, lots of things, Tom. Lots of things, lots of stress, lots of different possibilities. It's just been a mess, Tom. But overall, we've got here, we've got- Oh, I thought that was it. And what about F1 eSport? Um, F1 in schools? Oh, same thing, I'd say. Nah, I'm joking. Um, it's been great, yeah, it's just really nice to be back here, just get a full experience back. Regionals, it's lovely, but you don't get the same feeling that you get when you're sitting here at Nationals. Okay, and what is that feeling like sat here right now? Do you feel the pressure of the camera watching? A little bit, but honestly, the feeling of Nationals is just so incredible. It's so exhilarating, I think is always the word I used to describe it. Just actually just going to a different part of the UK, competing, meeting all these amazing teams from so many different places. It's incredible, it's amazing. Who have you met so far that you've been blown away by? <laughs> um, we've met Frontier, they've been really nice. We got their business card earlier. Um, Epoch as well, they were really nice. Vega uh, Racing. Vega. Vega Racing, shout out to Vega Racing. I'm sure they can hear you somewhere. Um, they've gone to their verbals. Um, can you please introduce yourself quickly before I pass over to Amy? Um, so I'm Lilia, I'm Public Relations. This is, I'm, oops, I'm Ava, team manager. I'm Noah, the design engineer. And who is your driver in the nice shorts ready for racing? Will, uh, that's Will, our accountant, he's always ready for action. 
he's hyped up on Lucas Aid. He's all in. He's all in, and he's pulled his socks up as high as they can possibly go. Amy, who have you got with you? I have got Conqueror Racing. Um, do you want to introduce yourself and the team? Yeah, so uh, I'm Ed. I'm the chief designer. Uh, this is Jamie. He is our marketing manager, social media. And that's Charbel. He is our budgeting and marketing as well. And who have we got at the end of the track driving the car, and who's collecting it? Uh, so we're bookended by Charlie's. That's Charlie M. He is our, our driver. And then that's Charlie K, also working on design with me. He's uh, hopefully not going to have to deal with any breakages, but he's down there to retrieve the car. So we just put the Charlie's on the track? Yeah, exactly. Charlie's on the track. Charlie's going off. I like it. All right, well, here we go, Charlie's. Best of luck to both the teams. Let's go trackside. Let's go racing. There is lane one then. And just to let you know, currently Team Epoch are top of the leaderboard. Won't be affected by either of those times, but Eternal with a 1.093 are 3,000th off in second place. So we're watching for potentially some breakages, seeing the deceleration zone being removed and Sam from Honeycomb Racer taking the cars out explaining everything that you see on the screen. Cars are being loaded in, lane one, lane two. A point one four one, two thousandths of a second off the fastest reaction time from Red Dawn Racing, so well done to them. That is someone who's in the zone. And there's a bending of the knee as well. Have you seen that, the technique? I think it's all down to practice at this point, Tom. And Lucas Aid. Uh, and Lucas Aid. All right, practice and Lucas Aid. Well, I believe we are lined up and ready to go. Lane two, uh, Conqueror Racing taking the finish line, but will that give them enough? Yes, overall track time, 1.174. It's quite the stance, isn't it? The driver there for Red Dawn Racing. Really getting in. Ooh, I've been joined by a fly. That's weird, isn't it? <laughs> you deal with that while I deal with this. Um, yeah, how are we feeling about the racing so far? I know you said that car B was your best car, so happy with how it performed? Uh, yeah, not too bad. That's about equal to our to our regionals time. Uh, hopefully we can go, uh, go a bit quicker as, as the day goes on, but not, not too bad. Have you done a lot of design changes between regionals and nationals? Um, a few, mainly to our to our front and rear wings. Uh, had some, some regulation issues on those at, at the regionals, so tried to get those under control and, and hopefully we've, uh, we've sorted that out as well as um, changing the manufacturing process so they're, they're nice and smooth, hopefully less friction on the wheels. Yeah, always really important, I think, to look at where you could possibly improve. So great job in addressing the regulation issues. There you go. Uh, Red Dawn Racing go up to fourth. Conqueror Racing uh, holding up the pack with a 1.219. Happy with everything we've seen so far, guys? Yeah, we're really happy. Fourth is amazing, but obviously, you know, we are aiming for first. So we're just going to keep our fingers crossed. It's just three more spaces and then you're there. So, so the lane's changed. Your driver can do all that they can do to help the situation. Um, and it's such a technique, isn't it? It's a real lean in. Practicing. He's really been practicing, like trained, caffeine, Lucas Aid, everything. Do you just like make a little taped area for him just to practice with the lean? It's a full lunge, isn't it? He was telling me, he was telling me earlier that apparently if he does it with, is it if you do it with your right foot, you don't get as a good reaction time? <laughs> He's done, very, he's done very in-depth research. Well, it, it will help. If you want to win a, an award for the fastest reaction time, then you're laughing. That's well worth it for that. Uh, and how was the journey up from Wales? Um, not the best. Ooh, gossip. I like it. What happened? What went wrong? So our bus left at 3.30. We got there at about 10, which was expected. 
but Noah's bus with our DT teachers and all our luggage arrived at 1 a.m. because they hit some serious traffic, so. So no toothpaste or anything? For no, we all went to bed in our school uniform and had to get up at one to get changed into our pajamas and brush our teeth and all of that. But, you know, we're here, so. Yeah, it, it, it brings you together as a team. You've yeah. been through some stuff. Um, that sounded awful, an awful situation there, Amy. Did, any, did the guys next to you have anything like that? Uh, no, not too bad. It was a long journey all the way from, uh, from Battle down on, down the south coast, but we didn't get, didn't get that that late. I've been to Battle. Really? It's very nice, yeah. yeah. It's nice, yeah. It's a nice little area, but a wiggly little roads to get out yeah, of there. Exactly. Well, once, we, once we got on the motorways, it was fine, but yeah, get, getting out of Battle. What did you discuss on the journey? Because I'm seeing your teammate here has the headphones, which we normally see at Worlds, ready to go as the driver to block out noise. Are you just, when the, when the teammates are get you got bored of them, I you just... just have headphones, it's just something I have on me at all times. It's a brand, Tom. Okay, well that's fair enough. Brand. And what are you listening to? The sounds of success? Uh, just music, just general music. Okay, good. No audio books. Okay, well that is good to know. We are ready to go racing. Time has been filled. And here we go, best of luck to both teams. And it's quick lane two. Uh, Red Dawn racing very quick indeed from them. Check in the deceleration zone, everything looks okay with the cars. Oh, 1.175 from Red Dawn racing. It does not improve their place, but a one point. 240 does not improve Conqueror Racing. So they've got one more opportunity, Amy. Uh, I want to ask Conqueror Racing, this car that you've designed looks very reminiscent of the McLaren Golf crossover. Any, any inspiration drawn from that? Yeah, no, a few years ago when we first entered our, our first competition in Dev, um, we all agreed we wanted the Golf livery. We've stuck with it ever since. All, all our branding's kept to that. That's, that's Charlie on the start gate. He's responsible for all our, all our branding, so yeah. Well, if I've noticed it, I think it definitely does its job. So it looks amazing, really nice car. All right then, we're ready to get underway. It's that time of the day where there's a few yawns coming out from the other end. Coffee is required. We're ready to go racing. Best of luck, last race for both of these teams. And it's lane two again for Red Dawn Racing, but can Conqueror Racing have improved their time and move up that leaderboard? And they do improve th their time. It's exactly the same. We have our first identical track time, 1.209. That improves Conqueror Racing by 10 thousandths of, of a second, which is great to see for them. But does it improve? for Red Dawn Racing. No, they stay in fourth place. So overall, as the cars get returned, happy, can walk away with your head held high? Yeah, definitely. Fourth is incredible. And you know, we'll be back here tomorrow to do it all again. So always space to move up. Yeah, good to hear. Will, talk to me about the socks. Did the socks being pulled up that high help in any way, shape or form? Definitely. Good to hear. Um, did you listen to any music before you started? No, I just had three bottles of Lucasade, so. Three whole, what, the litre bottles. You need to go to, probably to the bathroom immediately. Reese, happy with everything down the other end? Yeah, very happy with no breakages. That's definitely a good sign. That is a good sign. Well, listen, you've done a fantastic job. Enjoy the rest of your day. I know how stressful it's been, Noah. You said that as the first thing that's been going on, but uh, you can de-stress now, relax. What does the rest of the day have in store? Pardon? What does the rest of the day have in store for you? Uh, so just our final um, verbal presentation now, and then that's it. So a bit of practice now, get everything in the mindset, and then see what happens. Get everything in the mindset. We're probably going to practice when we get back to the hotel, celebrate with some dominoes, maybe. Oh, OK. Celebration time. I like it. Well, listen, always a pleasure to chat to you guys there uh, from Red Dawn Racing. I want to talk to the Charlies on track. How did you guys think that went? Yeah, it was good. Uh, not terrifying at all. <laughs> not terrifying at all. Um, do you think it went well? Yeah, nothing broke. 
Yeah. Okay, that was all you needed to do. Break, <laughs> make sure the car didn't break. So great job, guys. Amazing times. And tomorrow when I chat to you, I'm going to know what music you've been listening to specifically. Break it down for us. All right, then. We'll say goodbye to both teams there as they head on out. Conqueror Racing, it's time to skedaddle. And it's time to skedaddle for Red Dawn Racing. Skedaddle, bye, is not a word I often use. Uh, but uh, <laughs> we're on camera. So there we go. Ventura Racing from James Gillespie High School are going to be joining me to the right. Who have you got joining you, Amy? I have got C Squared Racing from the King School. Oh, look at that. We like these outfits. They're coming through. Patrick is the driver. I already see that. Louis coming over to join me. Welcome. Where are you going, Anna? I don't know, Anna. You... Show, show Anna's decided that she's off that way. Is Anna allowed to? Is that is where she's supposed to be? You think so? Okay, I don't know if there's structure here to this team. Uh, Ventura Racing. What? Ventura Racing. Just wanted to double check. Okay, good. Uh, names, please. Uh, I'm Pauline, the PR manager. I'm Bella, I'm the graphic designer. I'm Jess, the project manager. I'm Louis, the resource manager. Louis, the resource manager. What does that mean, the resource manager? Break that down for me. Um, still not fully sure, but... Uh, Handle finances, make sure we're getting everything on time, and what we're getting, just general. So you've pretty much had a big part. And today then, what have you been doing today as the resource manager, making sure everything's on time? Um, not really sure, but... But I like it. You're part of the team. Where, what is Anna? Who is Anna? What is her role in the team? So Anna's the manufacturing engineer. She's hopefully fix our car if it breaks, but it shouldn't break. Well, she's shown us the super glue that she's going to be using, which is good. Who is your driver? That's Patrick. Patrick with a K at the end. No mucking about. And why has he been chosen to be your driver? He's got the fastest reaction times for us by far. I don't know why it is, but he does. Hey, sometimes you can't give a reason for something, but it just is. Patrick's got the fastest reaction times. We are ready to go racing. Best of luck to both teams. And there it is, lane one. Ventura Racing crossing the line first. And they take it with a 1.148. What does it do for the leaderboard? It puts them into sixth place with that time. Ventura Racing. Amy, who be next to you? I have C Squared Racing from the King School. Do you want to introduce yourself and the team? I'm Joseph. I'm team manager. Uh, I'm Ben. I'm manufacturing engineer. Uh, I'm Rowan. I'm design engineer. And who do I have at the end driving the car and who's collecting it? Uh, the driver is Pranav and he is the um, sponsorship manager and finances. And then collecting the car is Ollie and he is also product design and yeah, graphic design and also sponsorships. There you go. Those are the two teams. They've been met. They've been given a shout out. We're ready to go racing. Best of luck to both of the teams. Okay, something happened there, but uh, we will find out the details on that. Any breakages? Harriet and Lily lift off, and we are told no breakages. All is good so far for Ventura Racing. A 1.147. Is that one thousandth of a second quicker, if I believe? Same as the last time. How are we feeling, Ventura Racing? We're feeling sensational. Sensational. No one said that yet. Is it the chairs? What is it? Is it just the vibe, the energy? Yeah, everything. Feeling sensational. Um, uh, happy with everything that you're seeing on the track. Is this what you expected from regionals? Yeah. Good. Well, that's everything. Uh, I'm going to ask an open-ended question, if I can think of one uh, quickly uh, in this moment. Uh, have you noticed a difference between lane one and two? Are you more confident with your car in lane one or lane two? And why? We have no idea, to be honest. Our school just got a track last week, so um, thanks, to thanks to Honeycomb Racing, yeah. No way, Honeycomb. So you know Lily at the end? Yes, and Ben. And Ben. Sam. Unbelievable. Lily, I'm so, that's actually happened. That's happened live. They got their names wrong. No, don't worry about it. No, Jess, it's fine. 
Don't worry about it. It's all good. Did you, did you see that? I was part of that. Oh. That was awkward. I'm just going to walk away. Yeah, no, that's the point, actually. Sam hasn't heard it. Hey, Sam. There you go. So Sam from Honeycomb, not Ben, and Lily. There we go. <laughs> right. As the cars get swapped over, uh, I'm noticing the teams uh, and the difference there. C squared racing are in 10th and Ventura Racing go up to sixth. So what is it that you liked about Honeycomb and Sam and Lily, about their team? Um, they're just really friendly, helpful, passing on the legacy to us and got us a track, which is always good. So how do they get you a track? Is it just like an early Christmas present for you guys or the school? So basically they partnered up with a renewable energy company who have donated the money for us to buy a track, which is... That's fantastic. So that means forevermore your school will be able to have that track and that will really help, help with the testing. How were you able to do testing? Uh, well, it means we don't have to trek over to Lilithgow to do our testing, which is good. Even though Lilithgow have been helpful to us, it'll be good to have our own track. Yeah, of course. Oh, so you were able to do physical testing, but just now you don't have to travel as far. And I suppose that helps with your time management as well. How, how difficult was the competition to use your time management wisely? Um, I mean, quite hard. There's lots to do and you can't always rely on things arriving on time and there's some things you just can't control. But I think we did pretty well. We weren't too overly stressed towards the end. So I think we did good. All right. What have C Squared found during the uh, getting to nationals and how have they challenged themselves, Amy? Um, Tom, we've been talking amongst ourselves. Oh, and what have you been chatting yeah. about? Um, we just noticed then, I think, on the camera, the car flipped for a tiny second, and everyone wanted just to... I wanted just to, to, to know what's going on on the underneath of that car and what's so special about it. Uh, well, we've, uh, we've planned to uh, hollow out the car as much as possible to reduce the weight um, and just to make sure that that hollowed out isn't affecting the aero. We've put a common fibre strip over it just to make sure the air flows cleanly uh, underneath it. And it does look amazing. I don't know if you saw it, Tom, when it flipped over, but it looks great. Well, I like him. I like them both. Do you know what I like to see with cars, racing cars? I like to see them racing. And that's what we can do right now. Let's go trackside then. Best of luck to both teams. This is the third race of four. Okay, we have a situation in lane one with C squared racing. After talking about it and the flipping axle or something, and how it rotates 360, we've seen a slight knot, so it's gonna be taken back. Reese from Race Control, he looks frustrated. He just wants a clean race, that's all he wants. Race director just wants it to happen and to happen well. So I don't know if we'll have to race both cars again. We'll get the confirmation of that. That is a car that didn't quite make it. Social media being used by Ventura Racing. How have you found the, uh, the social media side of things and keeping up to date and keeping your fans up to date with all the skills? Uh, yeah, I mean, we post quite regularly on Instagram, um, lots of team pictures, and we interact with like the people who follow us quite a lot, and we post, we post a reel, so we got lots of interaction from that, so. And Anna's very calmly passing all the cameras uh, very well there to return the car. It's, I mean, it, it's not been need, so what Anna's done there has been helpful, but now has to go all the way back again, which is quite the sight. Uh, there we go. There goes Anna, all the way back. That means they didn't need to re-race. We'll just race the car in lane one, which is C squared racing. What happened there, Amy? It looked like it got tangled up. I have, um, I have no idea what happened there, Tom, but it probably is, like we said again, a tether line for C squared racing. Um, hopefully this race, they can get to the end of the track. Five more races on the way after this one in total. Five more teams stepping up. Uh, so here we go. We'll head down trackside and we'll re-race C squared racing. So five sets of teams. And there we have it then. As we have just been handed a lost phone, uh, we may or may not, Amy and myself, just posed for a selfie on it. So that's just a little extra for you. Um, C squared, cross the line then, with 
zero reaction time with a total time of 1.355. So no differences there. So we move on then to our next race. Just to let you know, there has been an iPhone handed in, screensaver picture up in the cloud, some sort of flight. I don't know where you've been, but it's absolutely delightful. And Sam, the cameraman, will just, it's got a purplish uh, sort of uh, casing there. Oh, it's delightful. Oh, and the uh, picture. Oh, it keeps changing. I don't know how you've managed that, so maybe you can tell me as well. The screensaver keeps changing. Let's have a look at another. That's one, that's sort of a fence. I think you've taken the sunset, uh, to be honest. One of you at, that looks like a, anyway, we could go through this all day. If this is your phone, please come. If you're online watching this, you, this will be nothing to you. But anybody here, please, who's lost a purple cased iPhone, do let me know. Looks like you've traveled quite a distance. Uh, some lovely uh, pictures. Me and Amy will go through all of these, rate them out of 10, but we need to go racing. So that's what we'll do now. Best of luck to Ventura and C Squared Racing. I can give you a bit more information. If you've recently been to Yas Marina, then do let us know. It is a saved picture on your phone. I think it might be an adult's phone, and I mean that with love and respect to everyone who's competing, a proper like adult that might have children of their own. So please let us know if you've lost your phone. Uh, and there we have it, uh, our race there. A very fast reaction time at a 1.150. For Ventura Racing doesn't improve their time there, Amy. I want to know what Ventura Racing have... Oh wait, I mean C Squared Racing, Ventura's yours. C Squared Racing, what have you done today? What's, um, what's still left to come? I'm not sure what's left, but we've done the verbal and the engineering and the enterprise portfolios. And how do you think they went? Quite good. The enterprise, not so good, but the engineering, definitely, and the verbal, we're all pretty happy about. Yeah. Confident team, glad they got a nice nice set of the day done. C squared racing, great to chat to you. Ventura racing, uh, where are you off to now? What happens? Apologize to Sam slash Ben, or no, it'd be fine. We're off to verbals next. Ooh, good luck. Uh, great to see you. Great to see your car on the track. Uh, well done, and we'll catch you up with you tomorrow. So thank you very much to Ventura Racing and C Squared Racing. They are going to leave the area now of racing. They're going to head on their way, their merry way. That's what you say, isn't it? Because we have five more sets of races to go and we will be welcoming to the area here. We will have the one and only we will have Hypernova. Hypernova will be joining me on my side. Oh, look at the outfits. The team identity, I love these outfits. Some of the team have hats, some of the team don't have hats. I'll ask them about that. Amy, get ready. And who is the team joining you? I'm gonna apologize for saying this name already. Im Impetus from Kingswood School is gonna be joining me. There you go, welcome to the party. I have here from Hypernova, who do I have here? Uh, Alfie, I'm head of manufacturing. Hi, I'm Karis, the project manager. Hi, I'm Ramiro, the finance manager. I'm Matthew, the CAD designer. Matthew, the CAD designer. And who will be driving for you guys? Uh, Sam Talvan Davis. Oh, Katrin, sorry, Katrin. Sam's doing that other thing. So Katrin, the fastest time. Is that where she's got the hat just to tuck over her eyes and so make sure no one can see? She looks a little nervous. Has this been a last minute decision to change things? No, she has the best reaction time out of all of us, so we've decided to go with her again. She did it last time and did very well, so we've kept her with it. Oh, brilliant. Well, listen, we won't talk about her anymore. We'll let her get in the zone. And where have you travelled from? What school do you come from? Uh, we're from Broeden in Cardiff, so we've come from Cardiff. And I'm seeing the support is out there from Tanwin. Uh, how does your social media compare to Tanwin's? They don't stop on social media. It's next level. How do you go about with your social media? Uh, I think we're better, to be honest. We, <laughs> we post, I think we post better content and we have more following, so yeah. I, I think we're better. Wow, you know they're gonna come up in a second and sit right here, so uh, you better get your shots in first. Uh, Amy, whoa, 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 whoa. How did you manage to get a... I'm a member of the team. Okay, well... I've been told how to say it, it's impetus, and I'm now a member of, of the team. I'm gonna tell Epoch, I'm sorry, but I've been indoctrinated. Okay, well, I'd love to find out who this team is. Do you wanna let me know what your names are and what your roles are? Um, I'm Marco, I'm the quantitative analyst of the team. I'm Jack, I did the aerodynamics. 
I'm Ben, I'm in charge of marketing and sponsors. And who have we got racing and who's collecting? Uh, we have Rufus Racing, he's more in charge of the pit display and graphics design. And we have Stan over there, who's our team captain and our manufacturing engineer. Team captain at the bottom, I like that. I, I love the outfits. It, was, it almost looked like a professional F1 motorsport team. Is that, is that what was behind the idea for your outfit? Yeah, we've been inspired by quite a few F1 teams. Uh, as well as being inspired using the colour of our British racing green, our good old heritage here. Yeah. yeah, and I'm seeing the same design stuff with the zips for both teams. So we've got two teams with the same zip design. I like it. It talks to me about your team identity. But, but wait, we haven't got time. We're going to go trackside, go racing. Best of luck to both teams. Let's see what times you can set. So there we go, I've joined Impetus as well, nothing personal guys, uh, but we watch the replay. And you can see in lane one, Hypernova crossing the line first with a 1.143. And Impetus with a 1.574. So, Hypernova as we get set up, happy with that time? Happy might not be the right word. We always ask teams, are you happy with that? But compare that to regionals, is that what you expected? Uh, I think that's better than what we expected, to be honest. Uh, we weren't really sure what was going to happen going into this competition with this car, but uh, that's, that's a very good result for us, I think. Okay, all right. Well, best of luck. They're going to go racing again, both teams. At lane one, taking it then, the car crossing the line first. That is Lily's lane. 1.188 for Hypernova total time. An improvement in time for Impetus. And an incredible reaction time from Impetus. A 0.132. That is the fastest reaction time that we have seen today. So, congratulations to the driver very very quick indeed as we swap over the lanes anyone you want to thank today hypernova i'm sure tamwin have pushed you along you know you've had a rival to push you on in terms of social media but who would you like to thank uh we'd like to thank all the teachers so mr thomas mr lerwill miss prosser for uh, driving us here taking us all this way we'd like to thank team tanwen for uh, supporting us and also being good competition to us so yeah and well everyone at home that supports us through following us um, and talk to me, as the only team member over here with a hat on, what's happened with the hat? Why do some people in your team have a hat and some people don't? Well, part of it is the summer weather, but basically this time we wanted to be sustainable and we had our new sponsor Tata Steel. So we collaborated with them to say, could we have um, branded caps? And we've got some caps back at the pit display, but the reason that some of us have it is just for team identity reasons and to look cool. And to look cool, and yes, you do, if that was your next question. So well done on that. Uh, what has challenged you most about this competition and getting to the national final this year? Um, well, we've been competing since um, 2020. We were here um, online in 2021, and we came third in development. But the car has always been just a bit tricky for us. But this year, we've developed a lot, as we can see from these times. Like Normally, we get a bit disappointed with it, but I think, especially with the work we have from Matthew and our driver, Katrin, who have really worked on this car this year, it's just, it's gone incredible this time. This is you happy right now. These faces are you happy. I just want to double check that. that these are happy faces, not sad, glum. They're tired faces. It's a long day, isn't it? Yeah. We had to wake up early. Well, I say early. It's not that early, but rather early this morning to take What time? Well, six, which is early for me. But, <laughs> but yeah, so feeling quite tired, but yeah, ready to ready to race and ready to win. So, yeah. Ready to race, ready to win. 6 a.m., it's not that early. I'm seeing breakages, Amy. What's going on here? Where's Sam Chapman when you need him? Sam, what are you seeing here? What breakages are you identifying? Yeah, so both rear wings, uh, so the rear wing on both cars has come off. They get 30 seconds per car to be able to fix it. Uh, he seems on top of it. Super glue uh, to hold it back in place. It's being fitted on the upper portion of the body, so 3D printed component. There's also, you can see the red 3D printed part on the rear of the car. Uh, I assume some sort of aerodynamic 
aerodynamic feature um, on the back there that it's being attached onto. What time did you have to get up this morning, Sam? Seeing as we're on that subject. I was up at six. Up at six as well? And did you find it difficult, easy to get up at 6 a.m.? Well, I was up at five yesterday, uh, half five yesterday as well, so. Okay, so that's a lion sleep. then. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Um, and why have you never been up this sort of time, 6 a.m.? Is it just holidays? Is that normally when you're up this early? Yeah, I'm, I like to think I'm a bit lazy, so. <laughs> so. You need more sleep. Never say lazy, I'm just, I need, my body needs more sleep and recuperation. Yeah, I like to be energized, so it's good to have enough sleep. So uh, in terms of the F1 in schools, what area would you possibly carry on uh, to further your education would you go into? Uh, I'm really interested in the engineering side, so I, I'm thinking of going into a path of engineering in the future. So I'm a manufacturer, so I really enjoy putting things together, you know, engineering, that kind of thing. So uh, I'm interested in cars as well, so mechanical engineering, so I'm thinking of going into that in the future. Well, make sure you chat to Sam Chapman uh, over there, because that's the pathway he's gone. What about yourself? Uh, yeah, engineering the same. Um, I, don't, I don't really know what aspect, maybe mechanical like Alfie or aeronautical. Um, I did like the aerodynamic side of it as well, so yeah, so something like that. Well, you are seeing uh, currently on the screen the whole array of this amazing gymnasium, mainly for uh, sort of s racket sports of some description, all the courts that we've got here, probably badminton, uh, and it's brilliant. And the big sign, have you seen it? The big sign, have you, have you caught that? What does it say? Uh, dream, compete, achieve. And that is right. Amen. Uh, well done on that. Uh, do you feel like you've achieved in the competition so far to get to the Nationals? Does it feel like that? Or is it that one step further that you're like, I want to go to Worlds? Uh, I think we're really proud of how far we've come so far, how well we've done in regionals and how, how well we're doing, I think, so far in, in Nationals. But, of course, we want to go a step further all the way to Worlds and hopefully win that too. Do your team Impetus want to get to the World Final? I think there's still work to be done, but I believe in Rufus, our, uh, the person that pressed the trigger, as well as we, believe, we really believe in our car. Well, something other cars don't have, I think, is the stability of our car, the structural stability. We've really put into our time into using that casting to build our front splitter, nose cone, rear wings. I can guarantee there's not going to be a single damage on the car after races. That's, that's a jinx if I've ever heard one. Wow. It, let's find out if it is a jinx, but I actually love that confidence. Let's go racing then. Best of luck to both teams. Okay, what's just happened is an absolute anomaly, freakish behavior. Check this man right now, because that's, I don't think I've ever seen anything like that. That is an anticipation. That is expecting the light to go out. What we can tell you now is a 0 0.044 reaction time. And that is, that's subhuman. I am also seeing breakage uh, for the car in lane two, which I believe is Hypernova, but a 0 0.044. Part of me wants to shout freak uh, because that is freakishly fast. That is, I mean, is, has your driver ever hit a time like that before, reaction time? Um, I think he hit one or two in practice before, but in an actual race, no, that's the first we've ever seen of that. Well. That seems like it would be investigated by the FIA. <laughs> yeah, we need to talk about those reactions. That is incredible. Uh, however, though, Hypernova, I'm seeing a slight breakage. I'll ask Lily. Uh, breakage in lane two. What was it? It's a rear wing. Thank you very much. You can see there on Hypernova, the rear wing. Uh, never like to see a breakage. Rear wing, did this happen in regionals? Uh, no, this hasn't happened before, but it's fine. I think we could still... still do well without having that part, but I think, you know, the results are consistent, so uh, I'm happy with where, where we're going at the moment. All right, well, where we are going is trackside to set off on another race, the fourth and final one for both of these teams.
And good news, uh, a full start from Impetus. We knew it was going to happen. Such an incredible time. And I can now confirm the mobile phone that we were eager to return has been returned. So well done on the phone situation. Uh, more breakages, but Impetus not getting that full start. That is the first full start of the day. That is not bad, Amy. When the stakes are this high, we never like to see a full start. Yeah, it's a really pressurized situation. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not surprised. It had to happen at least once today. Um, but yeah, I mean, that first reaction time, what a way to um, redeem himself, I think. Yeah, uh, 0 0.044. So Impetus teammates uh, join one another and uh, get the final thoughts on Hypernova and team manager. Uh, so how did we find being a driver? A lot of pressure on your shoulders, but I thought you did admirably. Very well indeed. Yeah, I think it went okay, but the, the, their team's reactions is insane, so comparing to them is nothing, really. Well, you're, just, you're coming to terms with how quick that was. I think we're all coming to terms with it. it, it you, can't, you can't compete against something like that, but as the car and how your reaction times helped uh, in the situation, you've got to be very happy. Yeah, I think overall we're really happy. The race times are really good as well, so yeah, happy. All right, well, listen, hyping over. That is you done and dusted for today. You'll be back tomorrow. Impetus, well done on the reaction time as a team. You can take that as a win, all of you. But what about the car? Uh, there, there's lessons to be learned from... We we're hoping to improve the strength of the car since our car did suffer quite a few damages from our regionals. So I think we'll have to get a better balance of that. But I think we did pretty well as a team today, yeah. That's it, all about the balances. Exactly. Uh, Imitators, thank you very much. They will be now leaving. And also, so will Hypernova, who are currently in sixth place. So still top of the table, it's Amy's old school team. It's Team Epoch. And don't forget, if you would like to get involved, uh, make sure you use the hashtag F1ISUKNF. So F1 in schools. UK National Final, that's what that stands for. Come on then, I know <clears throat> I need to raise my game with energy as we get towards the end of the day, because I'm about to welcome to join me on this side, I have Tanwin coming to join me. I don't know if I'm ready for their energy they're gonna bring. And who have you got joining you on your side, Amy? I've got Frontier from the Royal Grammar School on my side. Tanwin, great to see you again. There was a little bit of uh, banter back and forth between Hypernova. Some of your team have just left, didn't even say hello. There you go. And there we go, we are joined now. Hi, there they go. Wearing a Welsh football team shirt. Tan, you've got so much merch, it's unreal. You've got two shades, why is this? There's so many questions. Ah, okay, please could you introduce yourselves to everybody? So I'm Chloe Radford, and I'm the project manager for Team Tanner. I'm Bella Griffiths, and I'm head of physics and development. I'm Indigo Wernick, and I'm the graphic designer. And who do we have driving for you? Alice Jones. Alice Jones. She's even thrown in a whoop. And who are the other teammates who have gone down there? Because you need two uh, down there. So we have Devon and Pasha. And why didn't one of them not want to come over and chat? I don't know. Okay, I won't take it personally. It's all good. It's great to see you. What have you done since uh, regionals to improve your car? Um, I think Bell is probably best at So we've kept most of the things the same, but we've changed our wheel comb from nylon to um, EPLA because it's much more sturdy because we found that the um, nylon was too flexible. So the wheels would wobble ever and slow our car down. So hopefully it's more stable today and the wheels spin fast. We like that to happen. Who have you got with you, Amy? I have got Frontier from the Royal Grammar School who gave me a really nice pair of sunglasses, I must admit. You have a pair. Oh, what? Amazing. UV oh, protected. Lovely. Brilliant. Great. Here we go. Uh, we hope so. All right. I'll just get these up. There you go. Perfect. Yeah, I'm sorted. There you go. Um, do you want to introduce yourself and your team? Hi, I'm Pablo. I'm the graphic designer. Yeah, I'm, I'm Aidan. I do the sponsorship and marketing. Yeah. I'm Henry, I'm the team leader and the design engineer. And driving, we've got Rob. Uh, and then collecting the cars, we've got Jacob. Jacob, tough job there, down there, Jacob. Uh, well, best of luck to both teams. Let's go racing. Let's go trackside. Can they beat the current best time of 1.090? Oh, 
Ooh. That is not what you like to see. Uh, we'll get the latest on that. Uh, I'm unsure which lane. It was lane two. Uh, Harriet is actually turned away from the debris. I think that's a French word for debris. Um, we will find out what happened with the timings, but we're just seeing the replay. You never like to see breakages. That is not good at all. Frontier from the Royal Grammar School, I believe. Uh, that is all breakages on that lane two. That is why superglue was invented to hopefully fix the car. Tam winner in lane one, lane two, of course, is Frontier. So we'll bring you the latest on that as we get ready to set up for race number two. No times given on that one. We'll just wait, probably just the clear up operation there, which you never like to see that, any breakage of any sort, heart and mouth moment. But we'll get going in just a second. Don't forget, so currently Team Epoch from Wales with 1.090. And we just spoke to them, Hypernova, from the same school as Tamwin. They got a 1.131. So I know Tamwin will be wanting to beat that score and time at the very least. We are ready to race when we get the right signals. Here we go then, let's get the second race underway. No breakages in lane two that time. That was good to see. That was intact pretty much going through there. So uh, there might not be such a clear up operation as well, for two cars, one car, definitely. So there you go, Tamwin, a 1.109. Very quick indeed. Happy with that, that time? Is that what we expected? Yeah, we're very happy with that. Yeah. Okay, that is good. So now is really the question. I see a rear wing uh, that will need repairing for Team Frontier. And we will get the latest on the scoreboard when it's updated. But Tamwin, after that, happy we're seeing replays of your car down the track. Happy with the reaction times from your driver as well, Bella? I think the reaction time is looking great. Um, hopefully we can beat our score again. Well, that would be brilliant. I mean, look at that, you're, you're only uh, 19 thousandths of a second off uh, from beating Team Epoch. Just waiting for those um, scores to update, but very, very quick times indeed. Uh, how are Frontier feeling then, Amy? How are you guys feeling? I mean, we're pretty excited. We're very excited to be here, first of all. And yeah, I mean... So excited he can't speak. Yeah, the words are lost right now, but that's okay. We're seeing uh, some fixes for Tamwin here. I know that because of the red and white and not too much to glue back on there, is there really? But it's really difficult, those two pieces. There's, there's not a lot of contact area. Yeah, which is probably why it could have broken. Um, I just wanted to ask, did anything like this happen at your regionals? Any breakages, anything you had? Yeah, there's a, a sad nod there. Was it around the same place? It was the exact size, like the exact rear wing. The whole, the regionals, the whole back of the regionals car's cracked. It, we, it... we had magnets on our rear wing to try and stop this but the force from the launch made the, the top of the rear wing come off, the bit that was joined together by the magnets. So we ended up having to glue it on and then there was a breakage after that, but we managed to fix it. So I'm hoping we can fix it again. Magnets in the rear wing, Tom, one of our favorite things to, speak, to see and discuss. I asked you yesterday, I said, Amy, are there any designs that have got magnets in the, that are detachable from the rear wing? And you said there weren't. And I was like, oh, that's a shame. And now I find out Frontier. Frontier are immediately my favorite team based on this fact alone. What, why did you use the magnet? Sort of? So yeah, we were, trying to, we were trying to innovate. So we used, we had, we were testing out magnets and how they work with bearings. So we're trying to use magnets to create a frictionless bearing. But thanks to experiments done by, helped by a teacher who's come all the way from Newcastle here, Dr. Howard Chin, uh, this was disproved by Lenz's law. So we tried to use the magnet somewhere else, 
So we tried to avoid the breakage because a similar thing happened at our previous national finals. So we used the magnets there to try and avoid the breakage. Uh, but we weren't able to put them in our nationals car because, again, we were worried that in the launch the mag it would separate. See, Tom, I didn't lie to you. No, no, you didn't, you didn't lie to me. Uh, and, and I'm glad that you would never lie to me. So here we go. Uh, we're watching the breakage here, the table. This is the fixing area. Oh, the spray glue is coming out. Here we go. There's a whole array of different glues that you can use for something like this. You become an expert of uh, glue. Gary Anderson probably knows the most about glue out of all of us. He's not here because unfortunately there was a gluing accident uh, to his nose. He's absolutely fine. So here we go. So this is what they're talking about. This isn't the magnetic part, but... That's what happened at regionals, the whole factory. So we've just been told that that's what happened at the regionals. They're experienced in fixing this, though. Never like to see a breakage tan win, but uh, out the way, they seemed happy as your teammates walked down to the other end. Yeah, they seemed okay. I don't know. They're chatting down there, so I guess they're fine. Um, is there anyone you wanted to thank while you're in this position to say it loud and proud? So we would like to thank all of our sponsors, um, especially Man Roberts, they've been amazing. And we would like to thank Mr. Thomas, Ms. Prosser, and Mr. Leowell for coming with us today. And thank you for hyping over, for making, pushing us to be the best we can. Yes, they've done that very well. And your social media is brilliant. You happy with the social media? It's something like you put a lot of time and effort into. Yeah, Bella is the star of our social media. She's on every video. She got sad the other day because we filmed one without her. <laughs> That is awesome. Uh, that is good to hear. So the, I can smell the spray glue from here. It has been adapted. The cars are being set up. And uh, there you have it. Sam, rear wing breakage seemed pretty easy to fix together. Yeah, uh, the whole rear part of that car is a, a 3D printed component. So it looks like behind the rear wheels is also. So it's, it's, there's a lot of pl the, the layer lines are going to be going in that, that direction. So if it's going to take a hit, that's where it's going to break. Um, I think it also took some of the foam off at the same time. So around the, where the cartridge goes, the foam's actually torn off. Uh, but I think the glue should work. I've had it in the past where the super glue soaks into the foam a little bit. But, um, you know, the glue, glue, super glue will be stronger than the FDM join. Two cars. Uh, I'm keeping these shades on. That is official. That is happening. I'm not mucking about. Um, it helps with the lights. Lovely. They are. It's very they nice are indeed. Lovely. So, and it just, it worked with the uniform as well. We've got a very clear team identity here, Amy. Uh, so, Frontier are in lane one. Moments away from going racing. Moments away from going racing and in lane two. And next up to race, we will have Racing Lions from Bab Lake School. Nitro from College. They will be Not quite yet, but I'm going to off the down again. I like that. Going. See. They are going to have to do all. Um, quite a long break, actually. We'll where we'll go racing again. Looking around at some stragglers and people just on the way out of the energy levels, a few yawns in the crowd, people who look very happy with the whole day's proceedings. Quite a relief to get through all of the judging, Amy. Was that, is that what it's like when you feel today, you're just like, ah. I do feel bad for teams after the end of the day because by then you're terrified. <laughs> they can be no, because we are gonna go racing as soon I'm first. Appear to be 1.1. Does it improve the times? Doing, doing a good. Uh, is it the first? It stayed for this one. Good. 
Good job. Amy, we can go race. And it's lane one for Frontier crossing the line first. Very quick, a 1.12. So, the best time they. It all comes down to that reaction time. Brilliantly done. And a 1.214 for Tim Win. So, those are the four races done and dusted. Is that it for today now for you, Tam Win? We've still got scrutineering. Okay. All right. That's, is that Willie McKeown? Is that Willie, Chair of Judges? He's Chief of Scrutineering? Boy, it could be. He's actually really friendly and really lovely, so I think you'll be fine. Enjoy that. And then uh, you'll re regroup. How are you feeling today? It's always There's nothing like the adrenaline. Anyway, I have to say, I, I think the times were good. So, tips for today. Else you'd like to add? F1 is life, and Tamwin is the best. <laughs> F1 is life, and Tamwin's the best. That is a perfect way to end this. Uh, Frontier, how are they going to end? I mean, we have some really big smiles over here. I'm just going to run over to Jay, who was like, pressing our button. It's uh, top three. We're... There we go. Who's... So, uh, those are the current uh, times. There, stipulated very, very. Uh, there you are. Whoa! For Tamwin and four. So well done to them. Five top celebrations. Little F1 color. It does, doesn't it? British Racing Green. We'll find out a little bit from them. Racing Lions, talk to me. I'm going to come and join you. Uh, there's four of you. Time to wait. Go racing. How have you managed it? How have you kept your spirits up? Um, just sitting still. <laughs> just, just sitting still. I like this. Watching the races. Yep. Uh, that's about it. So you're in a zen-like place right now. And how confident do you feel about your car? Um, I think we feel quite confident about our car. Ben's been working hard on it, so I think we have a good chance here. So what have you been doing? How have you been working hard on it, Ben? I've designed it from pretty much the ground up. Uh, using CAD, and uh, we've taken on the feedback from last from regionals and fixed it. Well, that is perfect. That is a great way to do it. Who are we seeing on the screen right now? Who was that? Uh, that was Luca. And uh, who have we got driving for you guys? We've got Emmanuel, our project manager. Okay, project manager now has to be the project manager of pushing that trigger as fast as he can when all five lights go out. I will wish them both the best of luck. And it was quick, Amy. Lane one, then can they go faster? They because that puts them in two sixth spot on the leaderboard and there was something up with the car there very well, not even what was happening there I for mean, your I by the guys here that it's just just on one car just one car's like that but while we're here um this is project Nine. we met we met them they uh, told me in january that was their word they're gonna win this one team well, team leader the head of marketing Lewis is the designer man. It was um, sponsorship and other things. I gotta say, this team is looking incredible. Do you wanna tell me about, a bit about the installation? Uh, it's just in the 1960s Lewis team, British Racing Green. You know, we're from Scotland, so was he, and he, he inspired us all. He's the goat. And it looks amazing. I like the, the yes, the colouring. It's I just said because it was the most late, I should have gone back to Lotus. I, I apologize now, uh, unreservedly. I, I hope you forgive me for, I, I hope you forgive me for, you know, just spare the moment. It won't happen again, uh, Team Project. Okay, fair enough. There we go. We're on good terms now. And look at that car. It's sort of as well. We like that. It's good. 
both teams racing and race before we change lanes. It's quick. It is one the quicker, but is it quick? Then their time, I think it is slightly 0.203. It is quicker and one thousandth of a second difference. Very quick reaction time as well. Ben, are we happy? You built this ground, uh, this car from the ground up. So, how are we feeling? Uh, pretty confident. Uh, the only thing I'm nervous is breaking. Okay. Well, yeah, because I can find out for you, Ben, if you were nervous. I'm going to ask Harrier and Lily, were there any breakages down there? Racing Lions unable to improve their time, but a 1.196. And as Amy chatted to Project Nitro, said the wonkier of the two cars was faster in lane one. So very interesting, a deliberate design. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll see more of that possibly in the world finals. Any one of these teams could be going to the world finals. We'll find out tomorrow during the awards ceremony. Right, final thoughts, Ben. Talk to me about what you've seen. I'm pretty happy. Uh, lane two is not as happy. No, yeah, lane two not as happy, but still happy. And what do you have uh, lined up for the rest? Is that it? Are you done now? Now racing's done for the day? Uh, I think we have something else, but I'm not sure. Not sure yet. Well, we'll find out. Well, listen, Racing Lions. Uh, why did you go for Racing Lions? Not known for being the fastest racing lion. Uh, a lion. Uh, because our school is a lion. Our school logo is a lion. Um, it's racing, so we thought we'd combine the two. Well, I think that's a perfect reason. Well done, Racing Lions. And Project Nitro, final thoughts from them, yeah, Amy? I'm going to speak to the one member of Project Nitro that hasn't spoken yet. How do you feel about the racing? Uh, yeah, it's all right. I'll take it. And he's a man of very little words, apparently. Few words, but impactful. They will take it. All right, there you go. Uh, Project Nitro will say goodbye to you and also to Racing Lions, who are congratulating one another. They've done a brilliant job. Off they head. Um, they will probably catch up with each other. Like we said, every team is probably going to get a bit more time to meet other teams now that they've finished all of their requirements and all of their schedule. So, supposedly at four o'clock, we were having the race Golden Motorsports. They're going to be joining me here, Golden Mo Motorsports, from uh, St. Olaf's Grammar School. Familiar faces heading over. Welcome back. There's a freebie in a hand. I believe it's a freebie. Maybe it's a freebie. It could, it's two freebies. I'll take it. I'll take it. Oh, look at that. So we have got the perfect. Oh. Look at that. Perfect. Well, welcome, uh, Gone Mo Sports. Uh, we will welcome who to your side? And on my side, we're going to have the Rapid Ravens. Oh, they're coming up to a rapturous applause in my head. They've done brilliantly to wait this long. They've got their team, their actual names on the front, so there can be no mistake of who they are. And little Tupperwares. I love this. We see, we've seen all sorts of suitcases and now Tupperwares. What's in the Tupperwares? Uh... Scrutineering parts. Okay. All right. Not as exciting. I thought it might be snacks of some description. Uh, let me meet Golden Motorsports. Uh, it's been a long wait to get here racing. How are we feeling about going into it? Honestly, I have 100% confidence in our car and our driver. Well, this is all I need to hear from you guys. Let's go racing. Let's see what times you can set. And it is quick, felt quick, looked quick. Let's find out if it is indeed as quick as we think it was. Golden Motorsports there with a 1.086. And it is incredibly fast, four thousands of a second, better than Team Epoch. That means Amy's not so happy as they were from the school that she used to go to. So that's incredible. We've seen a team take over in the leaderboard. They were 100% confident and they had good reason to be. How are we feeling? Uh it's all come together. It's all perfect. Ojas has come through. Frank's come through for us. It's all come together. Couldn't oh. be happier. Oh, look at that. And the reaction time, two thousandths of a difference. Let's meet your team, Amy. Rapid Ravens. I'll, I'll put the sadness for a side for one second. Um, do you want to tell me your names and what you did on the team? I'm Josh, and I'm the finance manager. I'm Jacob, and I'm the graphic designer. I'm also Jacob, and I'm the social media manager. 
I'm Matthew, and I'm the marketing manager. And who we got racing at the bottom, and who's collecting the, the car? So racing the car, we have Ben, our team manager, and collecting the car, we have Harper, our engineer. How did you pick those two for the jobs? Honestly, Harper, it's always been good with like CAD and CFD and all that, and then Ben's always just been really good at that ever since he did nationals in January. So the perfect men for the job, I think, Tom. Perfect men for the job, but can they set a faster time? Let's find out. It's quick again, but is it quicker from Golden Motorsports? They've already gone to the top of the table, and it's not, but that's okay. Still setting good times in lane one, 1 1.106. I would like to know whether Team Epoch set that time in lane one as well. And that will put an end to it. It'll put an end to that discussion that one lane is faster than the other. Uh, we're seeing here for the replay, any breakages? We'll soon find out from Lily and Harriet. They can give us a signal. No breakages. It's just a shake of a head, which means no. Uh, we all understand that one. So well done to Golden Motorsports, gone top of the table. How has the day been in this competition for you? Uh, we've just have been, ha been having fun, to be honest. We had our verbal pretty early on, which is always nervous because you want to get your lines right. You want to be maximizing your marks everywhere, and we feel like we're doing that. And the industry professionals that we've met here have been so incredible to me. I mean, I talked with the guy from Lenovo earlier, and the job he does going around the country talking to people. I mean, the people he must meet day to day must be so cool. And it's just so cool to be in an atmosphere like this, to be honest. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking over at the Lenovo guys. They're just in the middle of the chat. The Lenovo guys are at their board. They're signed. Then I'm waving. It could take a long. I'm just going to give up now. I'm going to give up. Maybe I'm not going to give up. There's hope. And we've got the wave back. Love it. Beautiful. So you've chatted to them. We actually haven't asked you to introduce yourselves uh, to everybody. Uh, I'm Tommy, the portfolio manager. Uh, I'm Mohammed, the sponsorship and finance manager. Uh, I'm Fermi, the software engineer. And who have you got driving for you? Uh, we have uh, Ojaz, the manufacturing uh, manager. And then we've got Frank and Eamon. Uh, Frank is the team leader, and then Eamon is the engineer, uh, design engineer. Design engineer. So that is the team. Uh, we've met your team, uh, Amy, but uh, how are they feeling going into the next set of races? That's what I want to know. Uh, we're pre I'm pretty confident in Ben's ability, and, well, it's just that. It's just, we got this. Is this the first time that you've done a competition, or is it um, the second time around? Oh, no, this is my first. So we got newbies over here. So I think a couple, a couple of members of the team with uh, a couple that have done January as well. So hoping to progress to the professional class. Uh, it's been stressful, but we've had fun. It's been honestly well, what it's about. Stressful, yeah. but fun. Stressful, but fun. Um, and how long have you been together as a team, Golden Motorsports? Um, as a team, we formed back in 2018, 2019, but as this particular variation, uh, myself and Mohammed joined last year. We didn't compete because we had exams, we wanted to focus on those, so this is our first nationals as this variation of the team. Wow, this iteration of that team yeah. is here and enjoying the national finals. Well, I think we are almost ready to go racing, so let's join them trackside as we swap the cars over. Can they improve their times? And there it is, lane one again, Rapid Ravens crossing the line first with a 1.080. Oh my word, Golden Motorsports have only bettered their time by six thousandths of a second. That car A, mm, it's a good car, very quick indeed. And seeing the reaction time making a real difference. So even though the reaction time was considerably slower. One of the slowest times I've seen today didn't matter. What does, what does that tell you about your, your car? Probably that we need to change the driver. But, um... <laughs> <laughs> there you go. That is the best comment I've heard today. We're well, real ready to go racing again. So all that's in it is one hundredth of a second between first place and second place. 
And there you have it, a 1.128 for Golden Motorsports. So car A, definitely quicker for them and a better reaction time from their driver. If only, if only we could go back in time and swap that reaction time for the other one. But look, they've done a brilliant job. Uh, let's get the thoughts on our current leaders of the professional class. Final thoughts, Mo? Uh, yeah, uh, really great times. But again, we, we believed it all along. And yeah. We... What's the saying? If you believe, you can achieve. Yeah, precisely. Precisely. I love it. Well, listen, um, those are the final thoughts uh, from the team. I don't know why I'm turning around. It's just trying to find a little bit of room to snuggle back in here. Uh, Amy, what are the final thoughts from Rapid Ravens? I mean, amazing um, reaction time every single time. So are you happy with the results? Yeah, I'm happy with the results. And um, how has everything else gone today? Have you had other things, other things to do? Uh, well, our verbal and our beginnings have been really good. Our portfolios I'm really confident in. Overall, I think it's been really good. Overall, a happy, a happy day for the Rapid Ravens, I think. Yes, uh, Stuart's Melville College, not the only one. We've got Kronos Racing from there, and I'm sure some other teams as well are from the same school. Listen, we'll say goodbye to you, Rapid Ravens. Make your way rapidly away from the racing area. Same for you, uh, Golden Motorsports. Brilliant stuff. Top of the leaderboard. Can it be beaten today? Well, we've got one final chance to beat that time of a 1.080. Team Epoch, I bet they're spitting feathers. They're probably spitting feathers as much as you're spitting feathers, to be honest, Amy. Yeah, I just want to remind everyone that uh, the little orange symbol means that the team will be under investigation for some sort of um, regulation infringement. I'm aware that this is a very biased thing for me to say, but I still believe Team Epoch can come away victorious from this battle. Wow, I knew you would say it. I knew you'd say it, but a good point. A very valid point. Uh, here we go then. Protonic, come and join me. The last race of the day. It's been a long day, but it's been a fun day. Protonic, oh, thank you. Whoa, what is this? Little number, another key ring. Look at that. This is great. What? I didn't, whoa, whoa. It's attack. What's happened here? Talk to me about what's happened here. Yeah, that's, that's fine. Let's not even let's not even mention it. Thank you very much for my present, uh, guys. Protonic, uh, please introduce yourself to everybody. I'm Amog, the team leader and sponsorship manager. I'm David, the marketing and finance manager. And who have you got driving for you? We've got Shreethan, the manufacturing engineer and portfolio manager. And then we got Barra and Taiwo over there. I think they're stressing out about the car. Why are they, they do look like they're stressing out a little bit. Are they all right? Should maybe I go down there and make sure they're all right? I mean, how do you calm them down? How have you, how have you managed to keep them calm today? Just, just trying to tell them to relax, it's okay. Do you find that telling someone to relax when they're not relaxed helps? Uh, no, not really. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, let's hopefully make them relax with a great time on the track. Only one team racing at the moment. This is the last one of the day. Let's beat that 1.080. Decent time, maybe not quick enough, just from the naked eye, just seeing uh, the time there. Yeah, two pairs of glasses, whatever. One's for the sun, one's not. A 1.136, not bad at all, good start. Um, that will put them up into 11th place at the moment. Thank you very much, Amy. Uh, 0 0.174, have they de-stressed a little bit, your teammates? <laughs> Yeah, a bit, a bit, a bit. No, the, the shaking of their head. So what have you enjoyed today? What's been the most challenging part? Most challenging part is probably dealing with the stress of racing because it's the only thing that's unknown, you know, portfolios and verbal presentation we've prepared, but this, we don't know what's going to happen. Okay, well, look, I think you've done an incredible job to stay calm because you're the last race of the day. We can get the second race underway in lane one. Fingers crossed for a really fast time. And there it is, crossing the line, winning the race as we found earlier on. We're watching a replay now. Crosses the line with a 1.180. So, 
Not too bad in terms of timings. That is the same time set by Tectonic earlier on. So 0.152, brilliant reaction time as I let the teammate head on round. Uh, now we've got the situation. Your teammate is going as slowly as possible back. What's happening here? Talk me through this. <laughs> oh, I'm not sure what he's doing. <laughs> Why is that happening? I've seen a lot of people go quick. He's been careful. It's, fragile. it's a fragile car, just being careful. We're watching this now live. Don't speed up. Go at your pace, no one else's pace. Yeah, last race of the day. <laughs> we can't go any quicker. And where have you traveled from in the country? Traveled from Orpington. Okay, I've heard of this. St. Olaf's as well. So. Oh, okay, another team, So St. Olaf. So how, what is that like? Every other team has explained what it's like to have uh, lots of teams from the same school. How have you found it? So it's been good because we can help each other. But at the same time, there's a bit of rivalry as well. But it's also, it's always good to have a bit of competition. Yeah, so uh, hopefully tomorrow at the awards, you'll get to pick up an award and then you get the bragging rights compared to everyone else from your school. Yeah, ho hopefully, hopefully. And uh, how, what's been the most challenging part to get to the national final, David? Oh, uh, well... Wait, what did we do? Well, your teammates laughing, but uh, I, I didn't know whether... No, I remember the day. Um, well, it was, quite, uh, it, was, it was quite soon after uh, our mock exams. So obviously we had to prioritize mocks first and then focus on F1. And then maybe in between, in between the season, we had to uh, mix and match with both. It's, it's, it's basically that balance of how much time you put into F1 in schools. Uh, there is, of course, the podcast coming out for the main straight, uh, the official F1 in schools podcast. And Aaron from Team Unity talked about, and I remember this, it might get cut out, but I will repeat it now just in case. He actually said about how he always worried about how much time he was putting into F1 in schools compared to his actual school work. And in the end, he's actually, he reckons he made the right choice with the amount of time he put into F1 in schools because look at where he's at now. So it's really interesting and that's difficult to uh, decide how much time you'll put into it as we wait to go racing uh, one more time here in lane two now and we can do it. So here we go, third race of four, best of luck. And again, a very quick reaction time, 0 0.152, very quick indeed. When you get here, do you often think, maybe we could have spent a bit more time on this? Is that does a, a, a valuation when you get here? Or do you feel like you've done exactly the right amount? No, I feel like we've done quite, we've done the right amount. Obviously, there's always improvements that we can make, but I think we balance our time well. Okay, that's good. So you can walk away from here, the national final. And it's such a good achievement to get here to the national final from regionals. Uh, world finals, what would that mean to you to, to get there for next year? If we get to the world finals, I'd just be unreal. It'd be the greatest opportunity and experience we'd ever do. Well, there you go. Uh, fingers crossed for you and all of the teams. We can go to our fourth and final race of the first day of the Lenovo F1 in Schools UK National Final 2023. And it's an even faster time with the reactions, 0.134. It's fast, saving the best till last there with reaction time. Has it helped the car across Protonic currently in 11th place? 1.163, it doesn't affect the leaderboard, so 11th. So there you have it. That is the final race of their day. Look at the speed in which our other teammate brings the cars back. Much faster. Um, so listen, final thoughts. Is that the end of the day for you now? Is there something else more judging to do? No more judging. Just going to go to scrutineering, check whether we've met the regulations and work backwards. Well, listen, uh, I hope you've enjoyed today. I'll see you again tomorrow. Uh, all the best, David. Thank you very much. Thank the rest of your team. That is it. Uh, Protonic are going to leave uh, the arena, that I like to call it, the racetrack, done and dusted. Amy, all done for today. That is the racing done. It was long.
but it was fun. It was very fun to watch all the teams. Any standouts for you apart from Team Epoch? I've got to say Team Epoch. Being at the top of the leaderboard for that long, just to have it taken away at the second to last race, it's absolutely heartbreaking. But uh, congratulations on Golden Motorsports for getting that 1.080, an amazing time. Um, can't wait for tomorrow. Yeah, it's going it to be all again. Yeah, it's going to be perfect. Uh, Team Epoch definitely deserve a shout out, and also do Golden Motorsports going to the top of the leaderboard. That is in the professional class. And of course, we have CHS Comet, who are currently top of the development class leaderboard. And I think a massive shout out to what can only be described as freakish, freakish reaction times of a 0 0.044 uh, from uh, the team uh, that are called Impetus. So well done to all of that. That is it for the day. We'll be back tomorrow to bring you more racing. And of course, we will have the award show. But thank you very much to everyone who's taken part. Also over to there, Sam Chapman, who did a very brilliant TED talk about the rules and regulations that are coming into play from myself, Tom and Amy. We'll see you again tomorrow. Thanks for watching.